Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I guess let's bring it over to the actual screen we'll be using for a little bit here. How's it going everybody? It's been a while since we've done one of these, but it's time for Cookie Jar. We haven't had one of these in a long time now. I think the last one was like early February. Uh, but these are where we go through community game choices. Those who have used their points to actually suggest a game for Fortune Cookie. So all rounds we run tonight are community choices. Which means the first poll we're doing uh, to start off the stream is all community choices as well. But a uh, little special thing tonight, I actually have someone here in person with me. This doesn't normally happen. Hi, guys! <laughs> Ryan is actually here. Not in person in my office right now. Not in Japan. I get to see the whole setup. Ah, I'm looking at chat. I'm looking at the cookie. I'm looking at all of this music happening over uh, another game's intro screen. <laughs> 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 There's just a pile of shit on the desk. He was just like, oh, it's this messy normally. Okay. This oh. is th this is Ryan Kiribro. Hi, what's up? Yeah, I'm in Canada for two weeks on a trip back from Japan. And I have not done anything online. I've been jet lagged and tried to catch up with people socially. And I came to give gifts. And I am here for a brief while before I continue on to the next place to be a social butterfly. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like gonna leave halfway through the first game, basically. <laughs> He's got a bounce. <laughs> Do you want webcam on for a second to say hi, or? Sure. Sure, all right. Let me just throw this in place. Uh, 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 uh. This is a present from me to I you. That. Look at your left. What? <laughs> well, friends, whoop, I look whoop, forward whoop, to music. Focus, again. focus, we're here. Hi. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Oh. What's up? I exist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Ryan's gonna be chilling with us for a little bit, and he's gonna have the bounce to go visit some other friends. So uh, let's get to it. First round of games. We've got all of our viewer choices here. Let's see what's gonna win. I've got from HB Bowsy 64. You don't know Jack 2011 for the Xbox 360. I think they wrote a message on this one. You like this game so much, you bought it twice, so why not add to the cookie? You don't know Jack, 2011, for 360 or PS3. I wrote 360 in. Kuga P asked for Transformers Fall of Cybertron for the PS3. Soul Gamer 09 asked for Digimon World Next Order for the PS4. Hero Protagonist asked for Bloodborne for the PS4. FZR Brawler asked for F-Zero GX for the GameCube. And I always butcher this one. Uh, T-T-H-E-E-S-O-N. So Thiesen is usually how I say it. Like season. Thiesen asked for Fury on Steam. So we're going to be doing six <laughs> games a roll each time. And they're all going to be viewer choices. Because we have 200 games in the list. And we're going through ones from four <laughs> months ago. So we <laughs> we need this to catch up. <laughs> me we're a little behind. Look at your left. What? So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this poll right away and let's see what we're starting well, the stream friends, with. I look forward to meeting you people again. I'm gonna take my one and only chance to lean on it and say, if you oh. guys actually want to like twist the knife in me, I know you all like twist the knife. I can't even be around for the fury that I want no. you to play. <laughs> you're, gonna, right? you're gonna swing it that much. Huh? <laughs> That's cheating. You can really torture me. <laughs> that is cheating. <laughs> all right, there we go. Poll is up. Let's see what we're playing. Current in the lead. Ooh, this is... All right, oh, there we go. Everything is happening at once. The Rona <laughs> Dino just th completely threw me off for a second there. Currently in the lead, we have got F0GX. Let me fix the number here to make sure the right one's here. 692 is a link to the poll. F0GX, currently in the lead, 95 votes, 37% of the vote. You don't know Jack, 2011 in second place, 59 votes, 21%. Bloodborne, 37 votes, 12%. Transformers Fall of Cybertron, 31 votes, 10%. Uh, and also Digimon World Next Order, 32 votes, 10%. And in last place, Fury on Steam. I think they're twisting the life in a different way, right? It's all right, it's all right. I, I'll be gone in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put a minute on the clock and see what game we're playing. Once the race is done, we know what game is won. The game we're playing next will be the winner of that race. But second place, if it's 1% away or less, gets added to the next poll as an extra option, which means next poll would have seven. 
Cocoms don't get choices around uh, this time around because this is not fortune cookie. This is just this is cookie jar. We're catching up on the viewer choices, so uh, it's all gonna be six this time around for every round unless something happens and there's a carryover. It looks pretty heavy right now. It, this is this is a pretty heavy swing. I think we made the right call. I think so. I wasn't gonna say that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Because they, they might swing it last second to, to spite us. But yeah, 145 to 86. Not quite a mercy kill, but definitely a commanding lead at this point. Oh, here's Bagel. He's watching the race. Trying to figure out what's going on. I looked up beyond the monitor. I'm like, oh, he's down here. <laughs> no, he's outside. <laughs> all right. All right. F-Zero GX from FZR Brawler's Choice handedly crushes it and wins. And uh, we joked earlier because we we all fucking called you were gonna pick that, so it's it's already on. <laughs> this is what I thought like all of the previous music has been playing to. The ska intro was playing over this. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were like very confident this was gonna win. Hi Trey. Yes, it is indeed I, Ryan. You can't see me hugging my fuck copies of Fire Emblem. <laughs> <laughs> he can hug mine that are here instead. <laughs> All right. You know, actually, come to think of it, this is something I don't normally get to do here. Do you want me to grab another controller so we can just do some multiplayer? Why not? Yeah, if I'm here, let's let's do that to let start. Me, let me see what I have unlocked on this first and foremost, because I have not... Okay, so yeah, we're up to chapter six on story mode. Uh... How did you escape Japan? I'm a Canadian citizen. I can come back anytime I want. Getting back is going to be the tough part. <laughs> All right, so pop this in the second port and unplug what's in there, or move what's in the second port to third. Because that's the SNES controller hookup. This should be good. I haven't tested this controller, so we'll we'll find out if it's good. I think this is usually the one we use for two-player. Let's go. All right, where do you want to go? <laughs> Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald? I like blue. I've never played this game. Have you played an F-Zero before? No. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Turn on the timer to skip. As you can tell- Oh wait, hang on. Hang on. Let me- <laughs> So I forgot. The file I had with like most shit unlocked was on a memory card I lost. So let's- let's see if we can buy any new racers. I think I put all my points into specifically buying the uh, the story mode. I got 21. I can buy a couple. Alright. Anyone on this list strike your fancy? Was that wolf? It <laughs> might as it might as well be. <laughs> you want wolf? Uh well keep keep going, keep going. Okay. Hyper call, thank you for the raid. Hyper call. Uh da, 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 da. Yeah, just just get uh, just get her. You want That's white Jody, cat? Right? Yeah, it's Jody somewhere. Yeah, yeah, let's get Jody. You want anyone else? Um are there any other women you can unlock? Uh, the Super Prona Pilot. We, we, can rock, we can unlock Dwayne the Rock Johnson. His boobs aren't big enough. <laughs> Those are called pecs. Oh, there we go. There, oh, there we go. Queen go Meteor. Go for that. Queen Meteor. All right. Ladies night. All right, let's run countermeasures for Cole, and then let's hop into a race.
Hypercole! Thank you for the raid, my dude. Hopefully stream was good. Alright, meanwhile, you've joined us for Cookie Jar. We're gonna be playing all... We're doing cookie rounds, all of your choices. But for the next little bit, uh, Karibro Ryan is actually here in person. Hello! He's actually visiting uh, me and a bunch of other people here in Alberta instead of uh, being in Japan. 12 hours into Xenoblade help. Oh my All God. of the Xeno. Spread it. Spread the loves. Everybody play Xenoblade. <laughs> were you streaming it, Cole, or were you just playing it? Uh, meanwhile, before we hop into the game here, uh, GFR091702 yodels and says, Hey, John, decided to upload something to the Buru. Hopefully it doesn't get deleted this time because I made sure I followed uh, all the Buru rules. It's results from last week's golf stream. Hope you like it. Cool. I'll check it out during our block. I'm Thank streaming you. it. Oh, you're streaming it as Stream well? Streamed Xeno 18 hours yesterday. Cole! Good job! Oh, no, it's Xeno won 8 hours, so oh, not okay. 18 hours. <laughs> good, good lord. Still, good job. He went 8 hours last night and 4.5 and today. Alright, he's pretty deep in there, yeah. Alright. So Ryan has never played an F-Zero game before, so this is going to be interesting. You choose your balance for acceleration and max speed. That dictates, obviously, how long it takes you to speed up and how lean, fast you can go. Lean to acceleration. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go, I think, more about here, because I think we're on... We did big blue, for those <laughs> wondering. And if you want to change your, your color of your, both your pilot and your... You already picked that out. Green's good. Laps three, handicaps on, restore on, CPU... Yeah, let's throw some CPU in. We're not doing this online. I'm in a chair here. Hello. He's physically here. I have, I have camera on this feed. Where's cam? There it is. Just to show it again. He's right here. <laughs> You're getting like the most awkward spot every time. <laughs> so what is go? B. Or sorry, A. 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 <laughs> My bad. My bad. I got confused. <laughs> that B is boost. B is boost. And it probably isn't in this version. Oh. So after the first lap, you get boost power, but right. the boost power is also your uh, health, so yeah, you be I, careful. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. Because that was in Mario Kart. Well, not the health, but the boosts, yeah. Maybe I have played a Death Zero before. I don't know. We, we, re we recently discovered a bunch of these Super Nintendo, like, the, the older games uh, mm. on a game night in my share house. Okay, no, it's it's a uh, Y is boost. Okay. B must be break, then. I'm immediately suspicious of their choice to do uh, vertical split screen. <laughs> I I mean, you know what? It kind of makes sense considering how far ahead you kind of need to see sometimes in this game. Uh oh, what the hell did I hit? I'd like to see more of what I'm turning into. <laughs> no, only straight. I, I think <laughs> we can actually fix that. I'm pretty sure that was an option that was actually there on stage select. Ah, okay. Well, if it's an option, then hell yeah, good on him for giving options. So, is this Big Blue? Yes, this this version of Big Blue. Okay. Close one. You can choose horizontal. Hello, Kirby Vault. Yeah. So, I mean, wait, what's what's that pole? I can only see the first. Anyone first else think Kuri bro is short? <laughs> He's so tiny. I'm sitting in a small chair and leaning over to be in the camera. All right, hang on. Oh, do I have the I have Twitch pole window on here, right? Yeah, there we go. Anyone else think Kuri bro is short? The chair is short. 72 <laughs> percent. He's so tiny. 20%. I'm a I'm a nice average height. I'm tall in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just do an I'm big in Japan joke? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not big, I'm just tall. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go settings again. Oh, not that far. Oh, go backwards. Ah, oh, shit. I think we went back on the same track again. Just pick a default. And... Alright. That was not the settings I thought I was picking. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> slight chorus. Aeropolis? Uh, I forget where that is. I think that might be the end of this cup. Nope, that's Mute City. Where is Aeropolis? There it is. Oh, this one. I mean, I want to ease him into the game. <laughs> yeah, let's do Casino Palace, and then we'll then we'll do Aeropolis. Sure. I'm taken back to when Ryan and I were streaming in 64, and the audio was so chonky. That was that was delectable. 
Ailita is now raiding. Who needs clothing when you've got skill? I think you still need clothing, though. Just, just going on a hunch on that one. If you move fast enough, they'll never see that you're naked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you put it that way, sure. <laughs> so fast. Can't see, can't see my dick. So fast. <laughs> We'll run countermeasures for Ayelita, and then we will uh, hop into this race. Did Ayelita play Xenoblade 2? My god. I'd laugh. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan's best day. You're just pushing everybody. I love it! <laughs> so much for your raid. Hopefully I, Smash went well. Hi, Alita. Yes, as you can hear, Ryan is physically here in person with me. He's going to be bouncing in a little bit here, but he's just chilling for now. We did not move off this screen because I love that Miss Arrow is flexing at yeah. all times. <laughs> we, we both <laughs> noticed it during the category. She's like, I stayed here because of this. This is this default pose. She's just arms at a 45 degree angle. Check out the gun. I mean, to be fair, she's wearing the green suit, which makes her look like She-Hulk, basically. <laughs> I could change that. Oh, there you go. Well, the red, I think the red's her default, so. Just gonna keep flexing, yeah. don't mind me. Everybody, oh, yep. you associate with me with green. Oh, look so at here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I love her. <laughs> All right, yeah, here we go. There's a split screen, vertical or horizontal. So let's go oh, horizontal if you want. Oh no, what is this poll? You go with Ryan to a restaurant, what do you give him first? A booster <laughs> seat, crayons, or kid menu? See, crayons works because I am an actual artist with an art degree. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, crayons, crayons is winning, but he, booster seat's in second though. A booster seat's also cool, I'll just be like the head honcho at the top of the, literally at the top of the table. And taller than everyone. And again, to confirm for people who are asking, <laughs> yes, he's in a lower chair. It's Bagel's chair he's using. <laughs> Booster seat and hot dog. <laughs> Ryan is a cat confirmed. I have friends that are more cat than me, but... I can see it. What even was your like your animal when you were doing furry art? Um, I did a mouflon ram, uh -huh. and I specifically yeah. remember that one because my initials are R A M. It seemed easy, very obvious. easy. Gotcha. Um, but I remember it was mouflon because I needed to look up the specific species that had like the really big, almost like spirally horns. Like they make a full circle. I'm like I want that one. Oh, the fancy ram horns. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we were talking about our stories earlier. I cleared out uh, my parents' garage while I'm here in Canada. And I found a whole bunch of my, like, old original sketches and, like, the first attempt that I did at making a webcomic page. And, like, my printed books of, uh, of the first chapter of the comic that I did when I was doing conventions. It's like, yay, talk about our creativity stuff. I can't look at chat right now. Y'all are making fun of me relentlessly. I'm sure <laughs> 
Just the, the baseless assumption. <laughs> That one makes sense. I went with acceleration again, and that one had almost no turns. Yeah. Don't worry. This, the next track we're going to do, the one that was requested, you're definitely going to want some acceleration. Yes, I'm visiting John right now. Exedrite. Did I read that right? It was there for two seconds. Exedrite? Yeah. Yeah, wait, is Ryan visiting John right now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The, the last two poles were mocking my height. I feel like I've got a base for it. Go multiplex. All right. So this is a difficulty four. Am I going to explode if I pick the bodybuilder again? You can probably get away with Queen Meteor, but you're going to be hitting a lot of walls if memory serves. All right, then I'll, I'll go back to. White to be fair, Jody is is a great choice. I'll, I'll stick with neutral this time. It's surreal having the other voice actually be there in the room with John. It is rare. Do you remember Karibro's comic Our World? Somebody actually asked, yay! <laughs> somebody somebody knows I mean knows the title. And yeah, the question was I do when Karibro made a webcomic. <laughs> and now the the question mark for the webcomic is very much in the lead. It's look, I don't do it anymore. I haven't done it for a good handful of years, basically as long as I've been doing animation stuff online. So since Shante and Poppy animations on my stream have been made, I haven't been doing that comic. So I don't talk about it a lot. But yeah, I did a webcomic for like eight years. It never got big. Yeah, I think when I met Ryan years ago, he was still doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at conventions, I was a uh, part of the cat box. I was selling mine and other people's stuff. All right. Here we go. Yo, PK, how's it going, my dude? Okay, why do you not have VIP? I gotta fix that. Yes! God, son of a... <laughs> yes! That's what I get for typing in chat! <laughs> okay, I like this already. Yeah. No, GX has some crazy stuff. I'm sad I don't have, like, the other... <laughs> the other uh, courses unlocked, but there's some crazy shit in this game. Okay, that just dropped out in front of us? Yep, up and down will let you, like, pitch your your ship midair and help you angle well, better. Well, so far, I've only hit one wall. I think. I caught up. <laughs> I'm sure it's the like the flavor part of what the game is supposed to be, but it is. Oh, watch out for these mines. They'll they'll flick your ship around, and the uh, blue is ice. Okay, it's really tough to like hit one of those boosters. I feel like it. You get used to it. L and R will also let you like shimmy left and right. Oh, wonderful. That's good to know. Yeah, because it's like really sensitive to line up. Yeah, that'll help you like adjust your ship a lot more. Well, all right, too much. Here comes the, that. Oh boy. And you already know about recharging uh -huh. over the. Okay, making sure. <clears throat> Chad, how does this Ooh. look? By the way, I haven't. I don't think we've tried GX with this setup yet. I'm gonna assume that's not the. That is the case since I did not remember how much we had unlocked on this file. I don't know why I asked chat when I literally cannot look at chat right now. <laughs> that was dumb of me. <laughs> looks fine to me. Looks good. All right, there we go. God bless straightaways. Nice. Just once I wanted to bounce straight over that little 
What part? He's completely skipped it. Yeah. Nice. Oh shit. Uh oh. Yes. Oh no! Oh, that was a bad mistake to make, John. Oh, missed that. Oh boy. Oh, you're gonna beat me on this one. There's no way I'm catching up. Nice. I actually hit that booster this time. I didn't. Yep, fair oh. and square, kick my ass. Ultimate has zero champion! Damn it. <laughs> you like how the game looks, uh, five people say it looks bad. Like, I, we're talking about how it looks on stream, right? And not, do you like what how F-Zero GX looks as a game, <laughs> right? Just making sure. Oh shit, I got third on that one. Oof. Go white cat! Go white cat! I told you, Jody's a good choice. Another F0 for game completion? God no! God no! This one's too big. Yeah, I'm referring to the bitrate. Like, hopefully it looks he looks smooth. Oh, bitrate, right, yeah. Well, that cause would. yeah, because like this is a game that definitely like It refreshes like, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I would never do this for game clearing because story mode is just, it gets to a point of not being fun. Oh, it's just, like, too brick wall -y hard? Oh, yeah, no. It, dude, do you want to try it? You need to see how bad it gets. Okay, show me show me this. I, I'm going to retire now as as a supreme winner. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. Ruler, chancellor, okay. forever. I, I think I actually have to go into a race <laughs> and get out of this mode, so pick your vehicle for a second there. Just, right. just mash A. Cool. Because there's no back out without just hitting reset. Yeah, sh show me this, and then I'll then I'll get out of your hair. Sorry, most fantastic. Don't mean. Oh, I love the cutscenes, but it's fucking hard, PK, and you can't say it isn't. It approaches ROM hack levels of absurd. Oi! Uh, I don't think I have the infamous chapter seven <clears throat> unlocked. I think you were on chapter six. Chapter six. Which which I'm trying to remember which one that is. Is that the bomb one? That's you. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Nice and pleasant. Oh, you know what? I bet you I know why. Hang on. Let's go to the shop for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Maniacal. <laughs> Bonnie with baby. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want coffee. <laughs> Where did you even get that picture from? That's my old hat. <laughs> yeah, going back to the shop, I bet you. Yeah. Because I need. <clears throat> this is the problem with this game, if you haven't played in a while. You need tickets to buy the chapters for story mode so you can actually get to them. So I'm at the infamous story mode chapter 7. I don't have 50 tickets. We just spent a bunch on unlocking the ladies. We, we, for me. we spent like 25. I think that was actually why we had tickets, was because I was saving up for story mode. Oops. No, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I needed racers. I had four. I had the default four. Power block is going to be fun. Send me anything that you want me to see on Twitter or Discord. I won't be able looking for the rest of the night. Yeah, Ryan's taking off in a couple minutes here. Uh, what is the out of the six we have available? What's the best chapter to show him? I'm gonna show him this opening cutscene though, so he can see it. Chapter seven, aka chapter that got someone an essay banned. Yeah. What? Someone made a huge rant about story mode chapter seven back in the day, and it was a it was a copy pasta people kept dunking on for a while. <clears throat> so this is the intro to story mode here. Like, it's it's really, really cheesily overacted, and that's kind of mm -hmm. the best part about it. Explode? Yep. Oof. He's fine, though. Shadow has a boss? Yeah. 
He didn't in the last in the in X, but in GX he does. Voice acting's a bit quiet. Yeah, that's how the game is. There's nothing we can do about that. And then, like, I'll just show you chapter one's story. Uh, and fuck doing that on very hard. Because the cutscenes are definitely the best part about this. All right. Because <clears throat> they made a, a weird, cheesy, like, Sonic Adventure level soundtrack for it. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. And then everyone overacts. It's, I mean, it's fantastic. It's just immediately, you say Sonic Adventure, and I'm like, I can almost see the Sonic Adventure 2 like the same DNA in it and walking down the street with the giant yeah. <laughs> with the giant muscles walk, yeah <laughs> the red ring's a little better <laughs> just a tiny <laughs> bit better than Sonic Adventure 2 just a little bit <laughs> also worked on Mega Man X7 Interesting. Fun fact, a lot of the voice actors in this game also worked on Mega Man X7. The character of Roger Buster and Don Genie are also voiced by Jeff Manning, a.k.a. Lion Rafale, uh, from the Virtual Fighter games and the alert I have. Nice. <coughs> Alright, what chapter out of the six should I have him try? Someone said do chapter two. I didn't see anyone else suggest anything, because I might have looked away at that point. Two or three. Chapter one. What was the oh, yeah, three is annoying. Let's just have him do two. Here, try this one. All right. Uh, it'd be nice. I'll keep it on normal. Sure. Thank you. Which one is the strat strat where the task portrait's freaking out? I think that's five. That might be four, actually. It's one of the two. I love his fat abs. Goro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> opens it up just to yeah, I know, it's so stupid. Is he using it like a mic? <laughs> I guess. And he's also doing backflips, so... This is not the voice I'd expect out of a man with that build. That is the majority of the uh, of the <laughs> game, honestly. Like that's the voice out of that character. All right. Beat Gorge to the goal. There's your track. All right. Be warned, you can fall off the right side of the map because <laughs> it's a canyon. So no, maybe I'll go over there. <laughs> Let's see how you do. <clears throat> oh, your L button is. Yeah, that one got cracked by Duke Nukem. I, I uh, threw it when it was doing Game Sharks, and it landed on my sweater, but my sweater was covering up the Duke Nukem bust. So. <laughs> How unfortunate. Yep. Good luck. You have boost power, but there is no recharge, so be careful how you use it. All right. Also, there are boulders. All right. I thought it would be a little bit tighter than this. I should have gone for speed. I mean, later on, there might be. I don't think that's how boulders work. Like, a giant boulder like that doesn't roll up and then stop. Well, welcome to Magic Space Boulders. Okay, let's just start off with that. I'm, I'm also just looking up now, and I can see all of these spherical boulders just perched and waiting. Yep. Nice dodge. Oh, I see. Okay, yep. So... Are some of them just delayed? Yes. Oh, there we go. Actually, physics. Excuse me. Yeah. No, there's there's some heavy rubber banding <clears throat> in the game. That's the main reason for the difficulty. Oh, 
Hold on, I don't think that's how cars work. I don't know if you guys are seeing these these swerves he's pulling off there. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you got Woo! that. Incredible. <laughs> Nicely done. I'm actually impressed, I'm not gonna lie. Especially for someone who only recently started playing F-Zero. He was like, whoop, whoop, yep. whoop. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was normal. Like, thanks. I would no, love No, even normal difficulty is pretty hard. That I'm, I'm legit impressed. Ah, all right. Okay, Here's, cool yeah. uh, where's the one I want you to, is it save Jody? I think it's save Jody. If it's save Jody, all right. I can do this and then that's the last thing I can do. Yep. Put it on normal. This is maybe the most disorienting game I've ever played. Imagine this game in VR. I'd rather keep my stomach inside me. Are you all right? Jody's still inside the building. Thank you, John Tanaka. <clears throat> Goodbye. Well, now that I know I have to hashtag save Jody. Yeah, there you go. There's your motivation. <laughs> Ooh, that hair. I know, the hair <laughs> the hair is a thing. Maybe I don't want to save Jody. Let's just say it got wet. <laughs> Some gasoline in the hair, no biggie. All right, the power plant is going to blow. Escape within 50 seconds it is just All... a straightaway, but there's walls you're going to have to dodge along the way. Dodging, gotcha, all right. <clears throat> F-Zero lore, all I know is that the name Captain Falcon is passed down. Yeah, there's... I know some F-Zero lore. It's fucking wild, man. Alright, good luck. Get that out of the... It's in the worst place for that text. Those things will give you some extra boost power. Awesome. It looks like a fight. Whoop! Yep. All right. Yeah. Now I know what there's I'm looking your, there's for. Your first mix-up. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Got to keep in mind that I can sort of shimmy, shimmy shuffle. Nice shimmy. Yeah, come on. I'm not gonna make this. You're super not gonna make this. All right, well, Jody's dead. <laughs> so matter of fact about Sorry, it. Sorry, Jody. Uh, I did my best. She will be missed. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta get it back out on the road again. This has been, honestly, John, just give me, give me a hug here. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you out. Jesus, dude. <laughs> yeah, but this one was on mic, and now oh, there, and there goes my head. Now it makes it into the art block. Oh, really? <laughs> ah, that was your master plan, I see. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut the intermission for a second, and then I'll come back and we'll pick the next game. I'll come, uh, I'll come watch this vod later, guys. Have fun. Right, actually, let's put Bagel's chair back, and we can turn off your headsets. Oh, you looks like you already did it. Did you? Nope. Okay, never mind. I guess I can hear the music out. I guess I should not. Should do that. Okay. Be right back, guys, and we'll pick next game.
All right, so I'm back. Ryan's gone to his car. He's gonna go visit a friend and stay there for a bit. Volume level's down. There we go. Let's get our next poll on the go, shall we? Now, like we mentioned earlier, all choices tonight are viewer choices, all submitted by using the point redemption. So these are all fortune cookie choices that were sent in by viewers. And of course, we start with a classic from one of my mods, as a result. Kion sends in Battle Kid and the Fortress of Peril for the NES. Game number two comes from Azure Refrain. Azure Refrain says, you know what we need? Ninjas. Ninjas with booba and roguelikes. So Izuna 2, the unemployed ninja returns for the DS. I actually finally managed to get a copy of Izuna 1 the other day. So funny this comes up now. Game, Game number three. Was Balakir the Aaron dying to a flower one? Yes. Were these sent in today or over time? These are from four months ago. So, uh, yeah, they're a little old. Uh, and I asks for Outer Wilds on Steam. and I. Gamer Wolf asks for Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance. Game number five comes from Chill Days, who asked for, oh, hell yeah, Snake Rattle and Roll for the NES, their favorite NES game. Now that's a classic. That's a classic rare game right there. Good old rareware. And the last one we're having for this round of cookie comes to us from Pino Graham, who asked for The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD for the Wii U. Just a warning, I don't have a save for the Wii U, so uh, we'll have to start from scratch if we do play that one. Everything else should be golden for the most part. Let's do it! What are we playing next? Give the bot a second to hop in. Currently in the lead. Take a second to update. We go through the rainbow, but it looks like we're landing on... Ooh, it's actually everywhere. Look at this. There's a lot of switch-ups right now. Currently in the lead, looks like we've got The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD for Wii U. Somehow not shocked by this. 70 votes and rising, 25% of the vote. Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance, 58 votes, 18%. Snake Rattle and Roll, 51 votes, 15%. Izuna 2, The Unemployed Ninja Returns, 55 votes, 15%. Battle Kid and the Fortress of Peril, 49 votes, 12%. And Outer Wilds in last place, 36 votes, 9%. 406 votes clock so far. Twilight Princess HD leads over Golden Sun, 112 to 92. Let's slap him in on the clock and see what happens. Stop! There we go, those six are done. I am very surprised people are going for Twilight Princess considering how slow that game starts, which is why I warned in advance. But uh, it's looking like a safe bet, I guess, because the second option's a fucking RPG. I guess I can't be too shocked. All right. Twilight Princess HE leads 127 to 117. It's close, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. That gap is actually closing. It is less than, ooh, it's about five votes now. The very least a 1% rule looks like it's in play. I voted for tits, I'm a simple man. To be fair, Izuna is literally mystery dungeon. Oh, Golden Sun takes the lead, it's a tie. Next vote goes to Golden Sun. 
Wow, Golden Sun is the winner. By two votes. It was tied at, at the end of the race too. Holy shit. All right, Twilight Princess HD, you get a second chance next poll. But you're gonna have six new games to compete against. Let's see what happens then. Uh, the following people can expect their games to be in the next poll. I see Gamer Owen 64, Montaru, Rosie, uh, Jesse Snuffles, Miles Luigi, and Maniacal. Oh my god, it's the <laughs> three mod choices so far tonight. I like how the, the leading games were both the slowest starts out of the six. <laughs> Let's drop some eggs. We went from insanely fast with F-Zero GX to insanely slow with an RPG. I mean, it happens. It's, it's balance. Balance is all things should be. Papa's not gonna have my list for me. I guess I'm on my own. All right. Let's see here. Espionata for 46. Fate of Luck for 29. Just in Time 96 for 23. Rian 9295 for 37. Uh, Spot and Combust for 40. Oh, that's all right, Bubba. At least I got your note there. Uh, Shining Silver for 78. Rio 3415 for 103. CD Chow for 55. Lizard Shaman for 89. T Man 64 for 52. Xena Persona 819 for 54. Secret 360 for 64. Super Crafter 2 for 27. Gokai Orange for 47. Warrior Fire with a Gift Sub Bomb. Hex Universe for 20. Dan the Enigma for 68. Bramnet for 49. SMX Sonic for 53. Oh, I butchered this one last time you told me how to say it. Uh, Cicada Silic. I think that was it. It's like Cicada Slick, something like that. It's close to that. For 63. Uh, H Minnow for 97. Saint Patty with a gift sub bomb. Snowy Satoru for 30. Rising Sun 98 for 22. Melissa Angel YT for 90. Sword Pile for 20. Midi Knight for 13. Slack ZX for 100 months. G2G1 for 21. Nice. Games TJ plays for 8. Son Void for 5. Broken Dylan for 48. Odd Craig X for 19. Fluffy Scarhorn for 32. The Thrill Up for 60. Captain Joe gifted a sub to PK Sparks. Observe the Celestial for 32. Electric Pickle for 43. Table Flipper 20 for 14. Dan the Warrior 101 for 4. JJ Valkyr for 28, Valero 1 for 36, Shadow Sky 1377 for 45, Mr. Viper Bang for 98, Sammy Weiss for 59, Luna Frey Belmont for 50, Sonic Bot 1 for 16, and Ray Reborn for 18. Thank you, folks. Thanks for subbing as long as y'all have. Uh oh, I think I've been told off how to say the game, the name again. Oh, I said I, you did it, JK, but it's fine. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I will, I will apologize in advance for getting it wrong next time because I know that's exactly how my brain works. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Oh, there's actually nothing in the carton. All right, well, then we'll see what the shuffler's got. You will give me Boom shakalaka. Why is that one so quiet? And I'll fix it during break. Either way, thanks for hanging out, folks. I'm going to go to break. Uh, since I kind of snuck off earlier with Ryan, I'll try to keep this one a little short. But when we come back, I'll grab some CoComs, and we will be playing Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance. See you guys in a bit. I definitely almost said Twilight Princess HD. Definitely thought that I actually did win. Shakalaka before I forget. Uh... Are you my brother Rex Racer? 
brother. If you are his brother, I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Ag. There we go. That's bumped up to 76 now. That should be better.
right. Come back. Let's take the game out of the old box. And here's the thing. Is this a replacement cart? Or I don't think this is the cart I had. So I think my save file, we're going to start from scratch here. I had to guess. Starting this game from scratch. Or we could see where the original owner of this game was. And see how far that was. Let's look at Kokon list. Cocon feed running. There we go. If you start from scratch, you can show off a secret ending? What? Wait, what? <laughs> that sentence doesn't make sense. Is there some, like, super stupid, like, beginnings ending thing you can get? Oh, there's a bad end? Okay. Is it a case of just saying no when you're supposed to make, like, the, the specific choice? Yeah, sure enough. Gonzo lets you say no to saving the world. Good. Done and done. What's up, dude? What up? Not much. What about you? Oh, you know. Just going through Better Call Saul. Nice. That show's tight. I need to watch at some point because I love Breaking Bad. I'm almost enjoying it more. I've heard some people say that. I know it's just a different vibe in general compared to the show. It is. Hello, oh. chat. So you're going to introduce Breaking Bad to your nephew soon, right? I mean, they're only eight. Let's, let's at least let them be ten before I do that. Quickly read alerts, hop into art block, and then get to it. Mr. Joe says, insert trunks screaming internally here for no reason. Anyways, hope that episode of AEW Dynamite is fun tonight. Hopefully you enjoy. Kennedy, Kennedy KJK 2016 says, Not feeling good. Hope this cow can help me feel better soon. Oh, well, hopefully you feel better soon, Kennedy. Hopefully the cow did help. Thank you, everyone else who set off alerts but did not leave messages. Appreciate it. GFR did the yodel earlier, which we read out. Boss123 says, Hey there, John. Glad to catch you tonight on my vacay day. I don't know if my raid thing worked earlier as I spent today streaming Bug Fables blind for a bit. Otherwise, glad to spend my mind tonight catching you tonight. Uh, I did not see it on the prompt, but I don't believe it report it reports anything under 10 viewers, so that might have just been wiped because of that. And if you did have more than that, it could just be Twitch being Twitch. That happens sometimes, too. We've definitely had a case where it never reported any raids we got. Kira Nai Hideyoshi says, Here's an art prompt. John, or an alt, as Captain Falcon, and Ryan as Jody Summer. There you go. A nice little switch up. Thank you, Kira Nai, for the prompt. Trolling Shuckle says, you got boost power. SonicBot1 says, hi, John, I'm at work. Have you tried driving in circles in time trial mode as a means to relax? <laughs> I can't say I have, but that does sound fun. Uh, and with that, oh, no, there's one last one from Rio9. Sorry I was all caps about it, but anytime I play GX, I run Aeropolis at least once because Zen is an honest bop. Lives up to its name in the lap three version. Also, I have days off just right so I can watch your ma mom on Monday and Wednesday streams in full. No cookie. Well, at least you get to enjoy those. 
And next week, Xenoblade, so you get to enjoy me playing Xenoblade if you're into that. Alright, let's go to our block. Any chance of my pick? Lunatic, let me see quickly here. Oh, did you see my idea in chat? Uh, yeah, might do it, but there was... It might not happen, we'll see. Feel you. Lunatic, I think yours is gonna miss tonight. You are on this page, but you're at the bottom of the page, which puts you at 49, and I think we're only gonna be going through another 25 at most tonight. Ish. Hello. 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 Hey. Hey. How's Good. it going? Good. That's right. that laughing boy. He's excited. For art. Alright, from Mika, starting off here. May 10th was Maid Day in Japan, so I drew Bifuru and Rosa working together right. while wearing some maid outfits. Thank you so much for helping me clean, Bifuru. I really appreciate it. Fayampa! No problem. Look how cute they are! Look at the little cleaning cuties. He's got the little he's got the little headband on his horn and everything. That's super cute. Thank you, Mika. Next up, from GFR091702. Hey, John, I hope you get a chance to see this. This is the results of last week's golf stream. This is also my first official upload to the Buru due to the fact that everything else I got uploaded got deleted, even though I'm following all the rules in the Buru. Anyways, I hope you have a great stream, and I'll see you next time. I'm pretty sure what happened was because you did not have these all in one picture, it, it just looked like you were spamming. I think you got auto-filtered for spamming. So if they're together like this, this should be fine. Let's see, Walkman Mini Golf VR, Tourist Trap results. There's the score swing there. Oh, wow, that's... Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little bad now. <laughs> Wait, I'm not in it? You weren't in the... Actually, yeah, wait. Who wasn't in the first game? Oh, because you got disconnected. We lost your score. That's fair. And then here's the Tethys Station results there. Look at me go, baby. Look at that blue. Look at that high blue. Oh, that. Blue shirt. <laughs> blue shirt. Blue line. Blue shirt. Worms results. Or Tom just crushed it there. No, look at me. Look where I'm headed. Oh, I mean, look how close this one got, though, Pirate Cove. Look at that one. Well, that's a tight race. That was, that was golf with your friends, though. Yeah. Walkabout was a lot, was a lot, like... We were under par in walkabout. Not not so much in uh, golf with your friends. Well, Tom looks like he might have been, but... Well, yeah, that was my first golf with your friends, like, ever, really. And you did the Worms map, which is notoriously different. I'll take it. Thanks, GFR. Next up, I believe this was the picture that got removed uh, at the end of last stream, and they I assume they fixed the date. I'm going to assume that's what it was. This is super cute. From Aeronaut Fene. Salutations. I guess on the Buru, I'm Aero... Aeroant. Aeroant. Rather than Aero... You did it again! <laughs> I'm Aero... I'm this, I'm this instead of the exact same thing. Aeronaut is what it's supposed to say. I'm Aeroant rather than Aeronaut now. I generally try to finish my art in one quick burst of time, like just one stream, or else I wind up with a bunch of unfinished projects. I'm still working on a painting from over four years ago. I struggle with getting the blonde hair color, and I've also never drawn a character this tall before. But I hope you enjoy the added Luma Bagel and Robert Cop slippers. The streams are always a nice source of laughter, even if it hurts, due to my recent lung surgery. Oh, I hope the surgery recovery's been going good for you. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I've never heard people complain about the t the tallness of Rosa before, so that's a nice change of pace. But you did a great job on this aeronaut. She looks lovely, and I love the little Bagel Luma. I can't tell if it was a plush or actually ba Bagel Luma. It looks like it actually is Bagel Luma. Look at that smug ass face. This is super cute, and I love the Robert Cop slippers. Thank you so much, Aeronaut. Oh, Autumn! Yes, sorry! I forgot to respond to you with that. I had to send you a whole message, but I've been very sidetracked lately. Yes, I did get it. Thank you so much. I will send you a response tomorrow. If I don't, email me, because I, I have to message you about something. Where is the monkey? Where is the monkey? Monkey has escaped! Monkey has escaped! From Daisy and Chibi. This is a suggestion for the gift wall. This is from an anime called Revolutionary Girl Utina. It's very silly at times, but it can be very dark and messed up. Oh, I've heard of Utina before. 
It also has LGBTQ plus characters that in the anime came out in 97. It does an English dub and sub, both available on YouTube. The voice actress for Utana herself is Misty from Pokemon. I was not aware of that. But I've heard good things about this show. Thank you for the gift, Daisy and Chibi. I mainly showed it because it said, Monkey has escaped. Monkey has escaped. And also, because our block's pretty small, because we're already at the last picture. Look at this, though, from Extraterrestrial. Howdy, hey, it's me, Doc. It's been a really long time since I posted, but recently wanted to draw my character in Rosa's hoodie. Barbara has a little bit of Rosa in her personality and design, and I wanted to draw one pretty lady in another lady's clothing. Very cute. She's got a fun design there. Thank you, Extra, for sharing that. Very nicely done. And with that, folks, we're already done our block. Yeah, even after refresh check. We're done and done. Let's do it. Video games. Let's go to melee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hacking time. <laughs> My favorite part of Smash Brothers. The part where you load the Game Boy interface. <laughs> there we go. That should look a little better. There you go. I hear about this game a lot. So, um, this is done, for those who don't know. Golden Sun is Camelot, the guys who you would probably better know now for, uh, for Mario Golf and all those kind of games. Why? Is the game... It says Tags Field Update, but it's not letting me update. Did the game change on Twitch? Because it's not letting me hit update yeah, it anymore. Did. it did. Okay. It's being really weird. So, I never pieced this together, together. until now. Uh, Camelot also did the Shining Force games on the Genesis, and this is oh. literally just the HUD that Shining Force uses. <laughs> and I never realized that until, like, I'm looking at it now. All right, what files are on this game? Uh, looks like... They're, actually, this is almost about as I far as I I just know the musician here. I think oh, I this is that. the Isaac that everybody wants in the game in yes. Smash. Yes, it is. I there understand. Right there. Isaac, wake up. Please, dear, wake up. Right. The man, Aleph Boulder, is going to fall. Hey, Isaac. The boulder's going to fall. You might want to wake up. Come on, Isaac, we have to go now! Okay, I'm up. Isaac, you forgot something. Brush your hair. It's boring outside. No. Don't go out without your <laughs> tunic. Ta-da, you're dressed. <laughs> <laughs> the house is on fire. Also, you know, <laughs> come on, wait a get minute. Everything, oh. Get everything you need? No. I'm sorry, but we don't have time. You'll have to leave it behind. Okay. But my tunic. My mint Pokemon card. Isaac, Dora, hurry. The boulder could fall at any second. My graded Charizard. My full NES collection. <laughs> My copy of Earthbound. No. Kyle, will they be able to stop the boulder? I don't think so. Not for long, anyway. You two go on ahead and take refuge in the plaza. <laughs> Royal servant. My apes! <laughs> <laughs> They've all escaped They're again. Bunched. Damn the boulders. That's cool enough to get up to the plaza on his own. You can find your way, can't you, Isaac? No. You're a big boy now, Isaac. Why don't you go on your own? No. 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 Yes. You know the way. Just go south to the, get to the plaza. Be careful. Going north. Got it. No, go back inside. Oh, my Pokemon cards, you're right. Your Pokemon cards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom's so stupid. We need to go. Nah. Nah. I'm going back to bed. I must make must make sure that my tokens are unfunged. Isaac, search the bookcase. There's a book entitled Being an Adept. Hone your synergy. Do not use it for evil. Your synergy is none. So I cannot do evil. <laughs> or good. Isaac's house sucks. There's nothing in it. 
Can't find oh. a single thing. I know I left him here somewhere. Where's my Pokemon cards? So it's gonna uh, be my great when a boulder squirtle. falls on it. <laughs> oh, my holographic Piccolo card. <laughs> my Dragon Ball Z Pokemon fusion cards. It says the mountain's name refers to the origin of all things. It's too bad I don't have any synergy. <laughs> Not a single thing. This house sucks. This computer has woads on it. Oh no, a boulder! <laughs> a conveniently placed boulder, oh no! Not going down there. Is that the boulder? The boulder? No, oh, I can't go this Too way either. Bad. I gotta go in this can't house. Go down Dale. I live here now. <laughs> Making a great village. Exodia? Whoa. Strong bad. <laughs> I brought back your Fadu pot. <laughs> See, that kid's got the right idea. He's got all of his Pokemon cards in there. I'm trying to save my things! What, you want me to just dump my stuff? No. Mm, if Rock gets me no, now, I'll lose both my chest and my life. I didn't You're say right. that. I should just ditch my stuff. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I absolutely did not say that. Sweet, I'm taking his stuff. I t it's Garrus' yeah, chest of valuables. They're very valuable. You can't take it with me. Ah, you the know, boulder! It's falling! For there, being, for there being one boulder, there sure are a lot of boulders. That is a pretty big boulder. No, that's the big boy. It still blows my mind that this game was supposed to be an N64 game. This was supposed to be an N64 game? I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, it was originally supposed to be for the N64, and I think it was supposed to have both parts. Oh, that uh, makes way more sense now. But they decided at some point with the GBA coming out that they were like, oh, well, let's just take what we have and just make a GBA game, and we'll just do the second part in a second game. That makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, I can't, I don't know if the website's still available, like, in the Internet Time Machine or something like that, but you can actually find, like, the original-ish renders as GIFs or GIFs on their, uh, on their old website. Around here, we say GIF. Do you think I'll die? No. This is awful, I've left here for the months just to... Wait, that's no. strange, I'm not hurt at all! No shit, I was faking! I'm serious about the monsters, so be careful on your way to the plaza. I'm not gonna help you, though, Mine's bye! Not at all. <laughs> anyway, goodbye, five-year-olds. Be careful of the monsters. Oh, don't worry, they have See swords. You, tiny lad. Oh god, it's Meryl. Oh, I forgot how good Pokemon the cards battle... come to life! I forgot how good the battle <laughs> music was in this game. Yeah, yeah the person who did the o who did the OST. Me. No, oh, congratulations, <laughs> Bob. Up to come. <laughs> yeah, I was classic pop ski from 20 years ago. That's me. I was eight. Save requests. Motoi Sakuraba. That's my real name. <laughs> Dark Souls. Also known for the Tales of series. I was gonna oh, say, this cute. is a very Tales of-esque music, so I could see that. And then the, the you win in, battle uh, music is straight out of games. Mario Golf, so. <laughs> yeah. I think the N64-like story makes sense, because look at the, the battle scenes. Yeah. Yep. All pre-rendered. I don't know if it would have been, like, more interesting, like, the rain is clearly just a JPEG in that battle scene. Knowing them, because what they were we doing on the N64, I'd assume so. Yeah. Just think about it. In an alternate timeline, Quest 64 wouldn't have been the only RPG on the N64. <laughs> it's still not the only RPG. There's one more. Oh, that's right. Aiden Chronicles, my least favorite N64 game. Still think that's a fever dream. 
I have it in box now, so now it's a very physical fever dream. <laughs> well, Felix is dead. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, about that. I have no more synergy. I only used it for evil. We have to get help. Can Felix hang on long enough for us to find help? There's nothing else we can do for him. Here, is there? Well, we could go to the, the other shore and kind of reach him. He's pretty close to shore, honestly. No, I'm already writing his eulogy, uh, his obituary. <laughs> Your brother's counting on you. I uh, don't know what happened if you fail. <laughs> or how this might affect you in later in life. Isaac! You saw what happened? Yes. I have to go get help before no. Felix drowns. I don't suppose. Okay. Could the two of you help me? No. No. Come on, do it. Jen has oh, gone to the plaza to get help. Go join her. <laughs> Goodbye. Does hybrid heaven count? Almost. I, was, oh, yeah, I, was I like how we almost. said the one RPG. We never even said fucking Paper Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't exist. Yeah, that's a, that's a 2D game. So is That's this. an action platformer with RPG elements. I think what I also liked about the sequel game is that the battle music will change depending on who's your lead character. Oh, really? For, for Lost Age? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so like, the very first battle you fight is with a not main character character. And it's a completely different song than the normal one that you would play when you take control of the actual main character. But then you can switch back between all these different types of characters, and then if you switch back to like Isaac and company, you get the battle music from game one. Uh -huh. mm. It wasn't a boulder, that was a giant walnut. There's so many walnuts in this house, or in this town. <laughs> in this house of a town. In this one house town. The mighty power of nature, the power beyond human understanding, can be seen in volcanic eruptions and great floods, which are both happening right now, ironically. <laughs> Boy, this book turned out to be pretty relevant. The book entitled The Laws of Vale, which describes Vale's customs. Get permission to leave the village, never show synergy to outsiders. All right, but if everyone dies, I can just do whatever I want, right? Yes. The Synergy Stone. Synergy is replenished by touching a Synergy Stone. Man, these books are all really tiny. Are they pop-up books? Are they children's books? They've got like one <laughs> sentence in them. <laughs> They're just picture books. Yay, Synergy Stone! Yay! <laughs> Hello, I would like to buy things. Oh, no one's around the shop. Guess I'm taken. Everybody took everything for the great People like Boulder me. War. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the Great Boulder War. They've suddenly become sentient. They are organized. Yeah, overseas, this is called the Boulder War. <laughs> Except Golden Sun. Yeah, Golden Sun was a little bit nicer. They got Lilac Wars, too. They got all the cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Did you know that that kid can technically do more synergy than you can right now, and you're older? He's also wasting it all. We have to save a small child, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, he's going to pick up a human. Gandalf, I loved you and enjoyed the wings. <laughs> I love you. This is the right time, too, for it. Grandpa, Jenna. Karen Isaac, he came to help. Jenna told me about Felix. Is that why you're here? Yes. Good boys. Jenna could use a hand. 
Great. <laughs> I'm all charged up. How are you? Have you recovered your synergy? You have to save Felix thanks to the synergy stone. Enough to lift a small ten-year-old, maybe. Yep. Yeah. You're welcome, squeaky rat. We must go save Felix. You're welcome, child my size. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome, fellow child unit. I'm running as fast as I can. I would just like to remind my parents that I am indeed six years old. <laughs> We got a buff man to help us. We found this man in his ice cream truck. He told us he knew where you were. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Said he was a friend of yours. Stranger danger. Hurry up and save Felix. Stop turning around. The boulder, it's on its way! Yo, that was a very active boulder. Oh yeah, the boulder. I hope it doesn't kill anybody. Oh, it's definitely about to! <laughs> <laughs> it was at that moment that I realized everyone was fucking dead. Oh, oh, oh I go! Man, that boulder was training for the Olympics, too. It's no so use. I can't move. Go. Isaac, please get help. Isaac, the boulder. Yeah. We need to get help or everyone will drown. I, uh, pooped my pants. I can't. <laughs> I can't get up, kid. I need to go change. Be right back. <laughs> the force of the impact must have knocked it off its hinges. If it's off its hinges, that means I can open the door. That means the door would be off. It's hinges. You can also just walk around the house. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember which way I'm actually supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go back. Isaac! I can't let him go alone. Sounds like these that we men have yeah. to stand together, says the eight-year-old. That's right. <laughs> says the not 26-year-old. Ah, uh, yes, Jesse and James. Anticipated soul sanctum would unleash such fury. It's a miracle that even the two of us were spared. That switch, it must have been a trap. But I think it could conjure up a storm this powerful. Another demonstration of the awesome powers of alchemy. Regardless, we shall not fa fail the next time we challenge soul sanctum. Next time we shall certainly. Isaac, wait! We definitely won't cause a gigantic boulder to fall. You were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? No! Isaac. <laughs> Isaac, they look scary. Are you sure you should be talking to them? They are definitely not a friend of your mother's. You must forget everything you heard. Okay! Don't no, worry, we'll help you for Absolutely. Already forgotten. What were we talking about? <laughs> Mystery woman appeared, and mystery man. Rising friends run, but there's no escape! Well, I'm dead. Mystery woman uses getting my ice cream truck. Isaac's party's been defeated. Well, game's over. Okay. Hmm? Well, bye. I sound like ten? Nah, not really. <laughs> we'll help you forget how to breathe. So anyway, Golden Sun. Three years later. Locally, Whoa. Locally known as uh, Boulder Wars. Boulder Wars. Boulder Three Wars. Three years later. Golden area. Good luck. Fourth planet of the Lilac system. Isaac, haven't you finished mending the roof yet? No, I'm dead! 
It's Takes been forever. three years. <laughs> three years. I've been it's weekend of birdies to the max. hard. <laughs> I could use a cup of water. We gave all these these houses cat ears. Hope you liked him. <laughs> <laughs> I keep wanting to use a Homestar voice, though. Push. Yeah, I'm just doing what the book said. Using synergy not for evil. Yep. The accident three years ago, is that why you've been studying synergy? Well, because we died? Yes, that's exactly why. No, absolutely, yeah. My family's never coming back, and neither is Isaac's father. Everyone's fucking dead. So stop pushing this rock. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? You're just like training for the Olympics just to honor somebody, and then the other person's just kind of like, well, it's not going to bring them back, so you should just like knock it off. It's a very short movie. You were to say something, weren't you? No, I didn't say a giant wall of text. Don't be weird, Garrett. <laughs> Go back to pushing your rock. Drama and intrigue. Ah, yes. Melodrama. My favorite aspect of the JRPG. This game is on the Wii Virtual Console. It's, true. it's also on Super Smash Bros. Melee if you use it to hack your GameCube. <laughs> and own the cartridge and a Game Boy player. And... <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, just use your hands, Isaac. Don't use psychic powers to move ha like one strand of hay. Come on now. This, this is why it took three years to fix the roof. Oh my God. Okay, he's I'm standing cool in the hole now. Now he's just being an idiot. He's doing he's, this on purpose now. Well, he. Uh, wait until Garrett gets up there. Good old Ryan <laughs> wannabe. He's a ghost. Let him levitate things. My bad. You're right. <laughs> Lady, I just patched that hole. Don't go standing on it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't call this exactly safe. <laughs> just like your father was, your dead father. Just trying to constantly remind you about that thing that you just played through 20 minutes ago. I feel like I'm playing Star We put Legos like under chimneys. <laughs> 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 Your dad used to fix the roof like that, too. Do you think things would be any different if you had stronger abilities? Yes. That's what I thought. I was devastated when Kyle died. <laughs> I felt all alone. It's taking some time, but I'm better now. I've Standing been up here, here on the, up roof. On the roof. I still have you, <laughs> Isaac. I felt alone, even though you were here, Isaac. You're almost 17. You're so much like Kyle when he was young. Oh, he, so he was 14 during that. Okay. Mom, or please don't I guess don't 13, technically. Looking forward to seeing where life takes you as you run around with a sword. Ma'am! <laughs> Ma'am! 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 Why didn't you wake me up? Ma'am! Ma'am! Why are we all standing on the roof? It's a, it's a fucking straw roof. Hey, I would just like to remind you I spent three years making this roof back up. <laughs> um, just watch where you step, maybe, just a little bit. Just try to... Just try to not to use, like, your full weight on top of the roof. Um, we don't have shingles for, like another 20 maybe 50 years we don't we don't figure that out or insurance <laughs> <laughs> we do have Legos. no 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 they got geico over in uh, golden sun that makes sense yeah <laughs> J 
just as stubborn as <laughs> your just, father. You're just as stubborn as your father. Your dead father. And she's dead. Uh, <laughs> three years later. <laughs> People won't stop dying on this roof. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Boulders aren't the only thing that kill people. Gravity, too. Gravity and roofs kill people, too. Murderous roofs. Murderous roofs. This reminds me of that Family Guy gag where Alan Mayor West stabs the ocean, the murderous ocean. <laughs> well, there goes all that work well, that we did for three years. Mm-hmm. This will take maybe another five Six years to fix. Well, you better get going. The whole house will fall apart if you stay much longer. Get the hell off my house. <laughs> I'll fix it instead of you children. I can do it faster than three <laughs> years. <laughs> Nobody messes with Adam Weed. <laughs> Adam West. Adam West. Garrett and Jenna joined your party! Now I'll wait till they're all gone. Yeah. <laughs> three years ago, I had three holes in my roof. Now it's only two, so it'll be a little bit faster. Here, let's, let's add an extra one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ha! Uh, I forget where I We are making holes in our roof. Am I going up or down? You're in trouble now, Garrett. Your sister's really mad. You move the rock. <laughs> Garrett, you make me so mad sometimes. Your trainings don't crush my flowers. In for it tonight, just wait and see. He wants to push it? There, hey, Isaac, there, can I better. stay at your place tonight? Fix there it. we go. <laughs> just I like, just... it drags the grass and flowers with it. <laughs> just makes I should have moved it the other way so it was still on like, more flowers. <laughs> well, yeah, now it's even. You don't want just half alive flowers, right? Just wait and see. Welcome, weary wanderers. What oh, aid oh. do you seek? Your coins, 310. I just wanted to hang out. I'm <laughs> repel evil. I'm feeling pretty evil right now. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah, I read that in a book I read. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, planning on seeing him at Mount Alvaro, are you? Yes. Sacred Peak, no one can climb without permission. I'm in this game. Okay, well, That's you're not me. looking, so bye. <laughs> okay, he's waiting for us. We should go Hello. to his house. Oh. But we snuck up here! <laughs> yes. Just let me up there. Yes. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> nice question. <laughs> Meanwhile, three years later, these two are still here. <laughs> these chuckleheads are still <laughs> here. They don't. What have you been doing? A thing. <laughs> we murdered two children, then just kind of hung out. <laughs> we went to the bodega for about three years. <laughs> Slow service there, but man, top-notch quality. Yeah. The, the best chopped cheese. They were looking for Meowth. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, not this shit again. Are you jumping in a conversation? No! Definitely not. I, remember I guess the last I should take I you at your word! <laughs> you fucking did three years ago! You murdered two children! Hey, you're the ones who were sneaking around. 
Sneaking? Who are you to accuse me? Raiden's engagement was <laughs> Sneaker McSneakington. How dare you accuse me of sneaking around? Go. You're letting us go? But you murdered us three years ago. Did you did you get over it? Today today's my mom's birthday, and I just I, I don't we, feel right. We I have no reason to delay these children any further. You tried to kill us! <laughs> you delayed us for three years! <laughs> well, thank you! Appreciate it. Goodbye! Do 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 do. <laughs> no. Yes. Things even the elders of Vale don't know. What were they saying about the elements? Why am I saying this out loud to anyone who could hear me? Well, I sure hope they're gone. It'd be so embarrassing if they were still around to hear everything I was saying. <laughs> Can't have that happen. Well, that's convenient. We got the entire plot of the game now. Perfect. <laughs> well, Thanks for saving us time, time old man. Too. Oh, sweet Gandalf's back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gandalf, I brought back your fun pot. They're very persistent. It's almost like I talked so loud they didn't need to walk away. <laughs> I wonder what they were doing here! <laughs> no. They might be thieves! Go to the high elders and the villagers. <laughs> they might be thieves! Wait, everyone! Let me yell as loudly as possible so they know you're coming. You have Uno. <laughs> hey, kids! Do you want to go up to Mount Aleph? <laughs> yes, it'll be fine. Just Gilbert Godfrey it is Creighton. No. Can somebody else be the leader? If Garrett's our leader, we'll be the ones who are nervous. Don't you agree, Creighton? You don't have to be mean. And then he left. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, if Isaac's not going to be a leader, <laughs> then I'm taking the flag. <laughs> then I'm not in. <laughs> this is our best bet. It's called a gun. Oh, back. <laughs> it's my kill uh, synergy. In search of ancient Lemurians, the Fountain of Tolby will test your luck. Can't read this bookshelf. Study of alchemy. To understand alchemy, one must understand the elemental powers. That's where the script ends. Jesus, that was a short book. <laughs> These books don't have anything. You must learn about. the elemental powers. To learn about the elemental powers, buy volume two. <laughs> At right, Barnes so and Noble bookstores near you. Oh, Jenna doesn't have any synergy. I guess she hasn't been training, quote unquote, but I thought she was the healer. I got five bucks! She figures synergy out eventually. All things are composed of fire, like how... fire, water, fire, and wind. That's it. Oh, no heart? No. 
I like how Creighton is just watching you rob him blind. <laughs> you found my five dollar bill. Can I have it back? No. This sink is filthy, but just three no. shots from Gitching Well, at least they didn't take my vodka. And it sparkles like new. I would like hey, to use hey. move. My giant hand no, did not move. work. That tiny boulder is keeping all of the monsters out. Can you quit it? <laughs> Like a hedgehog just like runs up to that boulder and like, no, I couldn't. Oh no. I would never. No! I'll overlook it this time, but I've got my eye on you, Isaac. <laughs> you sure? Oh damn, he actually did. He wasn't even looking! How'd you even see me? Back of my head, bitch. Goodbye! <laughs> Boy, I sure hope they don't try to go up to Mount Aleph while I turn this corner. He's after Soul Sanctum. This is your first time here, right? Yep. The important relic of our past. Craig, aren't you a little be? Craig, aren't you a little too old to be breaking and entering? <laughs> no, I'm just here to encourage it. I'm blaming the children. <laughs> Everyone will believe me. <laughs> Oh, these, these kids! I I tried to stop them, but but my back. They overpowered me with their youthfulness. <laughs> they overpowered me with their youthful vigor. Oh God! Okay. Oh well. It's cause of my rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, I, I, I thought she had a spell or something. I'm like, she literally has a wand. <laughs> what can you do, Isaac? I can move things. What can you do, Jetta? I can, I can move hay. I can make them die by fire. How did... How did Jetta take out that one by herself and we're struggling here? Nice try, Garrett. <laughs> Why is Jetta our murdering character for melee attacks? <laughs> well, it's probably because uh, Oh Isaac's right, this is a game that doesn't actually for it three moves years. the targets. This one doesn't move targets if you kill someone, does it? Uh no it does. You can just blindly attack. Oh, because I would say both characters decided to block, so I wasn't sure. Oh maybe they do? Chat's saying nope. Okay. Okay. Well then, I definitely just blindly hit attack and did not care. To be fair, I probably also held down the B button, which like speeds this whole thing up. Yeah, so, uh, I think it has auto attack that will target new enemies. It didn't for Garrett just then, he went to defense after we killed the other one, so. Might, yeah, you might be right. But like I said, I like speed through these battles so much that I probably didn't realize that was happening this whole time. There's no auto retarget. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross. Here, have some health. I was about to say you're a uh, your number one body smasher, Jenna. She's a little hurt right now. Dark Did they Dawn do it fix in that issue, and the second stage? game fix that issue. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I know that's what I said. I said the vermin looks like Mero. Uh, the original Final Fantasies did that too. Auto yeah. target wasn't a thing until four or three, actually. Which is annoying because it's very helpful. But at least, at least the auto decision is defense, which is better than literally nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think in the huh. first Final Fantasy, it's, it's just like you missed it. It was dead. There's nothing There's for nothing me to hit. Miss. I guess I'll just stand around and assume everything's fine. Oh, what? I'm being hit by a monster. What? 
Well, it's either that or he was going to attack, you know, person A was going to attack the monster, person B kills it, and then person A is like, well, I guess I won't do anything then. Fine, I see how it is. Fine. Yeah, auto target disabled is just petty bullshit. <laughs> Why, why don't you just kill the next bad guy, too, Mr. Monk? I was hoping we'd get a tiny bit farther, but this is... We're well past time at this point, so I guess we should... Wrap up. I got a small duel! Can you save anywhere? Check the chest. Yeah, I can there save anywhere. Go. I've already saved. Nice. See, that was the golden sun. We did it, guys. We beat the game. game. A beautiful eye-shaped yeah. jewel. Whose item? An important item. Who wants it? Yeah, it's just a key item. This also has that Dragon Quest thing where everybody has their own inventory. <laughs> or Earthbound. Or Earthbound, yeah. The real, the real Golden Sun was the small jewel we found along the way. Yay, we did it. Isaacs and now a level 2 Squire mastered the Squire's <laughs> Quake. We did it. <laughs> Squire's Quake happens when I talk to a pretty girl. <laughs> this game has a sort of job system, but not in the way that Final Fantasy has a job system. Yes, Isaac is now a level two squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, time to go sleep. Oh, we can change window yeah. color. Oh, Pretty bad yeah. Time. Hot pink You baby. can make Isaac stop talking. That's a little too pink. Oh, no, that's pinker. That's definitely pinker. There we go. Yeah, tone down. <laughs> Give me some pastels. There we go. That's, yeah, there's your Final Fantasy. None of this, is it teal, is it green stuff? No, it's totally blue. I keep pressing the same buttons. Jeez. Status. Isaac, level Look, 2. You... Squire, normal. Guard, normal. Flame user, normal. <laughs> Arsonist, think, normal. Think someone won the, uh, the lottery here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Squire's basically just child. Normal. Right. Let's go to the cookie. To the cookie. All right. We did say Boss. we had a carryover last time. We hope it was on the correct screen. That's still not the correct screen, though. There we go. You're going to get a second chance with uh, Twilight Princess HD for Wii U, but there's going to be six new options as well in the poll. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, I'm fixing Beep boop. Beep boop. There we go. Man, I really wish there was a way to actually know that happens on my side without having to wait for chat to catch up. <laughs> All right, so Pino Graham gets a 1% roll with Twilight Princess HD, so there's a carryover, but there's still another six people on here, starting with Gamer Owen 64 who has picked Kirby Mass Attack for the DS. Spirit of Water Montaru has asked for Bionicle Maze of Shadow for the Game Boy Advance. Really, dude? All right. Can't say I'm super shocked. 
Rosie has asked for Miss Spider's Tea Party for the PlayStation 1. Nostalgia night. Apparently. Uh, Jesse Snuffles has asked for a mini Metro on Steam. I've heard that's a good one. Miles Luigi has asked for Dynamite Heady for the Sega Genesis. Some good old treasure. That's a good one. I fear having to buy it. Mm. Actually, how much is it? It's not super expensive, but it's probably around the price of a normal game. And the last one for this round is from Maniacal. Let's go for something that would probably not show up on a regular cookie, but could be fun regardless. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore for the Switch. Also, this is spelled as Toki Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore in the backlog as a heads up. Oh, good. Four, four months later, I get to fix it. <laughs> Better late than ever. <laughs> well, someone's trying to sell Dynamite Heady for $70. All right. This is this is quite the list. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, Kirby Mass Attack, Bionicle Maze of Shadow, Miss Spider's Tea Party, Bless Mini you. Metro, Dynamite Heady, and Tokyo Mirage Jet Sessions Sharp <laughs> FE Encore. Let's see what wins it's out of like this I need list. I to take a nap halfway through that title. And sneeze hurt a little bit, so I'm just like, yep. Could definitely take that break. Take that sneeze break. <laughs> that sneeze window. Actually, I didn't even hear it because I think uh, it broke the the noise gate on the call. Well, you can think. I'm sure chat heard it at the very least. I just saw everyone saying Gensuntite, and I thought it was because you just said a really long video game name. No, it's because I actually sneezed. Uh, Gensuntite. All right, currently in the lead. Ah! Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Apparently, everyone wants RPGs tonight. <laughs> Tokyo Mirage Sessions in the lead, 97 votes, 30%. Kirby Mass Attack, 60 votes, 18%. Twilight Princess HD, 65 votes, 18%. Miss Spider's Tea Party, 42 votes, 11%. Bionicle Maze of Shadows, 26 votes, 6%. Dynamite Heady, 29 votes, 7%. And Mini Metro, 19 votes, 4%. 430 votes clock so far. Token Mirage Sessions leads 131 to 93. Token Mirage Sessions will kill the VOD? Isn't that just the intro? I know the intro will kill the VOD, but I don't think the rest of the game does. Either way, let's slap him in on the clock and see what happens. <laughs> Looks like I'm watching something download three separate games on the Wii Shop. <laughs> If that's not how the Wii shop. Oh, on the Wii shop, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. First one. Tried to stream it once, the entire VOD was dead. Intro, maybe the rest of the game is VOD safe. Soundtracks on iTunes, make it that what you will. I mean, Pokemon soundtracks on iTunes. Don't go that way. Well, either way, 144 to 116, it's looking pretty safe for Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Yeah. Yep. You'll get him next time, Dynamite Heady. Safe win there. I picked Mrs. Spider's Tea Party. All right. Uh, let's see who's up next on the polls then. Mark those all as done. <laughs> Next round's gonna have Blonde Lombax, the Polka Prof, Shadow War, the Knight of Void, Polk Kitsune, and Kid Ark Storm. All 
Alright, let's drop some eggs. Psychotic Sonic for 49, Victim of Changes for 38, Gamer JG for 64, Suave Ass McGee for 6, that's a good name. I am Chunky J for 12, Super Jared 64 for 8, Hurt Shadow Man for 59, Extraterrestrial for 7, uh, Darth Mauler 64 for 65, CJ 47 for 42, and Queen Nera for 18. Thanks for 7, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... Oh, there's some in the carton this time. Eekaboo with John and the Ugly Mikey. What? Oh, I get it. Boss! <laughs> oh, Belmont's Revenge. Oh, so oh. it's not even Simon's Quest. Jesus Christ, Michelangelo scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind the Michael Bay designs that much. They were definitely jarring to get used to, though. Negative Pro with... those lips. Negative Pro with, so you know that new rhythm game from Indie World called Soundfall? Well, the Steam version lets you import music. Oh, I, I didn't even watch the Indie Direct. I forgot that was today. I've been kind of busy all day. Ryan's hanging out, so... Dungeons randomly generated based on the song's length. You get a bonus if you beat the stage before the song loops. It's close to following the rhythm? I can't quite tell. It's BPM based. Oh, is it BPM based? Yeah. Okay, so you can walk around freely, but any action you take has to be based on rhythm? I think I actually like that better than Cadence. Interesting. Yeah, that's all right. BPM question mark? Oh. <laughs> Does question it have mark? Question mark? Does it have BPM? We're not sure. <laughs> We're not telling. We're going to get a break when we come back. Next game Does on the stream. Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp Effie Encore on Switch. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Good luck. Yeah, I got to go get my Switch because it's upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Go check the email. Why is my email not on my computer? <laughs> Bonding with baby? <laughs> Look. 
baby has its own coffee cup. Oh, the game's in Steam. Got it. Ooh, 30 bucks, huh? Yeah, I heard that a lot of the, uh, the Indie World stuff was like... A lot of this is also on Steam already. Looking forward to crab game. I want crab. You guys got questions? You guys got my new album? What? <laughs> <laughs> what if instead of asking questions, you went to my band camp and bought all of my albums? Mm. Mm -hmm. Each album is a potential question. Love that. As in, will I like this album? Let's buy it and find out. I mean, it's only seven bucks. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with you? You ever worked on a farm? Nope. <laughs> you ever been to a Turkish prison? Yep. <laughs> good answer, good answer. Dude, I bought the album the night it dropped. You say that like it's a bad thing. I love you. Dude, I bought the album the night it dropped. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Which game has aged worse, Super Mario Brothers 1 or Sonic 1? Probably Sonic 1. Uh, if we're not counting like uh like Updates or remakes, like mobile ports and stuff. I think Sonic one. I'm trying to think of it in terms of like the games that are in their respective series. So I'm not thinking of like Mario 64 or anything like that. I think only it's because they say. added Spin Dash to the newer Sonics. Yeah, but do you, oh, do you play the Sonic Jam version of Sonic one? Because that's where they put the Spin Dash back in. Mm -mm. Although I do like in the Japanese version, you can like die instantly from spikes because they didn't program like the invincibility frames. So like you jump, you get hit by the one spike, you bounce off into another set of spikes and you just instantly die. Yeah, Sonic Genesis, that's the one. The one for the Game Boy Advance remake, that aged terribly. That's a much harder thing to, to answer. Because, like, they both are not the best of their respective series. <laughs> Lost levels absolutely age terribly. It's only that. My mom wants to know if you, you've ever tried hot yoga. Why does your mom want to know that? <laughs> I tell myself 10 what would you tell to yourself from 10 years in the future are you saying like what would I tell my future self in 10 years or what would I go back in time and ask my past self from 10 years ago because 10 years ago I'd have told him therapy is cool you should do that oh she found out we can ask 10 questions years older you I don't know what to tell myself in 10 years, because who the hell knows what that guy even is? Oh, that's probably awful. Probably just ask him what the hell happened to you.
<laughs> Best kind of cookie that includes chocolate? I mean, just chocolate chip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Want to know what's even better? Like, if you want, if you don't care about your health at all, is chocolate chip cookies slightly warmed up in the microwave, and then you get uh, some Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Say cool. Why are you saying it weird? <laughs> cool. Say whip. 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 Say Will Wheaton. Will, Will Wheaton. Wheaton. You're eating hair. <laughs> Soft? Or Am I a fan of 40... Uh, Warhammer 40k? No, I'm not. I had a friend who was obsessed with 40k back in the 90s. Yeah, use Miracle Whip instead. Do not get Miracle Whip and Cool Whip confused. Just a little bit of mayonnaise, no big deal. They've spent millions of dollars telling you that it is not mayonnaise. <laughs> it's just like what I can't we believe have it's not butter. Is, yeah, what we have is in fact a miracle. Quit. Oh my god. All right. Quit. Uh, no messages on any of the alerts tonight, but uh, thank you, Z Man and Thrilla, for those. Let's just go right to our block then. Our block starts with a prompt that I pretty much expected to see here. The boulder, you say. By the way, Ace Nerd once again was my original Twitchy name. I'm Clockwork Pretzels now. Gotcha. Thank you, Clockwork. The boulder is here to ruin your puny city. He Next. killed three people. <laughs> Well, if you put it that way, it's not as nice. Uh, from Roto Eve, tonight I bring you a pair of bots and a robot creator. Robo John was interesting since her only pieces aren't colored, but as she's mentioned as being based on curly brace, I took some inspiration with her colors from uh, from that. Red is also a surprisingly rare color amongst alts. It's because blue's our dominant color, so it makes sense. Anyways, enjoy. Thank you for Rosa Bot, Wiley John, and Robo John all for good old Metopia. So if you have Metopia, type in L4LWPD and you will get access to a lot of alts. Also, I see a Ryu. Why are you here, Ryu? Are you here because Isaac is a squirrel, apparently? Can't believe Isaac became a squirrel. Just a girl. <laughs> Just a squirrel, get out of here. Inukun7 kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, A tad late, but here is the customary birthday dono for luck reload for the year. I uh, could really use a luck as I hunt for a new job, though nothing but thankful to be gone from the last one. Thank uh, you all for the fun streams, John. Uh, a better deal than... Better deal than what? A better deal than what? It cuts off there! <laughs> now I'll my what? Now I'll never... <laughs> yeah, now I'll never know what was a better <laughs> deal then. Thanks, Inu Kun. Here's hoping for some good luck, bud. <laughs> and the last picture I got in our block is Miss Spider. One lonely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. From Red's name, not original, but Miss Spider's tea party unlocked a repressed memory of some picture books I read as a child. After a quick Google search, out of curiosity, I found this screenshot. This is what we missed out on. Yep. There you go. <laughs> She's like sipping as if she's really upset that she didn't win the poll. She's just like, not my president. All right, one lonely, one lonely spider. Mad at how she ranked. Mm -hmm. we'll pop over here. Actually, we won't because it looks like I got here before the message got added in, and I think it's exactly what I think it is. So I'm gonna have to look at that one later when the full message is in. All right. I'm on we'll the edge of my seat. We'll get back to that one later because now it's time for Tokyo Mirage sessions. I mean, oh, I gotta to... get God of Protectors. It's good. Yeah. Went back to Peglin the other day. Did they add anything new since? Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Well, they added a nuisance. A what? A nuisance. What did they add? They nerfed the shit out of the magnet. I don't blame them. That seemed pretty fucking broken. I still can't 
update the game. <laughs> what is going on, Twitch? <laughs> Tags fail to update, so I can't update anything. Yeah, I just, just saw John's stream from last time. They were like, we have to do something. Let me see if I can change it now. There we go. That fixed it. Good old refresh. All right. Uh, so I'm told I'm going to have to mute this intro, I guess. You may have to, yes. Also, I'm just here for a little bit. Okay. The setting adjusts the difficulty battles. It doesn't affect the story, so we select what fits your needs. Normal. Choose a setting for Subasa's glasses? What? You can decide whether Subasa or Ribe, one of the game's cast appearing in the story, should wear glasses as part of her casual outfits. This will not affect the story in any way. Do you like girls with glasses, John? I do. But you're not even. Then just say yes. Choose for me? Oh, I can't make up my Why mind. is this such a big, just, important decision? She's just perfect either way. Glasses are just that important, man. You, got, you just gotta choose sometimes. Is wear glasses okay? Yes, it's okay. It, <laughs> it's is fine. Is wear glasses okay? Is Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> <laughs> this game is a work of fiction. Any similarity between its content and existing groups of persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. Including Bruno Mars. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but Bruno Mars is not real. <laughs> I knew it! I knew he was never real. He's just a failed Michael Jackson clone. He's so good at Fuck singing. Fuck you, Uptown Funk is a classic. They're so good at singing, <laughs> I can't hear them! Hey, Singing's hey, great. Hey, hey, I hope someday I'll be able to hear what they're doing. <laughs> we cannot sing this. <gasps> the yes. bot has been killed. It is bleeding everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Dios mío. <laughs> well, the show must go on. And I'm gone now. Save me, flowers! <laughs> and thus, everyone in this auditorium was dead. Everyone died. The end. Wow. What a short game. Even shorter than Golden Sun. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, JRPGs really aren't that long these days. <laughs> Mass disappearance at Opera. Over a thousand gone missing. Veteran actor, uh, she comes to idol. Cow. 13 year old survivor, only one. Cow. Must be so and so stay. five years later. Five years later. <laughs> See, this is better than Golden Sun. Golden five Sun years later, years Atlas later. presented something. Do you think she's still fixing a roof? <laughs> She's on her way to fix a roof. And muted. Yeah, this is where you gotta mute. Huh. The sound went away. It's just like the intro. Goodbye. Random silhouettes. Uptown yeah. Funk, go give it to you. Dude, she is Uptown, Uptown Funk. Funk going to give it to I you. I wish you could hear. <laughs> hey, let's, let's put in some, -na -na -na. some tune music. -na -na -na. There we go. -na -na -na. This, this will work. Yeah. That's really John, go on, give it to you. Go on, give it to you. Oh no, we gotta do the uh. Tiki, the now on do sale. Do 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 so, the best way I can explain do 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 Tiki is she's sister. Hatsune she's Miku. Down. I'm not even joking with that, by the way. <laughs> Hatsune Miki? Yeah. Birds! I love Cell aviation. phones and birds! <laughs> Singing with no music! <laughs> I and wish I no could be as words. free as those random silhouette people. Shirtless man! 
best girl, the blonde girl, is great. What if I was just made of purple? Business! Was that the girl that we picked the glasses for? The one that was working in the office? Uh, no. Okay. You've already seen the girl that you picked glasses for. Oh, okay. She was the uh, main girl with the music at the start. Ah, yes. You know, the one with the music. Yeah. Oh, we got a Prologue. raid? Reincarnation. Oh, did uh, we no. got a raid? Looks like. Did we? Did we? Uh, I don't see the raid. I think it was just people using emotes. Oh, okay. Okay. Here's the emotes, yeah. No, just Miku emote. Got it, got it, got it. Let's see, I had nothing on my list. Guess who's the main character? One of Millennium. <laughs> these, these damn Millenniums. Yeah, it's been happening for a thousand years. Looking at birds. Some, some kind of event, huh? Weird how I ended up here. It was taking Toma so long. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Itsuki carries a communication tool with him called Topic. You can just say it's a cell phone, it's okay. All Topic conversations are accessed through the dedicated Topic screen. Normally you can open the Topic screen with plus, but certain story critical messages will cause the Topic screen to open up automatically. So this was originally on the Wii U gamepad, this whole menu here. Ah, okay. Yeah. Which explains a lot. Yeah, I played this on the Wii U myself, so it's, it's cool to see. People did say it was a pretty good conversion. Itsuki yeah. Aoi, a high school student, is invited by his friend Toma Agaki to visit Daitama Observatory, the event space of a TV station by the seaside. However, the meeting time comes and goes. Toma is nowhere to be seen and instead sends a message saying he's running late. As Itsuki wanders around to kill some time, he eventually runs into... Batman. Bruno oh. Mars. Blarg, yeah, sorry, this. running late. Yeah, I seriously just got off the stage. Sorry, man. God, I, I was I the one who said the Blarg more often. I, I really love Blarg. It's a good word for just being like, ah, Blarg. <laughs> blarg. <laughs> well, I'm going home. Siri, say Blarg. <laughs> I saw someone who looked a lot like Subasa in uh, Oda uh, Odaiba today. Odaiba. Oh, is, it, is it Odaiba? Because that's... Yes. So the A is mm -hmm. silent? Odaiba. Right. No, it's Odaiba. Oda oh, okay. like yeah, Oda I see it. I see it. Yeah, I see yeah. it. I can see it now. Did you tell anything about her plans? Nope. Eh, it was probably someone else then. <laughs> Here I go! I'll just wander around to see what one of Millennium is. <laughs> Let's go to Daitama. Excuse me, female staff. She's not a child. That's literally just a human that you use the transform tool on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh my god! Yeah, just short. <laughs> she just looks like she's just a tiny person. Which I mean, what are children? But not just tiny people. But I mean, yes. <laughs> you just held the shift key on your keyboard and just dragged it down. Sister, how did you get smaller? I used the transform tool on me. <laughs> you ever heard of Photoshop? They used it on me. <laughs> yeah, Utaloid is what they call uh, the Tiki program. Sugoi. <laughs> Sugoi. I love the names of these NPCs because it's kind of like the random names you get at the end of credits for extras. Mm hmm There's some incredible NPC names in this game. Panning up. Sugoi, brother. Wiener Mercator as the Hopping Woman. Glasses was the right choice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. It was very important. <laughs> I was expecting you to just restart the game. <laughs> 
Hold control on. your friend's uh, eyesight, make it good on. or bad with one choice of a button. Apparently we did know no matter what option we picked, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Perfect. I'll get around to it. Onward. Sugoi. Sugoi. Hey, it's pretty Sugoi if I say so myself. Come on, Itsuki. We've been friends since we were kids. Can't you take me seriously for once? Sugoi. 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 Oh my god. That's a lot of flowers she summoned. We're getting parfait. Your treat. Let's see why you're trying to get me excited about her. I want Kronk in her outfit. <laughs> 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 Makes perfect sense. I just want to be able to talk about curious stuff with you. Really, just this outfit and her other outfits that she gets. <laughs> What are you doing here? Gosh, I thought I threw him off the trail. Go, Sir Goy. Oh, well, you know, just. just things. Oh, yeah. I, I love her face. Uh, <laughs> I need to go become one of Millennium. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I just remember there was something I had to do, so uh, gotta go. I'll see you later. And then she dematerialized. John A. <laughs> She's dead. Sugoi. Thanos Sugoi. snapped her out of existence. Bon <laughs> I don't feel so good, Itsuki Kun. Wrong <laughs> 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 What happens when you become one of Millennium? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what they call uh, the snapped, uh, the one of Millennium. Thanos was a really big fan of idols. <laughs> Fireworks! Yeah, yeah! Ah, yes. The silhouette people are loving it. Yeah. I think I'm it's a good style, honestly. It's a hell of a name. Mm -hmm. Hey, Peter, can I borrow your egg beater? What are you mag beater for? He. <laughs> that would be <laughs> Sagoy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm very excited speaking Look into the world face. like this. Man's eyes are I'm so I'm excited tiny. to make money. His eyebrows are so small. <laughs> this suit is so loud. <laughs> it's to hide away his tiny eyebrows. Than his eyebrows. It's to take away. Exactly. I believe this is based off like Japanese hosts and comedians, I think was yes. the idea behind his outfit. Yeah. There's like a That's lot of right. culture. Uh, like the Japanese entertainment industry in this game. I think it's very fascinating. Well, it's about an idol group, essentially. So, yeah, makes sense. It's more, it's more than just idols. It's more so, like, the entertainment industry as a whole, actually. And Krunk. Yeah, Krunk, Krunk the number one super Whoa, idol. Whoa, she's got glasses! Japan. Whoever picked that made the right choice! Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, whoever picked that must be a real good person in terms of picking things that girls should wear. I means deplete you! Oh, what? she did actually say she that. She did actually say yep. that. She's doing her best. Tsubasa doing on stage? That just... That's okay, Tsubasa. It just makes you even more kawaii. 
editor's note. Kawaii means cute. Oh, that's fair, Tactician. They showed that in the intro. Huh? There's a ghost behind her! And her neck is glowing! Oh, again. And she's gone. Never mind, we're fine. I hate, I hate it when the ghost so appears. Nope, ghost is gone. Was that one of Millennium? <laughs> Cox gun, she's haunted. <laughs> Friends haunted. haunted. What? Friends haunted. Friends haunted. Friends, Friends haunted. haunted. <laughs> Friends haunted. She'll do great in our entertainment industry. Oh. Whoa. When Mickey Mouse puts an idol, he gets an idol. You can't, you can't stop the mouse, huh? Soon all of Japan will fall under my leash. <laughs> oh no. Everyone will have to have a Disney Plus subscription. Oh, the crowd, the the silhouette people are just eating this up. She has depression just like me. Wow. I can smile again. <laughs> yeah, <Thanks>. so relatable. <laughs> That's why I want to be able to help everyone smile just like my friend did for me. Through the power of commercialism. Yay. <laughs> Yay. If you buy my album, I'll smile more. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what it was that made you so depressed so we can bum everyone out and make you relive your trauma? Come on, let's relive your trauma just for Mickey. To the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> She's I know all about your family. About me. <laughs> all your records. I have the most peace out right now! Uh-oh. I know all about you. I know all about you and your sister. That kind of reminds me of Majima. Mm, kind of. Very kind, great singer. I just never heard her sing, though. She opened her mouth a lot and people clapped, so I just assumed she was good at it. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. She was great in her dentist commercials. Is <laughs> Ryan when I need him? This question is getting a little weird. <laughs> what a weirdo. Are all the performers in the audience in the theater just disappeared? This guy's creepy. Yeah, really did his homework. <laughs> yep. I love how you can just hear in the chat. Nani, Nani, Nani. <laughs> For my next Nani. trick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're very creepy. Leave me alone. The truth is, I'm a friend of your mother. She's in the hospital. Get in my van. <laughs> Why does it always come back to a van? <laughs> That's all I have! All you have is the van. All I have is the van. He's oh, evil. Oh, wait, nope, there we go. Remember me, Subasa, when I killed your sister? Just that I sounded just like <laughs> this! <laughs> wait a minute, nobody said anything about killing her. Here come the oh triangles. no, the people that have no faces are dying. <laughs> they're losing their color, which is actually a neat detail. Wow, they're, they're becoming even more like the masses. They're making Crayola crayons out of them! <laughs> <laughs> no, not the gray colors, how else will I make my forest? <laughs> Oh, 
All I have is burnt auburn. I don't want burnt auburn. My triangles, I'm so proud of them. Don't take them away from me. <laughs> Not my Doritos, I need those. <laughs> Enchilada <laughs> toes, they make you want to eat them. Yeah, didn't everyone know that the, that the entire Japanese idol industry is run by Crayola Crayons? They all make yeah. sense now. I knew that. <laughs> How could you not know that? Tsubasa! Tsubasa! Oh, what, stupid? Use the glasses as armor! It's the only way! <laughs> The glasses add plus 80 defense. <laughs> Quick, take off your glasses. Then they can't see you. <laughs> they won't recognize you then. <laughs> they can't see me. I can't see them. <laughs> oh, my I can't pacemaker. be seen without my glasses. I can't be seen without my glasses. I don't want that bit. <laughs> oh, my Doritos, they're back to normal. Okay, good. Cool ranch good, right. good, good thing no one noticed I was the only one they didn't get. <laughs> Back in my tummy where they belong. Everyone else may be dead, but at least my coal ranch is here beside me. <laughs> well, I guess I'll I leave. I have Doritos and Doesn't anime seem like any on reason my side. To stay here. Well, let's look at the posters. Seems like she'll be doing a concert in Shibuya soon. That's nice to know. Wow. Well, that Carnation's <laughs> always at the top of the charts, like always. Oh boy! Oh well, that'll be nice to go to next week. Masquerader Raiga. Raiga. Sugoi. Programs like this, anyone can compose songs. Oh well, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> finally, someone I can talk to. Oh no! <laughs> Somebody get this color. Finally, someone who's speaking my language. <laughs> Oh no! The tiny human is not here anymore. It's oh no! Even smaller. <laughs> what happened to the photoshopped adult? <laughs> she became too tiny and fell through the floor. She was cropped. Oh no! She was cropped. <laughs> no, you're supposed to use the transform tool. Not the crop tool. You fools! You've messed with the natural order. I can't text my friend! How come I can't text my friend? Oh, oh we well, this is just the worst. Tsubasa! Good luck! You there? <laughs> Good luck, Tsubasa. <laughs> you okay, buddy? I'm gonna go for a swim. <laughs> Press 1 to open the main menu. When you wish to save your progress, select System from the main menu to save your game. Be sure to save your progress often. Now, as you progress through the game, various functions will be added to the menu. Yes. <laughs> just type good luck in Let me just lie in this field and enjoy the menu. This is pretty nice. This is, I, yeah, this is way better this, than whatever's going on This is way nicer there. than the triangle zone. Man, I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> this menu is nice because, like, the more people, like, you get in your, like, team, the larger the field, like, fills with people. I think it's a really nice touch. Yeah, and they have to lie down there like a dessert tech I should commercial. I that damn place. Oh... All right, everybody out. Canceling this place. Shutting down. <laughs> come on, come on. Yep. Shut down. Budget's over. Show's over. <laughs> Leave now, please. <laughs> They're all we, just we, staring we, at you like, what's going on? You're like, I hit, I said cancel. It's done. It's yeah. over. Come on. Bring her back. Go home. Bring her back. Come on. It's like Sosgrove's back. cut it out. <laughs> Even in Daitama anymore? Uh, no. Oh no, a VTuber! <laughs> I really oh, am boy. in hell. My one weakness. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in Daitama anymore. You know, you can just walk or hover, you don't have to teleport. I can still see you! Or at least let me teleport, too. 
Because I have to walk. I can't believe she's just five from Twilight or Scattered Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Time to power walk, baby. Oh, B Play is record. reset camera? That's weird. It was on the Wii U at first, that so weird. they're kind of still keeping some of that stuff from there. The Wii U still had little clickety clacks. It did. So it's joystick. The, the L1, L1 and R1, along with the stick, all move the camera. Mm hmm. But B, for some reason, is what resets it behind you, which is. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, who was that strange girl I just saw posters of not ten minutes ago? Oh, good. I'm getting, I got cell phone service down here. <laughs> Is everything okay? Where are you? I think I'm still that time. I went through this weird gate thing and ended up in some huge place I've never seen before. There's like floating cubes. And I saw a VTuber. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's not good. You know this place? <laughs> yeah, it's called Twitch. Get out of here. Can't explain right now, man. You gotta have those Wait, I have to explain Twitch to you. We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> I, I will literally die inside. I have to explain to you what Germa is. <laughs> I'd rather die. Ah! Germa? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Was that the VTuber? <laughs> I'm coming, baby. I'm not in that big of a rush, though. I'm only doing a light jog. <laughs> Look, we're training for the power walking Olympics, so get to stepping. Up. Up. Pump. Pump. A to up. Hey, that scream sounded the same. That's just a recording. I'm, I'm starting to, to think you don't mean it. <laughs> Throw a couple more H's in there, then I'll believe it. Throw a couple of R's and R's in there. What's your hurry? <laughs> oh, now we're running. Oh, you're a wanna party platter! <laughs> Well, that's just cheating. No, they're my Doritos. <laughs> you can't take them from me. You can't take my cool ranch. They don't make this flavor anymore. I have to savor it. They outlawed Cool Ranch Doritos, man. I gotta, I gotta yeah. savor it. Gotta savor it. Savor that flavor. A dangerous presence. Huh? Tsubasa! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yokosu. <laughs> Break down the door. <laughs> Turn into an anime. All right, anime cutscene. Not Sugoi. Very not Sugoi. Oh, yeah. This is very un Sugoi. He has way more burritos than you do. Oh, well, he's dropping them all on the oh. ground, though. Look! <laughs> it's fine. You can just go to, you know, the Nega bodega. Saved by my screaming. And this orb I found. <laughs> Let me just slam it into you for some reason. This was my first reaction. Oh yeah, baby. Gonna catch me as Pikachu. 
if I have anything that resembles kind of a weapon, I will try to smash it in somebody's face. This is to protect myself. Tajay! You were trying to steal my Doritos. Are you winning, ghostly man? This design, honestly, is super sick. It's pretty nice. But my orb! <laughs> it was delicious, now hurry up! <laughs> yum yum in my tum tum, now go! Sure, spread the Doritos amongst the masses. This is my final message, goodbye. <laughs> I only had one orb to give! You must spread the philosophy of Liv Moss. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell will save us! These Triforces aren't doing anything! By Baja Blast! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's right! Orbs! That's it! I'm just gonna but steal just this orb from you, don't mind. Just Baja Blast! Don't mind where yeah. I'm taking this orb <laughs> Give from. Give me your orb, please. Let me just slam your this into this yeah, person's yeah. face. My Doritos Logos Taco! <laughs> okay. Oh no, we're out of orbs and there's way more! Anybody else got any weird orbs hanging around in them? Ma'am, do you have an orb? Sir? <laughs> orb? They just like turn to say their names and it's like, I am man without orb. Somehow oh, they knew to it. do this. Yeah. It's the carnage form. Oh, thank yeah, god, taking that orb out of my body just left so much extra room in there for carnage forms. <laughs> it's my favorite brand, Dorito. This baby can fit so many carnage forms in it. Now that I Now that I've gotten rid of this orb of life from my from my chest, I can fill it up with so much hate. <laughs> To be fair, it's forming weapons, so technically you're not wrong. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this Tsubasa outfit is what I want to see Kronk in. <laughs> <laughs> Itsuke. Itsuke Kun. We've transformed. You like my sword, Kronk? It's very nice. I can talk. Talking Wait, sword! Wait, nothing else surprised me, just the talking part of the sword. Yeah, no, Orb of Light, that was stupid. Uh, people transforming in and out of everywhere, that was dumb. Horse ears, whatever. Talking sword. You got me. You got me on the talking sword. <laughs> I like how the ghost like. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to attack. We're just going <laughs> to. We're just going to taunt ceaselessly. Hey, it would be great if this was subtitled. <laughs> yeah. So big and play with this said, game. I will teach you how to fight, basically. Mm -hmm. Keep, look forward. The unfortunate thing about this game, I will say, is that battles are not subtitled. I'm scared. Calm down. I couldn't hear the last sentence. I was talking over it. Nice, nice. That's a JoJo's reference. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nobody ever says Yari Yari. I have, I have Dia, so I'm sorry, HP. Alright. Yep, she is your main healer. Ken no shito ga oshiete kurenu no ka, muzukashi. 
If I remember correctly, this is another one of those RPGs where if your main character here Itsuki dies, I think it's game over. I mean, it makes sense. It's the it's the Shimigami Tensei team that did this, so it doesn't even remotely <laughs> shock me. Yeah, I think uh, is it Persona four or three that does that? Because I know not every single Persona game does that. Uh, they all three and five do. Three, four, and okay. five all do that. Okay, so they all do it. Yeah. It's key can die. Okay, it's been a bit since I played this. Simpsons did it. Oh, look at some blob force and crawling darkness. Nice, nice. Every man levels up! Oh god, this is really like Fire Emblem. I only got points and speed. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, I think it's predetermined question mark Probably. on your levels. But Plus six to HP, plus three to EP. Good first level, though. <laughs> she did a lot better. <laughs> Skill, <laughs> speed, and resistance. Also, people are pointing at SMT5 in chat. Uh, okay, so it's not predetermined for levels. Gotcha. So, for the stats at least. So, for SMT5, they actually borrowed a lot from this game, asset wise. Such as, like, the menus and, like, the combat uh, stuff on the bottom. They used a lot, actually, from this game, which is real thick to see. I've ever beaten this game. I've never played this game. This is me playing it for the first time. The only reason I kind of know what's happening so far is I watched Steven's first 30 or first 20 on it, which was more like a first hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> playing fast and loose with the, with the word 20. My name is Krom. I can remember that much. What a stupid name. Let's shake hands, even though we merged earlier and we know way too much about each other now because of that. Yep. I know all about your death that freed parents. me from the darkness. Thank you for the orb. Even though I still look like I'm haunted. Orb. And or coming from, like, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> look at me. Aren't I trustworthy? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> His jaw falls off. <laughs> Meanwhile, both girls are like, what the fuck is going on over there? My name's Sita, and yours was Tsubasa, wasn't it? I can't see with this helmet on. <laughs> and you're, <laughs> she like tries to shake her hand, but she can't like aim it right. <laughs> where, where, oh, where is it? Where's your hand? Come on. Yeah, what? <laughs> We're playing around here. Oh, that's who that's supposed to be? What? Mm, yeah, this is uh, Sita, Marth's, yeah. uh, Mar Marth's wife. <laughs> I had no fucking clue. Then what didn't it? Why wasn't Krom <laughs> Marth? Story reasons, that's all I can say. Okay. Also, Awakening was the most recent game at this time, so they wanted to use Awakening stuff. I guess. It was very topical. But Krom is basically just Marth anyways, although not as much as Marth as Lucino tried to be, so it's just like... I don't know. It seems silly to me, but I get it. If it's for story reasons, fair enough. So hmm. that's what the FE means. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Fire game, Emblem. <laughs> this game was marketed as a combination of the Shin Megami Tensei series and the Fire Emblem series, and they took two aspects of it and kind of did their own thing while using elements of both series to create one new game. I can't remember. Get out! Rob's <laughs> right, we should get out! Dream. Dream. Also, yeah, Shemigami Tensei, SMT, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, TMS, just SMT backwards. 
Oh my god, that's actually what it is. I didn't even notice that. God mm -hmm. damn it. Uh, but now two of us are lying in the in the field. Yay, artist. Ah, wardrobe. yes. Look at this Allegra commercial. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got in the wardrobe? Should be too much right now, I think. Fashion. My favorite watch goes great with this sword and my lord form. Cannot change costumes yet, sadly. Ooh, this Iron goes great feather. With my watch. Special hairpin. Pegasus form. All right. Let's go to the, the cookie, the raffle. So, what'd you think? It was all right, but we barely got anywhere. We had one fight, and it was a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was definitely in the in a, in a big uh, Tokyo Mirage session by the time I think when I suggested it. Uh, uh, but yeah, okay. it's a good time. I hope people can, you know, have some interest in the game and maybe play it for themselves. Oh, anyway, yeah, I even bought the yeah. collector's edition on Wii U. Play it again. And I have the Switch version Later too. I have yet to play both. Alrighty then. Uh, next up. Let's get six new games in here. Start with Blonde Lombax. Blonde Lombax has picked Senran Kagura Burst Renewal for PS4. Pokeprof. Should I get in here for this? You know what I'm going to put in. Psychonauts 2, a wonderful sequel to a wonderful game. Though if you've not finished the first, I'd suggest that instead. I have finished the first game. So, Psychonauts 2. Uh, I own it for Steam, I do believe. Because there's no physical version for Xbox unless you backed it, so... Uh, Shadow War asks for Blue Revolver on Steam. An excellent shmup. The Knight of Void is asked for Them's Fighting Herds. That is the My Little Pony themed fighting game. Sweet. We, the, the We Are Not Getting Sued version. The We Are Not Getting Sued version, yep. Yeah. That's also for Steam. Uh, Polk Kitsune writes in with. Oh, God. Uh, is this the game I think it is? I'm, how, how the fuck do I say this? It's German. Uh, Rosen Crustalette. Rosen, Rosen Crustalette. I believe, is this the Mega Man Toho one? Or is this the, no, cause that's Mega Maria. Is this the Metroidvania one? Fuck, which one is this one? Is this the Mega Man one? It is Mega Man, okay. It is the Mega Man one, then. It's Mega Man. Okay, on Steam. German Girls Mega Man. Magical Girl Mega Man. That's what that is. Magical Girl Mega Man. Okay. That was from Polkatsune. And the last one for this round <laughs> is from Kid Ark Storm, who says, Kid Ark Storm will wait patiently for their revenge with Rogue Galaxy for another X amount of months. It took four months. Oh, my God. Rogue Galaxy for PS2. I kind of hope it wins to keep up the theme of RPGs. <laughs> <laughs> I like how there's been an RPG in basically every round. I mean, I like Rogue Galaxy. Rogue Galaxy was the Dark Cloud devs, right? I forget the name of the studio suddenly. Level 5, yeah. Thank you, that was level 5, yeah. Uh, it's a great last-minute PS2 RPG. And then they went on to make uh, White Knight Chronicles and just, like, tanked it all into the toilet. I mean, they make good games. I just, I didn't like White Knight Chronicles. And they also have Professor Layton. Wasn't that also they level five? They did. And Yokai Watch. That was also level five. They also did a lot of development for Dragon Quest. So if you play Rogue Galaxy and then you play Dragon Quest Eight, it you'll notice that both character running animations are the exact same. Well, currently in the lead is them's fighting herds. 59 votes, 30% of the vote. Rogue Galaxy right behind that though. 44 votes, 21% of the vote. Psychonauts 2 in 3rd place, 41 votes, 17%. Senra Kagura Burst Renewal in 5th, actually. 33 votes, 12%. Ro Rosen! Rosen! For 38 votes, 
13%, and Blue Revolver in last place, 5 votes, 1%. 303 votes clocked so far. Them's Fighting Herds leads 113 to 76 over Rogue Galaxy. So, uh, you want to play online if it wins? Uh, do you have the game? Dang. I have the game, I just need to install it real quick. I mean, I need to install it too, so. I've never played it, so. Same here. This will be fresh for both of us. I just looked at the next game on the list. Uh, all right. <laughs> White Knight Chronicles. Yeah, that'd be really funny, but it's not. Uh, the next <laughs> the next poll is going to have games from Clo Chloe, Flora Lily, Soma Aria Moon, Chaos Agents, Nitro CR, and Major Mooch. <laughs> and there's, there's at least one RPG on that list, if not two. Yeah, baby. Oh boy! And clearly the streak is is gonna end soon. So. Clearly the streak is broken right now. Yeah, because this is pretty safe for them's fighting herds. Oh. Still, still funny this even happened. Yep, them fighting herds is up next. Just watching the race at the bottom just reminds oh. me of the little Chrono Trigger race. Oh, the one with Johnny Jetbike. No, like the one in the the square when you have to bet on who's gonna win. Oh, that one. And it's usually like the one who starts late that actually wins. Yeah, there's like a weird system to it. Like the like the old man gets it right 75% of the time or something like that. Yeah. In Persona yeah. One, two, Persona Two Parts One and Two, if your main character dies, that's fine. The rest of your party will still remain and revive your corpse. It's from three onwards that if the main character dies, it's game over, man. Uh, three had a good reason for it. Four, not so much. Five, I don't understand at all why that's so important. Your character doesn't die. Side note, I have not finished five. No spoilers. Yeah, so I thought that was weird in five. That I was like, wait, are they just that stupid that they can't figure out how to revive me? <laughs> like, they literally have the revive magic. Like, it's not not me who has that. Why aren't they reviving me? But all right, John, whatever. I, I can't. Restart, I guess. It's like when the Emperor dies in Return of the Jedi and the entire Empire is just kind of like, I guess we stop. <laughs> and, but they didn't. Ah, <sighs> uh, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a story for another day. <laughs> All right, Inukun 7 for 63, Lady Juice for 14. I'm going to butcher this because this looks like Yes Sold Ifrit for 6. Skolapendra for 92. Bomber Think for 39. Reiku for 88. Ryuzaki Law 1 for 42. Green Power Star for 72. Uh, Zero Rutia. I'm sorry, Runatia 9, rather, for 4. Lord Cuddy for 88. Suju 92 for 38. Tim and Victini for 7. Monday will be special for me as well. You'll see why in a few days. Is your birthday coming to Victini? I Penguin 12 for 46 and Queen Kenda for 20. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. I lied. It's the randomizer. Dead or alive, you will give me an egg. All right, <laughs> we're going to go to break when we come back. I will click on the list and remember what won. Them's fighting herds on Steam. See you guys in a bit. I, in, mentally, I was like, I should go get Rogue Galaxy. That definitely won, right? <laughs> Hi, Wang. You're just in time Gotta for me to go to break. Oh,
I mean, if you come back from break and it's still Rogue Galaxy, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> Hi, Wang, thanks for the raid. We're playing them spitin' nerds after the break. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> you said it just to remind yourself. Shut up! <laughs> well, hello, chat. We meet again. Hi, how you doing, Peter Griffin? Simpson smiling politely. <laughs> oh god damn it. What was it? Oh yeah, because you guys were quoting Strong Bad earlier. I, I when I went up earlier on break, <laughs> fucking the dumbest line got stuck in my head again. I I forget if it's from Trogdor or if it's from like the Rave one. But it's like, here I go once again with the email. Every week I hope it is from a female. Yeah. Oh, man! <laughs> I can't remember which Not one. Not a was female. From. I still love uh, the English paper email. No, oh, actually, I was right. That is from Trogdor. From Johnny. Do you dart? Yeah. Well, no. It's it, for some reason for me. It's it's especially just the fact that there's a picture that he creates for this dude's like English project, and it's just two diagrams: one of a person with a one of a mouth with one battery inside. <laughs> And one of a person's <laughs> mouth with five batteries inside. <laughs> and just the look of the mouth with five batteries cramped in it is just so good. <laughs> no, I looked at our block early. <laughs> Hold on. Where is it? Yeah, it's, it's just English paper. Hold on. Where is it? Because I remember you could actually... I don't know if you still can. <laughs> I don't know if you still can, but you used to be able to actually download uh, a copy of the English paper. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And so one day during... One day in high school, my friend and I just... Uh, <laughs> we downloaded the English paper while we were supposed to be doing something else in the library. And just started laughing at just eating five batteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's such a good picture. Hold on. I found it. I need the full image. This will happen. No, that's not good enough. It's so weird. Just... Yeah, this will do. Upload a file. Desktop. I don't know why it's a GIF, but here we go. It's so good. <laughs> Just I don't stretch remember this. On the I mouth. don't remember this. <laughs> eating one battery. Eating five battery. I don't remember this. <laughs> and that's why it's my favorite strong bed email. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and save that image. You never know when you're gonna need that. <sighs> you know, next time you're writing an English paper. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Queen, she says, but Bruno Mars is my celebrity crush, though. Sag. All right, because we said Bruno Mars isn't real. <laughs> Phase on Farmer says, ah, yes, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. The crossover between Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei that has nothing to do with either of those things, at least according to my roommate, who's a fan of both. Sonic Bot says, Borger. And says, have you ever <laughs> crab? Cool Owl says, for timing on the Speed Racer one. And Sonic Bot, what is this you got here, Sonic Bot? Oh, it's one more thing from Jackie Chan. Thank you for that, Sonic Bot. Rio9 says, For that game name, I think you can just call it RKS, and normally people will get what you're talking about. Funny enough, the Dojin group that made the game and its sequel is written as 
E R K A colon E S, which is how the acronym is pronounced in game. Oh, for Rosencruz, right? Yeah. That's fair. All right, let's go to our block. God damn it! I forgot that his one of his suggestions was you needed to triple space the paper. <laughs> Double spacing wasn't good enough. I think that would definitely get you in trouble if they noticed. And put a little cash to our sell the deal. <laughs> <laughs> And definitely how you get in trouble there. Just like Pon Pon got in trouble in Victoria's <laughs> Secret. <laughs> so, Pon Pon didn't last five minutes. Jen is very disappointed in her. Meanwhile, Rosaron is more perplexed by the bra she found and how anyone could get into it. I'm trying to... I can't even tell what that is. It's so tiny. Or does it just look tiny because it's Rosa? I can't tell anymore. But either way, Pon Pon getting arrested or at least kicked out of the store yet again. Thank you, Chaos, for part two of the two-part sequence of... Pon Pon goes to Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Next up. For Shining Silver, I made a friend to take with me to Momocon. Oh, I would love to have seen that in person. A little bummed out I'm not gonna be there. That's super cute. cute. Have a good have a good trip with Bagaluma. Take care of him. Next up. From Grease Lightning, this is easily the best chat log from the game. As a university student, I synchronize with this on a molecular and spiritual level. We only have tests and two subjects tomorrow, so I just finished reviewing. Now I'm going to sleep early. There's three subjects tomorrow. English, literature, and math. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, that feels like university to me. That checks. Uh, Tsubasa? <laughs> this is nowhere near what I'm used to when people say bigger, but I guess it's a nice change of pace. From Angel Night Rose, this is a very dumb joke that would not leave my head after John commented about liking how I drew Rosa with big floofy hair. Not sure if this bigger would be better than her normal bigger or not. So much floof. Hello. Oh, I was there. There was literally a post that just said, "Ah, ah." You scared the cat. Oh, I'm sorry, Bagel. Oh no. Where is he? Oh no. Yeah, it's literally just, it's literally just text on screen that just says, "Ah, ah." That's all I was reading. Sorry. Thanks for checking on me, though. Yeah, it does sound so serious, but I don't know. Poor Hi, you here to check up on me because I'm screaming? <laughs> you scared the cat. I scared the cat when he was upstairs in a different room eating. <laughs> Sir Goy. Sir Goy. Oh my goodness. What? What? Hey, Bagel. Talk to the camera. Okay. Talk to all your fans and chat. Bring it up later. Hi, Reese. And the one I couldn't get rid of. Yeah. Why is Kronk saying Sugoi? Okay. Don't listen. Don't listen. Okay, I'm concerned, but alright. Confusing conversations with my wife. <laughs> Part one. An audiobook. Speaking of confusing, padding. Hey, do you have a Mercury Gen? It's just I haven't seen one yet. I sure do. Fizz, come on out and say hello. Beep. Bye, hello there. Fizz likes warm places. As soon as I met her, she hid in my shirt. Must be a lot of room in there. Oh. Oh. Since Golden Sun was played, I was reminded of this comic that's on brand with your content. Womp, 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 womp. That is a, you're going to need some aloe vera for that burn. Thanks, Jake. Meanwhile, this is what I was laughing at earlier. <laughs> During, <laughs> I was looking at our block. <laughs> From Jack's That's pool. So good. Of course, the moment I post this uh, is when I, I hear one of the co-coms say they wanted the other Subasa outfit. Lol. Either way, enjoy. Sugoi. 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 Followed that up immediately so in there. by someone else doing the exact same thing. From Veil Leaf. <laughs> I was given the ability to give abs, but not boobs. 
<laughs> I'll try to upload <laughs> a magical version of it later on Twitter. <laughs> Thanks, Bailey. And the last one I got here from Begrudgingly Waluigi. I heard a call for a Booja Blast. Order up. Woo. And with that, we're caught up on Art Block again. Give me a second. I'm going to cut to intermission quickly, and I'll be right back. We're going to be playing some Dems Fighting Herds here in a sec. I'm going to take my herd hoof and shove it up your ass. Sit go I. Sugoi. Hey, Chad. Yeah, What's your favorite strong bad email? Ball! Chad, if I made a lobby for five people, you think we could fill that? So it's not just me and John the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost sad that doesn't say eating one batteries. God, I, I seriously just, I remember just watch, looking at this and laughing for like five, ten minutes. It's such a good diagram. You have fun. Bagel. Why does Bagel keep running away from me? Bagel's hiding in the storage room. <laughs> bagel in the storage room. What? With, uh, with the pipe. <laughs> it's your workout routine now. System is down. The system is down. All right, them's fighting herds. I have never played this before, but I am. Wait, have I not played this? I yeah, no, I don't play this. So. Have you tried getting ye flask? I've got a lobby set up, and the server's in Canada, so don't worry. All right, let's boot the game up here. <laughs> Volume warning. I don't know if it's going to be really loud when it boots up. Starting in it windowed mode, which is 50 a good sign. Which is nice. Oh, never mind. It is not windowed mode anymore. <laughs> slap. Nice slap base. Ooh, there we go. That's a slap of the bass. Main six acquired by Modus. Wow, okay. Let me get the video changed so I can get this on screen for you guys. Got to be funky. Why? Oh, there we go. Apply changes. You didn't apply changes, game? <laughs> Can't help but notice this is <laughs> definitely not the change I requested. <laughs> Let's try right. that again. All I nope, see is I've set That's it to window relatable, mode and it keeps going fair. full screen. <laughs> Westerford. John, I didn't know you were playing Eternal Darkness. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Yep, that's definitely the changes I requested, game. Thank you. Thank you. Now it works. So I sent you a link in oh, Discord. Gotta have the sun I don't know rays. what happens when you click it. You sent me a link in Discord? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> eating five batteries was still on my screen. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> the, this game has a lobby system <laughs> that has links to it. It yeah, works. I clicked it and it auto-loaded it in the game. Okay, so if you wow, want to play you... chat, I could put that in the 
in the I chat. mean, we should play a couple rounds first so we learn how to play. No, let's head click first. Click the link in Discord and it Hey, it's got spectating. Account. That's nice. I think this game was in Evo a few years ago. I believe it was in, like, on the side the side games. Oh, do we have rollback? Oh. Yes, it does have rollback. I do remember that being a thing. Take your pick. Take your pick. I am the llama. That Paprika. llama's pretty cute. Bad llama. He's a locked character. Seasoning, Emperor, Pirate, Plus. I, got, I gotta play as Beaver. Crossing. <laughs> you have you chosen the state of Arizona. <laughs> Why isn't it showing who you picked? You, you can see now. Yep. All right, weirdo. Don't side warn you. Ready? Fight. All right, freak. <laughs> my back dash is great. My dash is great. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> yep. Is only four button? It All looks right. like. Yeah, it looks like only four button. Light, medium, heavy, and I guess special or grab. Projectile. Yours is projectile. Mine's a grab. So good. I'm a llama. I teleported. I I'm noticed. Scorpion. <laughs> so I know that the okay, these characters just... are meant to be based on the My Little Pony Friendship is Magnet character. So I'm assuming like. He's playing as Pinkie Pie. I'm playing as ah uh, shit. What's the, what's the Apple one? Applejack. Apple Jack. Apple Jack. Thank you. Literally Apple Jack. So good. It's definitely not Pinkie Pie because Pinkie Pie is a pony and that is an alpaca. Okay. Yeah, so this was a fan game that was supposed to be the actual My Little Pony Friendship is Magic characters, and then they realized, oh shit, we are going to be legally sued if we do this, so they end up having to make their own characters. But apparently there is a demo out there of the version with mm -hmm. uh, with the actual My Little Pony characters, and apparently it's pretty complete and plays pretty well. Don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I can't remember if they, if they actually received a C&D... Or if they were like, this is too big to not, like, to mess this up. And so we'll just change it to OCs, but it was essentially something like that. Apparently Lauren Faust, the main person behind Friendship is Magic, helped with the characters. Right! I knew there was something like that. Yeah, did she... I can't remember if she joined after the CMD, though. I believe after Craig McCracken suggested the title. That's cool. Oh, damn it. That is called a whip? Oh, damn. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Kicking, stomping, and kicking. That was close. <laughs> Where to from here? Kicking, stomping, like and kicking. Her death animation is just still staring at the floor. <laughs> They did get a season assist from Hasbro. Lauren Faust made these characters for them, and the Skullgirls team gave them their engine to use. Wow. Oh. What else do we have here? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, we got to use that one. It is my solemn duty to save did you need it after all? Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's the bag and the bottom shelf. I will defeat you so soundly, your ancestors will become dizzy. Real I'm fucking one. Spyro, dude. <laughs> Bye. Look at me, I'm Spyro. I like how we picked the same character. That was not planned. I just wanted to be Spyro the Dragon. Again. Well done. Again. 
Like it animates really well. It plays surprisingly well, but like it's been so long. I don't like I don't know anything about the mechanics. I don't know any of the moves. I'm just doing the usual inputs and like just seeing the what works. Street Fighter, yeah. Oh, is it a, a show you game? Oh wow, you actually. Oh, I thought I had you on that. Like a close one. To the flame. That was close. Round two. Round two. Stampede. Impressive. That was close. Nice. Again. Oh, the. Okay, the orange meter is our, like, flight. Got it. Stop that. I do remember, I think the last time I'd seen this game was at MacFest 2020 of all places, and they were right next to, I think, my friend's game at the time. So it was just kind of interesting to see it now. How, wait, what? How? You were in combo! I bullshit! Game side. <laughs> this game rules. Player one wins. Or Doyle rules. Take your pick. I'll take I had you in hit stun. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> so if you hit rematch, you don't get to choose your character. I don't think. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a Johnny oh, Bravo color ski? How? It's literally called Whoa Mama. Oh, good. Nah. Will defeat you so soundly, your ancestors will be. I'm fucking Spyro. Ready? Fight. Well, you get your bearings. <laughs> Crunchy dog. Nope. Big what dog. Big dog. Got a bigger dog. I don't want to go near him. Oh. Scary. Sick on. Well, that didn't work. No. Man, I'm pretty. <laughs> okay. All right. Pops found his character very clearly. <laughs> I think so. I still want to try the others. We're about to find out he's been maining this character the whole time. I have uh, 20 hours in this game. I'm beginning to wonder. Puppy. I don't know. I wish I knew how to attack with him. By looking at a move set. Is there a move set? There's Probably no not in online mode. Oh, there is. Yeah. Oh wow, it's actually pretty nice too. Hold, hold, start. Oh. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. There are separate dog controls for me. <laughs> you have a lot. Yeah. They put that on the back of the box. All right, ready? Separate dog yep. controls. Thanks for showing off, dog. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, buddy. I'm behind you. I'm in front of you. You have much to learn. Tianwu wins. Where to from here? Changing characters. <laughs> Take your pick. I don't like puppet characters normally. Which one are you picking? I will pick the <laughs> deer because it's cute as shit. All right, I'll pick the edge lord. Do not right. underestimate the good well, except I got apparently the most you go -go. My Little Pony ass color scheme for him. It's a lot of colors. There's a lot of colors. <laughs> I just realized something. Pop looked at his move sit move list before you did. Does that mean you can pause separately? It looks like it. Yeah, we can. But never seen perfection before. I'm so pretty. Vanity Man, I'm pretty. Yes, it does. Round oh, baby Yoda. <laughs> baby Yoda's with me. Man, I'm pretty. Hello, 911. There's a handsome man in my house. Oh, it's just me. <laughs> I'm 
fucking Glacius? Hello? Kinda are, actually. <laughs> Hello? I am actually Glacius. I just got slapped by something? I, that might have been a counter, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I countered? I'm doing something? My book! Oh, okay, now I get it. What the hell? Don't mind me, just absorbing the dark arts. As one does. Oh, didn't absorb him enough, though. We decimate her. Oh, my God! What? Stop whooshing. Oh, I can teleport too. Jesus. <laughs> what? Oh, bad time to read a book. My book. And that really is just EG Daily, isn't it? You have so much health left. Jesus Christ. Alright, who have I not played as? Play the, play the alpaca. Yeah, that's the only one I haven't played as. Because I don't have the seventh character. Yeah. Paprika. And Lana. Uh, I think the only one I haven't played as is Darkhold character. <laughs> That's topical. Wow, you weren't kidding about the amount of colors Paprika. here. Holy shit. Yeah, there's a lot. Poor stupid creature. You have no idea oh, Jesus. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Oh, I'm a... Got it. Got it. Okay. Alright, eight combo. <laughs> well, as long as you, you have know. nothing to say after that last fight, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do I play this game? I'm just like, I'm what's so out of game? practice. Wait, uh, what's this character's name? Uh, she looks okay. I don't like main her or anything. It's whatever. No. What is that? Is that a cinnamon roll? I don't. <laughs> I want that. Get that out of here. Oh come on, Re Oh, I'm going to kill you. Okay. I'm like how? I had. I was like. I thought I legit died. I'm like. I had so much health left. Again with the combos. That's right, hit each other in the air. It's okay, it's okay. Get them cinnamon rolls. Okay, just seeing the A marker on the apple just reminds me of like Cody in Street Fighter 4 when he has the knife. <laughs> and my favorite thing is that he just laughs every time he picks it up. He's just like, hey! Oh boy, I found a knife. Oh god. Oh damn it. Oh. Of course she pulls a roadrunner. She's <laughs> a flash? What? Uh, excuse me? Actually, it's more, this is actually just a scorpion special from Mortal Kombat like 9 or 10. <laughs> Shadow Spark! I'm cute and stuff. 
<laughs> I wish my hair grew back when it became a projectile to other people. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, the, the hit confirming feels a little odd. Same with the blocking. I feel like I'm blocking shit that should not be hitting me. Just no match for me. But it definitely plays really fluid. Yeah, but I think the problem is, because I, I know it's in the Skullgirls engine, I'm like, where's my air dashing and shit? Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently oh, you I have the power of flight. The, the cheap? This one you have, you haven't played as the cow yet. You haven't played as Arizona. Oh, dude. And I don't think you played as Palm either. <laughs> oh, no. And no, I haven't played just as wait for this color scheme. Velvet has a beefy deer sculpture move if you want to see. I'm Did sorry, what? You Marvin the Were Martian? You yeah. <sighs> How sick is that? <laughs> what the hell are these color schemes? I want to see, see this. What is, what is it? Oh, the earth will be doomed in seven hours. I don't know what one is the actual one I'm looking for. Where is the statue? Okay, That's cute. Where is the earth if shattering? If I press down enough times, I pet the, I pet the dog. Oh, that's super cute. Oh yeah, that's just Tom General is just taunt. doing that. Sweet. All right. Yeah. Oh, I think the timer pauses. When the first, or unpauses when the first punch is thrown. <sighs> oh, that's interesting. If that's the case, but I thought it was a 99 timer. Much was like it 99, in life, I thought it was 60. time never stops. I might be wrong. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this character. Yeah, no, Velvet's really weird to use if you're not used to puppet characters like Zato from Guilty Gear. Zato or Eddie. Fight. Yeah, it's a 99 time. Okay, we just, yeah, yeah just, sorry. It was just right at 60. Juggling! Okay, I haven't done that. Oh, that's, that's the move you were doing. Okay. Buff! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't like that character at all. I'll stick with Velvet. Take your pick. Take your pick. And finally, a game where you can pet the dog. Uh oh, I didn't turn on my timer for this game. Oops. <laughs> Show me your power. Are you prepared for magnificence? Round one. Fight. Oh, so much reach. I know. She really does. Okay. Now you know why I was like really confused and concerned during the velvet fight. Wow, I couldn't get through that ice wall at all. Yeah, no. Velma's attacks just reached so far. Oh, wow. Ludafisk? Sounds like it. Wow. Yeah, no, Velvet, her specials are stupidly good. Busted. <laughs> Nerf this, please. Come, show me your power. 
Are you prepared for magnificence? Ready? Fight! Are you prepared for lots of ice? Look at the range on- that's my light, by the way. <laughs> I just can't get in. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's Defending. hitting out him against the wall. Uh -oh. Yeah, I can't get out of that. You get in, you close the damage pretty easily. Get them cross-ups. Get them cross-ups. I see. No, that's gonna kill. No, maybe not. Ooh, ooh. I see. Need more Ludafisk. You're right. That's that's what I'm missing. Damn it. <laughs> this game's tight though. Well fought, but not well <laughs> this game rules. <laughs> game rules. <laughs> Round two. Round two. Round two. What would you like to do now? Uh, Daddy? I thought I was your number one gator hater. Did you just do a fucking Squidbillies thing? Yeah, I squid did. Squidbillies, I love the squid, Squidbillies. He's wild. You're mild. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus, apparently. Apparently Pop sees through my strategy now. <laughs> oh no, he saw through the Ludafisk. <laughs> Come, show me your power. Are you prepared for magnificence? Ready? Fight. Damn it, no, I'm trying to do anything other than my projectile. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's closing the gap. Wait, how did that? Okay, what? What? Oh, with that grab, look at that. Oh, he got with the grab. So I guess that's why her ability is the push away. You're not a warrior, just to kind of get control of zoning. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, close them gaps. We'll do the home homestar. Homestar commentary. The original Ulu. Alright, I mean, you know, it's good to see. It's good to see. How many moves do you have? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, same as everybody else. I just had to figure out why the fuck I couldn't get in. Come, show me your power. Are you prepared for magnificence? Ready? Fight. Hey, Chad. Are you prepared for magnificence? Oh my god, I can't tell what's a fucking high or low when we're this short! <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Alright, there you go. Get the man ears. Hey, why did that cancel my projectile inside? I sent at you? What the fuck? Because it's fire. Because he's fire, boy. Yeah, you hitting me stops my fireball. Or my ice my ice projectiles. <laughs> well, really, it's ice ball. Buff. Oh, wow. I had a feeling I was going to go OTG. That, that chart of yours also has a surprise. No, I'm not doing dragon punches. Jesus Christ game. 
Stop it! I'm not putting in dragon punches. <laughs> Never mind. You got me. Anytime you see a, a, like an ice pile far away, that is the game thinking I'm putting in a dragon punch. Did I do good? Did I do good? Ice. You want dragon punch, right? Round one. Is what? What is high jump in this one? Is there a high jump? Um. Cause I've tried down up, and I. No, I don't think so. Velvet can't high jump, but she can slide? Wait, how can she slide? Well, I would look at inputs, but like, we have to, <laughs> it only stops one of us, so. No, that's not right. Is it just the? I don't see slide. Uh, well, oh, there it is. Always eat. While dashing, ew. <laughs> Actually, maybe. Never mind, that's not that bad. Alright, ready. Okay, all right, I disagree. That one should have gotten him at the end there. <laughs> I wish I could use that excuse as a tournament. I disagree. Chip. I actually think I won. Velvet wins. <laughs> Rematch? Come, show me your power. Are you prepared Ow. for magnificence? Round one. Fight. No. <laughs> I don't get why that makes my projectiles disappear! I see. They don't have anything to do with me anymore at that point. It fucking makes no sense. <laughs> Stop her. Stop canceling my projectiles. They didn't do anything to you. What is happening? I hold you accountable for any damage done to my flute. Oh, there you go. Stop damaging my flute, Bob. Stop damaging oh, my flute. Oh, I wrong character. Oops. Are you winning, son? <laughs> I know they're saying ash, but it almost sounds like they're going ash ah, shit. Ash ah, shit. Ash. Ah, Hell the. Yeah, get them any ears. There you go. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, that was it. That was a uh, surprisingly not as super as I thought. Yeah, surprisingly weak supers. <laughs> well, that was just a combo hit. Wow. Damn. <laughs> well, my super didn't work. Just go for the Annie. I Pop and I are both on like salt immediate run backs. <laughs> That's just exactly yes. where we're at right now. Just like no talk, just press rematch. Shh, everyone. Just be quiet. <laughs> just, 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 just shut up. Shut up. Oh, 
No more fortune cookie, guys. <laughs> Just rematch. Can't hear any other word. Nice. Nice with that response. Fuck! Not what I was trying to do. But he would have gotten in with the fire anyways. A match well fought, but not well enough. Is it weird that their eyes stay open when they're on the ground? A little bit, a little bit. What? Waluigi, I'm definitely kind of saying Annie Air. But that's also how I say Auntie Anne's. I'll say Annie Anne's. I'm blocking, hello. Yeah, now I know how I felt during the last couple rounds. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, I was blocking? Oh. Nice confirm. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this game is for losers, actually? What? That was Ooh, my yeah. level two. Oh, Wait. okay. Oh. Unfortunately, because you weren't in the first part, I couldn't confirm and do the rest. So I kind of burned two supers for no reason on that. Well, like, oh. we've been earning, like, no meter these fights, so I've been just trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Or no meter compared to most other fighting games, I guess. I didn't get it. Fuck. <laughs> no. Damn. Nice. I don't know if this Very is in, in effect placement. right now, but I think this game has a dynamic music system where the instrumentation of the song matches the character who's ahead. If that's true, that's kind of awesome. That's pretty sweet. Come, show me your power. Are Actually, you this game rules. Round one. It's a shame there's only like six characters. <laughs> Seven. Eating one character. Eating six characters. <laughs> that was one of the main selling points. Six characters. There are seven, I do believe. Although I think the seventh one was like Kickstarter exclusive or something like that. I forget what the whole deal with that was. Well, when you consider the game also has Marvin the Martian and Johnny Bravo. <laughs> like, they're their own They're both the same right? character, though. <laughs> Not in my imagination. <laughs> From Blue's Clues? Oops. Damn, dude. I can't fucking get in there. Yeah. Velvet wins. Rematch? Velvet wins. DLC Come, Goat Gal is a pirate power. and can run on Are walls. No, I am not kidding. You read that correctly. Nice. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You read it correctly. I'd buy that for a dollar. Although I assume it's more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Well, too bad. It's five. It probably is. How much actually is the DLC character? Uh, I see chat saying five bucks. 
Good news, everyone! Five dollars. Like a moth to the flame. Round two. That actually is not goat to nasty. Like grand to nasty? I guess. <laughs> no, roll out of there! God damn it. <laughs> buying with one dollar, buying with five dollars. All right, we have to stop at some point. Come, <laughs> yeah, I'm you probably going to You bed. keep playing rematch. I'm just <laughs> uh, yes, you. I'm. You quit it's first. just me playing rematch. Only me. <laughs> I picked the first option one that to says... actually stop hitting rematch. This is a true loser. I was gonna catch you before you hit me. <sighs> A match well fought, but not well enough. Round two. Round two. Yeehaw, Round brother. Two. Look at how much damage that one move did. It does. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I broke you without breaking a sweat. Got him. Final round. Fight. Okay. Oh, that Palm didn't think that was going to reach. Blues Clues, John Bravo, Mega Man. Get that roll, please. Thank you. Oh, shit. How did... Okay. Dumb. Where to from here? Tina Ho has actually has a low health pool. Oh, really? That would explain a lot. <laughs> sucks. Come, show me oh, your really? power. Are you prepared for magnificence? Round one. Fight. Fight. My floof. How could you? My flute. <laughs> fucking move, man. It's like one of the only moves I've got. It's so fast, too. The startup is yeah, super Come on. short, yeah. Round two. It's over now. <gasps> it is on Mac. This is on Mac? I mean, you're not a, you're a rushdown character. You're supposed to just go and like fucking balls the wall against me. Yeah, that's getting me fucked up. 
<laughs> Alright, that was first attack. Uh, yeah, let's go stop at 10 then. <laughs> oh, the Mac version was one of the stretch goals? That's awesome. Ah, that makes sense then. That's cool. Main 6 acquired by Modus, now part of Modus Games. We'll be continuing our work on them's fighting herds. There'll be more to share later. Please read the full post for details. When was this? I don't see a date. Oh, that was this year, January 20th. Interesting. What does this mean for the players, you guys? New characters. We're expanding the roster. Now we have more than one combat dev. We can develop new characters in store mode chapters simultaneously. Barring any unfortunate circumstances, we're confident that we can finish all main chapters starring each member of the base roster plus a final chapter before the end of 2022. Still released as free updates. Console ports are something we're very, still very interested in doing with the help of our new partners at Modus, so it's more likely to happen than ever. And localization notes. What are we working on now? Crowdfunded rewards. So the physical reward earners are getting their stuff soon, and there's a Lunar New Year update. Don't talk to me, Angie. Level three supers have been a long-awaited <laughs> feature, and our new towel will be helping us across the finish line. Level threes and a new Don't set of balance adjustments Angie. will be arriving in game 3.0. There you go. Interesting. Oh, well, it's nice to actually play that. I can't wait to see. Hopefully, it gets uh, farther along. Is it still early access, or is it considered released? I guess if it's past 1.0, it must be considered released. I hope Velvet gets nerfed. <laughs> she probably will. Tom's level broken. three is a raging demon. Fantastic, fantastic. I thought some lobbies were going to open. Sorry, we both got we both got into like the loop of like salty run back, salty run back, salty yep, run back. Yep. I didn't have, also didn't have my back. timer on, run but back. I'm pretty sure 18 matches or 17, probably pretty close to 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, no. let's let's get the yeah. next cookie going. No talk me, Yankee. <laughs> no talk me, Sleepy. I do like the combo system. That's pretty fucking fun. It just made me, I just really want to play Skullgirls now. <laughs> Then let me say what I was waiting to show in lobbies. Shanty, the DLC character, has a goat mom skin. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. All right. Next round of cookie choices. What do we got? Oh, right. This is why I was laughing earlier. Chloe Chloe picked Rogue Galaxy for PS2. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It almost ended up in the same poll twice. Flora Lily picks, says, save Pirate? How about save Diglett in the far future with some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX? Switch. So Maria Moon has asked for, who says, let's have some art bait options. Lollipop Chainsaw for Xbox 360. That is a pretty dang good game, though. What a weird-ass game, yeah. <laughs> I still have that foam chainsaw here from that. Good old Suda. Didn't you show it off on a TDP, I think? Pretty sure, yeah. Speaking of Suda, the next game in the list from Chaos Agents is No More Heroes 1. I'll say the Switch version, because I actually haven't tried that out yet. Um, Nitro CR asks for Ape Escape, pumped and primed for the PS2. Ooh. I think this is the Ape Escape minigame collection? Question mark? Or is that the yeah, other one on the PSP? Yeah, I think it is. No, uh, the... Oh, shoot, there was like... There was Ape Academy, and then there was the remake of one on the PSP. Yeah, which I did not know was a remake. But I also think pumped and primed is a minigame. And Major Mooch asks for... I think it's time I start putting some some stuff into these lists. Let's start with an RPG favorite, Chrono Trigger, for whatever system you wish to play it on. I'll pop this nest one in. 
So we got Rogue Galaxy for PS2. Oh, you don't play oh. iOS? No, I don't have it for iOS, sorry. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX for Switch. Lollipop Chainsaw for Xbox 360. No More Heroes for Switch. Ape Escape Pumped and Prime for the PlayStation 2. And Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Let's see what we're playing next. Hey, just to let you know, I probably should hop off. That's fair. Thanks while for we're doing, as long the, as you have. doing polls. Appreciate yeah. you hanging out. Yeah, I, I like being on here and talking with y'all, talking with Chad, and talking with John, and talking with Popsky, and talking That's with Homestar, and talking with uh, Bob's Burgers, and talking with Peter Griffin, <laughs> and Strong Bad, and all the other weird stuff I do. Isn't it great that I didn't talk about the weird stuff I normally talk about? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Such self control. I'm what would that me. be? I'm really growing. Sugoi. 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 It's all took with Sugoi. All it took was to go. All right, I will I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, dude. Thanks for being Goodbye. on. Goodbye. Yeah. All right. Currently in the lead, we've got Pokemon Mr. Dungeon Rescue Team DX on Switch. 79 votes, 27% of the vote. But right behind that, actually now ahead of it, now tied, is Lollipop Chainsaw for Xbox 360. 83 votes, 27%. Chrono Trigger's in third place. That's actually somewhat surprising. 54 votes, 17%. Rogue Galaxy, 47 votes, 15%. No More Heroes, also surprising to see that low. 21 votes, 6%, and Ape Escape Pumped and Primed, 16 votes, 5%. 321 votes clock so far. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is fighting it out with Lollipop Chainsaw, 97 to 92. Let's put a minute on and see what happens. Stop! I'm a little sad, I'm a little sad No More Heroes is in fifth place, but at least there's another Suda 51 game up there, so. Let's see what happens. Right now it's 113 to 100 in favor of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. The gap is widened a bit between Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Lollipop Chainsaw. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw's trying. 118 to 109. There's an attempt, but will it be enough? It's in the 2% range. Yeah, it's under 2% right now. So 1% rules in play. But no matter what, it is in favor. Wow, actually that got really close. Wow, that got really close, yeah. but they could not finish it. Two votes off at the buzzer. Pokemon Mr. Dungeon wins, but Lollipop Chainsaw gets a 1% rule. That was a nice push at the end, but just wasn't quite enough. Oh, All right, Live Pop Chainsaw gets another chance, but there are six more games it has to go up against. Uh, we will actually be doing one more poll. And that will feature games from Dragon Lord 354, Kurisu Pachi, Radiant Shadow 92, Xeno Persona 819, WRX Killer GM, and Ice Finch. Is next poll last poll? Next poll likely last poll? It depends on what time it is. We'll see. We'll see what time it is by the time we're done. Have we broken into February yet? Uh, it still says four months ago, so I'm going to assume no. Because I know this list was very front-loaded for, for January. Uh, but February is on the... Uh, <laughs> yep. February is definitely on this list on the first page. Uh, all right. Let's drop some eggs. Psyched Crow for 68. Dragon Force Czar for 60. Headset Guy 37 for 60. Poke Prof for the big old hundo. Fair enough, Poker Prof. I got your message. I understand, but thank you so much, regardless. GJ the Autist for 10. Uh, DJ Skip Track for 19. 
Lunatic Fringe 175 for 16, and Ryuga Knight for 40. Thanks for seven folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. No one again. Never mind. Shuffler. You will give me an nice shot. Nice shot. All right. We're going to go to break. When we come back, I'll get someone else to hop in to join me and Pop, and we'll be playing some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. See you guys later. Oh, yeah. Sass Kickers. The Sass Kickers are back. Once I figure out what case that game is in. Yo, Chad, thanks for buying my new album. Got a couple of them sold tonight. That's pretty tight. John still needs to pick it up, though. <laughs> I keep forgetting, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chad, you got questions? Who's best pony? I don't watch My Little Pony. If I had the money, I'd commission you in a heartbeat. I thought about doing a deal for people that want initialized remixes. Since I do get those often. I don't know, DM me, we could talk about it. If you're interested. I'm sure John would like those. Like me, in a sense. Well, you already commissioned me, so. Stevens, go to bed. Yeah. Yeah, Bleach. It was sort of an initialize. What would you... What Pokemon would you be in a Mystery Dungeon scenario? Is Machamp in the game? But yeah, if you want your own initialized remix that could be played on stream, just uh, DM me on Twitter or Discord and we'll sort something out. Machop is a starter? Yeah, that would be me then. Got any other questions for me? Uh, 
I get it. Everybody's buying the album. I understand. Don't want to ask me nothing. Why'd you do it? Do what? By the way, guys, it's gonna be my last CoCom for a bit. PoE League comes out in two days. Path of Exile. You should know this by now, Westford. You played Fire Emblem Three Houses. I've never played a Fire Emblem game. May I request how can I make music? You're asking a guy that failed music theory. Just do it. So, Popsky, how do you feel about T them fighting herds? Uh, it was alright, yeah. I think Velvet's broken as shit. Favorite version of Princess Zelda? The Philips CDI version. You like the Osring? Because I'm going to go see them tomorrow night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Favorite episode of Spongebob? Probably, uh, Krusty Krab Pizza. with Tom last night? Oh yeah, that was fun. That Falcon Punch was ridiculous. Made a fighting game series? Killer Instinct. country like the, the country rap shit going on right now programs you use to make music i use fl studio am i crazy or this intermediate intermission music faster than normal you probably have to refresh twitch has this thing where like if you're behind it tries to fast forward Is it 1.03? I thought it was I thought it was in the 1.25 range, but What's it? Yeah, it's it's ever so slight. So when you're behind on the Twitch player, it automatically tries to fast forward you. Oh. A tiny bit. Yeah. Is that what the weird hiccuping is usually? Yeah, when when people like think that music's going faster than normal. Did you do 
that calculator for the uh, Steam Deck? No, I just saw the, the range for like July to September and I just assumed it wasn't worth looking into otherwise. Ah, uh, okay. Which uh, model did you get? The 512, the big one. Okay, okay. Yeah, that one's the slowest one going out. I'm not surprised. I picked the high end anyways, because I'm just like, yeah, if I want this, I'm going to need all the space. I have a big game library, so I need to take advantage. I'm oh. going to probably just put a bunch of ROMs on it and do that. And it's fair. Punch people from running Dolphin on it. What I want to do is hook it up to a TV and play DS on it, because the touchscreen. Ah. Which will be pretty sick, I hope. Yeah, so, uh, rooting around in my boxes and going in the storage room like I have the past couple days, you'll never guess what I stumbled across. A Steam Link. Oh, shit. They don't I, make those anymore. I didn't know I had one. I think what happened was oh, okay. uh, Sean came up from the States, and he said he was at a store. They, they were selling for, like, five or ten bucks, or, like, he like Steam was selling for five or ten bucks. He bought one for all of us. I didn't remember this. I knew I had something in box from Steam. I thought it was a controller. So I just assumed that was the case. And then going through my packages, I'm like, wait a minute. Oh shit, this is a Steam Link. Maybe I can actually get this to work for upstairs so I can actually play Steam games away from the computer. Because that's the main reason I don't play Steam games is because when I'm down here, every system is here. So I'm like, well, I'll, I'll just play, I don't know, I'm in the mood for Steam, I'm in the mood for SNES, whatever. But like, if I had the option of going upstairs and playing Steam, I would do that. Nice. So, uh... Now that I know I have one, I'm going to tinker around with it and see if I can rig up Steam games for upstairs. My only yeah, concern uh, is... smart TVs. I, now, go ahead. And so my only concern is I've heard some, they can have some lag, but I, yeah. I used one at Emil's house and it worked fantastically, so we'll see. Yeah, uh, I guess the reason why they don't make them much anymore is because, like, it's just an app in smart TVs now. Not all smart TVs, but like Samsungs and Apple TVs and stuff like that. Mm. Do not recommend it without an Ethernet port. I did hear that, but uh, we'll see. And I don't have a Steam Lake myself, so I have nothing to contribute to this conversation. <laughs> I know that I also have. Uh, yo. Uh, I know that I have. Um... We have a bunch of Wi-Fi boosters here, so I'm wondering if that will work. I don't know. Like I said, I want to play around with it and see how it is. Uh, if that doesn't work, you could try using a power line adapter. That is true. Now there are options: power line adapter, yeah. even though those have do have some issues, or secretly just having a super long H uh, Ethernet cable I can just run upstairs and hope that Reese doesn't mind. I've I've got a tripping hazard in the middle of the living room. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. She would love I use a power that. line adapter, and I haven't had any issues with it. No. Yeah, I, I think you get the same effect out of, like, uh, the, what is it, like, Google Chrome stick or some shit? We have the Chromecast? Yeah, the Chromecast. You can, you can get the app on there and, like, Fire TV and stuff. Oh, shit, we have a Chromecast. Yeah. Like, every TV in this house has a Chromecast on it. Except for the TV I use to play games here, so. I'm surprised you haven't, like, switched to a monitor for that. Because I have no latency on this. Or, like, That's fair. Like, extremely low latency on this TV. And to be fair, it is the size of my monitors anyway, so it might as yeah, well be a monitor. All right. Is it like a flat screen or like a yeah, it's flat CRT? Screen. What is it? Okay. I have a CRT here as well, but it's not set up because usually the only time we need the CRT is if we're doing light gun games. And the CRT right. doesn't have an HDMI port, so. Oh. Let's quickly read alerts, hop to Art Block, and then go to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which I'm sure Crimson is super excited for. Yep! Pog Champ. Love me some Mystery Dungeon. 
Udipta says, I've been having medical issues for the last few months, and I'm going in for a bone marrow biopsy tomorrow. Oh, no. Ooh. Last few weeks have been really stressful, so thanks for helping me take my mind off of things tonight. Your streams always help make me laugh. Yo, here's hoping for the best, Udipta says. That's got to be scary, but you can do it. Good vibes. Good vibes. All the good vibes. Faison Farmer says, So, the story mode for this game is rather interesting because it actually has non-combat stages designed to teach intermediate techs. For example, one stage has you jumping across a series of platforms, but there's spikes on the ceiling that'll knock you back to start if you hit them, so you need to short hop over their, the gap, three gaps in a row in order to progress. Interesting. Okay. Guardian Joker says, In the probable words of Emil, would you say that this game has mare combos? Ugh. Yes. Big McTalk says, what's the backlog count now? Uh, I assume for the cookie jar is what you're referring to. Cookie jar currently has 182 in it. It was at 198, I believe, when the stream started, so we have reduced it some, but uh, still got a ways to go. For reference's sake, the page with 151 to 182 starts at 18 days ago. The page for 101 to 150 starts at last month. And 51 to 100 starts at three months ago. <laughs> so. Quite a bit of cookies in that co jar. Yeah. I wonder if they're chocolate chip. I like chocolate chip. Let me refresh this to make sure this list is correct. And it didn't accidentally give me wrong ones. Okay, that's good. Alright. Let's go to Art Block. Block starts here. Oh god, they did it too! <laughs> For Veil Leaf! So I did this like seven minutes after I finished the first one. Mag <laughs> Magical Girl Kronk is here. Very beautiful. I'm, s I'm sad Andrew isn't here to do his much better Kronk than mine. I'm joking about Kronk in uh, the mod chat. Hey, Peter, I'm a magical girl now. Kind of reminds me of that fucking, like, uh, joke in Poker Night where Brock Samson was, uh, used as a, uh, character in a, uh, Mortal Kombat knockoff named 2 2 Blondie. Hmm. Next up from 404 Sound, quick sketch of Rosa in, uh, TMS's Protag's outfit. Drawing her in fancy RPG outfits is very fun, lol. Well, it's very lovely, and I just, I do actually really like that Krom outfit, that, uh, the, or the Lord outfit, I guess is what they said, uh, for the main character. Looks nice. Yeah. Thank you, 404. Next up, speaking of nice outfits, from Mika. I found a dress named The Moon and the Stars by Freda Leopold on Twitter, and I wanted to draw Rosa wearing it. I put a link to the designer's Instagram page in the source. Ooh, this is That very looks nice. great. Yeah. Very cute. Nicely done, Mika. Uh, oh, I want to dress like that. The the bare back and everything. Sure. Nice. I'd show you rock it. <laughs> From tree. So I'm not sure how relevant this is to the stream, but I saw you played some of uh, TMS. So here's some old sketches of mine related to the game. The left image was inspired by a friend who drew her persona as a TMS character, so it's my own persona in a similar manner. The right image is from my favorite uh, FE character, Zane, as if he was a uh, TMS idol. Side note, thank you again for checking up on me. Wasn't able to bring myself to talk about everything I wanted to, because, oh. I'll feel, I'm feeling good better than you were a month ago. Okay, that's good to hear. That's good to hear, Tree. We'll see where things go from here. All right, as long, only when you're feeling better, okay? That's the important thing. You feel better first, and then you're cool with everything else. Appreciate it. the heads up on that. Thank you, Tree, and thank you, you for the art. Focus on you. Focus on you getting better. Next up. Horse. From Daisy and Chibi. <laughs> so the alt for month is Super Thunderclat, and she is a horse, so I decided to change her into a My Little Pony. For her design, it pulled the dark blue from her outfit, and her hair color was a uh, mix of light pink and light blue, which I have named Cotton Candy Dream. Her cutie mark, which is supposed to be a thunderbolt with sound waves coming off it, looks very 80s or 90s to how vibrant it is. She also has a big brother pony body shape, which is a thicker body than normal ponies to help with the big booty look. <laughs> Fair enough. She all, she looks a little like a Shire pony, but it still makes it seem funny that a heavy bottom Shire pony can outrun any pony. Nice. Thanks for the, the very detailed breakdown on that, Daisy Chibi. Appreciate it. And the last one I got here. In the Oasis, another comic I assume from uh, Tokyo Mirage. 
Hey, I found an oasis. Rock, let's dive in. I can feel the heat just melting off me. Quite the lifesaver, isn't it, Mia? It sure is. This is what she wears in the water? Oh no, your temperatures are through the roof again. What's wrong? Here's a better one. Nice. Just fully dressed, hop in the water. Good to go. Thank you, Jake. And that's our block. Let's go play some Mystery Dungeon. Can I just say I really hope they make uh, they remake uh, the Explorers game in this style? Do we know how well this remake even sold? Because I mean that would be the defining factor for it. Uh, I'm gonna Google that. The dungeon. Yeah, copy. Oh, yeah, it's louder than I expected it to be. Yeah. Uh, 1.26 million copies as of December 9th, 2021. I mean, that's still pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, here's the thing. Like, this, like, Spike Chunsoft made this, right? The DX version? I believe so. Because the last one I remember them doing otherwise... Yeah, they're on, they're on the credits. The last yeah, uh, Mr. Can... Dungeon I remember them doing was Shire and the Wanderer. So I guess they are still making games in the series, so it could happen. Oh, here we go. Sasparilla, leader of Team Sass Kickers. <laughs> oh, God. That's that's a pun Emil would be proud of. I don't think that's a pun, though. It's just wordplay. I mean... Oh, yeah, okay. You got a point. Funny enough, it is because Mr. Dungeon is part of the reason why uh, I became Crimson Sun. That's why it's my, uh... That's why that's my online handle. Ah, uh, now it makes sense. Because, okay. because uh... Crimson Sun was the name of my Mystery Dungeon team in Explorers. Sarsaparilla and Kickerella. Oh, hey, Diglett. Tunnels everywhere. Woohoo, digging is so much fun. Uh, um, where am I? Hey, what's going on? Oh, my apologies. My name is Diglett. I was having a blast digging tunnels in front of the Pelipper Post Office. So much that I kept on digging and ended up here. Sorry I ruined your nice place. Don't worry about it. It's just a hole. Are you saying you'll forgive me? Too many holes might annoy others, so don't dig too many. Of course, thank you, sparkly diglet eyes. <laughs> He's so happy. For now He's on, I'll have fun digging, but I'll also make sure to patch up the holes from time to time. Bye. I mean, it kind of counts, I guess. We have so much mail in our mailbox. We should probably deal with that, huh? Pokemon News, number one, welcome to a rescue team. To all new members, your badge is the power to send back to town any Pokemon you've rescued. Just hold the badge up and it does the rest. By advancing through your adventure, you will be re awarded points that raise your team's ranking. Aim for the bronze rank for now. Train at the Makuhita Dojo. If you have dojo tickets, you can train at the Makuhita Dojo. At the dojo, your moves grow more than they do in dungeons, especially if you keep on hitting the foe with super effective moves. You expect to grow a lot. You can also learn the controls of the dojo for free. Check out the the dojo when you want to learn how to move. Yeah, that was a feature of the series where if you use a move, it powers up eventually. And a gift from the rescue organization to a hard worker like you. Try to power up using the enclosed bronze dojo tickets. Oh, I got a lot more tickets. Your mailbox is empty now. Oh, we do have a mission? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, escort missions. All right, should we go to the dojo first, I guess? Yeah. I ever... don't think the dojo passes a d uh, time. Well, I mean, I figured it might as well. I got to figure out where it is first. Uh, it's south. Oh, it's south? Okay, cool. 
Because we haven't really walked around town from what I remember. We just yeah. kind of popped in. The oh, there's, there's our There floor. it is right there. Only through rigorous training can we become stronger. Tricks of the trade. Use moves! Oh, these have prizes, what? I didn't expect. Did you ever play the double battle GameCube Pokemon games and what did you think of I never played either one. Alright, let's work on moves. By the way, you got some different moves than normal, but that's just for practice. Go ahead and use a move on me! Pop at me, bro. That's how you use moves. When you want to choose which move to use, hold ZL and press the button. And choose one to hit me with. See three more. Bam! Clear. Congratulations! All right, this is a good refresher because it's been a bit since I played. You did it, congratulations, nice work. Here's your reward, some apples. Oh, see if we can get more tickets, okay. Max elixir, gold ribbon. Reviver seed, escape orbs. Oh, we also do some regular dojo drills. I need to give me a dojo ticket if you want to try dojo drills out. The better the ticket you use, the more effective the drills will be. Choose which ticket you'd like to use. 50 seconds experience and move experience. Big boost, huge boost, super boost. Wait, you look, I forgot, they made, they let you learn some really good moves at the beginning. I mean, okay, maybe not really good, but uh, better than the original. Like, I don't think Treacle had Dragon Breath to start in the original. Defeat the enemies within the time limits. You can get a lot of experience when you use a super effective move. Tell us what the small stuff in Dojo Drills. Just go for it. There are special rules, so you'll walk super fast, and you can revive as much as you need to, even if you don't have a reviver seed. Use L auto mode to, he to head for those enemies and get tons of experience. So, John, guess what you've uh, inspired me to play? What day? Uh, Banjo Kazooie. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, uh, I've inspired to play it because of both uh, TRG's videos of uh, the first game and uh, Lukachin's uh, videos of the second. Nice. Yeah. Well, I love Banjo Kazooie, so I do recommend it. So hopefully you enjoy it. I've been enjoying it a lot so far. I'm actually looking back. I'm kind of surprised I've never played the uh, the banjo games, even though I played DK64. Oh wait, did that never hit every any time? Oh shit! Yeah, move failed. Level up. Yay! Every stat went up. I leveled up. I think that's the. Uh... Is that a thing in this where every stack goes up, or uh, is it is it set? Is no okay. Idea. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that question. Makes sense. Is every stack go up every time you level up, or sometimes it's just some stats? I, I definitely remember not every stack going up. Okay. I wonder if it's uh, like a set thing for every Pokemon. They have like they have like it's guaranteed okay at level two you'll get these stats at level three you'll get these stats and so on or is it random sort of like fire up i'm back i had to make a snack yeah because in fire emblem like every stat has a percentage to go up get ready get ready get ready but uh i heard someone say fire emblem style so it's every stat has a percentage I think. I've heard you say increase fast until level 30 or something. Okay, so it could be that, uh... 
It could be that you get an enhanced stat boost until you reach level 30 and then it's random. If I'm understanding what chat's saying. You're in a jump. Level up. Nice. Two levels for Kikarella. Jesus. Okay. It's really also, interesting that Machop is a starter in this game. Kikarella is trying to learn Foresight. You have to forget an old move to learn a new move. I, I think that gives you invincibility. It, it resets an enemy's boosted evasiveness. If the enemy is ghost oh. type, it also makes the enemy exposed, which enables normal and fighting type moves to hit the. Oh, oh. fuck. That's actually pretty. Oh. Bad. No, I was thinking of Detect, my bad. Oh, what do I want to get rid of out of my list? I have Strength, Karate Chop, Brick Break, and Bullet Punch. Uh, I, maybe Karate Chop, because Brick Break... You have two fighting moves, Brick Break's the most powerful, and it, and it gets past barriers. Damage an enemy also shatters the enemies, reflect light screen on uh, or veil conditions. Oh yeah, no, Karate Chop is not as strong. Yeah, uh, Karate Chop does have a higher crit rate, though, if uh, that's something consideration. Uh, I feel like breaking since I need four moves. Cause I feel like foresight's gonna be really helpful. Really? Chat saying foresight ain't that good at all. Really? I guess I do have. I, I, I guess I, I do already have like another enemy type with me because uh, Sarsaparilla. Yeah, is like foresight's a very situational move. And bullet punch can hit all enemies. Oh yeah, because it's steel yeah. And fighting. Yeah, and uh. Yeah, both punches worth keeping because of that, and because it hits two spaces away. All the uh, priority moves can hit further away. Sure, hit move. It's very situational. Yeah, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. go start that comment, honestly. I love my chop. I love my chop. I you can always camp. you can you can always relearn it if you feel like you need it. Oh, you can relearn moves. Uh, yeah, if you go to the Move Tutor. There's a Move Tutor in this game. Okay. Keep in mind, I've never played a uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. That's fair. Uh, there's a... Yeah, there's someone who uh, not only can uh, reteach you moves, or I believe also give you exclusive moves to your Pokemon, but he also can uh, teach you how to link moves, where uh, you can have it so that you use one move, then the other move goes right out there right away. So you can do some crazy combos as, like, have... Yeah. A power boosting move go first and then attack right away. Yeah, it's Gulpin that does that. You can also rescue your own team with your team members. If someone comes to rescue you, you'll be revived without losing anything. And if you rescue someone else, you can get a reward. Everybody wins! Oh yeah, that's the help feature. If you get knocked out in a dungeon, uh, you can. I don't. I think it's just it's just Nintendo Wi-Fi, considering this is a Switch. But you can go online and have someone rescue you, so that you don't lose progress in dungeons when you uh, get knocked out. I believe the exception is story based story based dungeons. If you're in the middle of a story based dungeon, you can't use this feature. Makes sense. All right. Well, let's. I'm trying to remember how we actually go on our missions because we already got the job. Uh, you uh, go to your base and then travel south. Okay. And of course, make sure your jobs are active. Otherwise, uh, you won't have them. But Thunderwave Cave has a treasure chest that says "Up." <laughs> uh. I think that's a feature that's new to this, so I'm not quite familiar with it, because I, have, I haven't played DX. I want treasure. <laughs> Channel your inner Wario, Mario. <laughs> I, 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 th I think it means that uh, that Pokemon are uh, have a higher chance of dropping uh, item boxes. That's not good. That was not a good thing to miss. Yeah. 
Yeah, Sonic Boom. Okay, good. Yeah. Grab that money. Grab that money. If he spammed that, you would have been trouble because it does a fixed 20 damage, which isn't much, but it is for this point in the game. There's fast forward. Okay, I knew it was here somewhere. <laughs> I'm not able to fact that nice suck in 90% of my uh, fire games, which is, uh, Tone System Cult if you want. Yeah, like, knights are really good if, you, uh, like, stone walls for defense missions, depending on the game. But the problem is, uh, they had the least movement out of any unit. They tend to have, like, four movement. So they're harder to, uh, they're harder to train in the, especially in the larger, uh, maps because, uh, they're lagging behind everyone else. Come on, come on, there we go. Also, someone in chat said be careful pushing your partner around because it costs more belly. Ah, uh, right, because the, the hunger meter. Yeah, the hunger meter is a thing in this game. Sonic Boom! Okay. Oh, 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 sass, sass! Okay. All right, let's go down. Speed is the best stat in Fire Emblem, yeah, because that's it. Speed is what did take. It's one of the things uh, that did take uh, whether you double attack or not. the treasure chest, so I have to do it outside the dungeon? Uh, that happens automatically at the end of the dungeon. Okay. Max Ether. Which is nice because uh, in, in the, Explor or the Explorers games, you have to take them to a, an NPC. What's the other game like this, but like, it's more fluid combat? There's a lot of Mystery Dungeon games. That's like... That's, that's like Spun, uh, Spike Chunsoft's, uh, one of the things they're known for, isn't it? Yeah. I, they, I might be they're... thinking Poke Park, maybe? Poke Park was the, like, the adventure game we were running around doing mini games and stuff like that. Yeah, it was a big okay. mini game collection. You play as Pikachu. Let's me. There it is. Pokemon Rumble might be what you're thinking of. Maybe. Let me look at it. Nah, no, that's not the one I was thinking of. Can you describe what it was again? It was like it was like an ARPG feeling, kind of. But it was Pokemon. Pokemon yeah. Conquest. No, Con Conquest that's... is a tactics game. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm paralyzed and can't use moves. Oh, then how do I move this forward? Uh, you have a cherry berry because you can. Uh, Everyone knows that team members been paralyzed. Use a cherry berry on which Pokemon? Yeah, there you go. I don't know how many of those I have. Give me my health back. Uh, don't forget though, uh, you, if by pressing, I think it's the A button, you do just a basic attack, it, uh, it's no move, but it's just a small amount of damage. Well, I know, it, it defaults to absorb. I forget it because I'm in this Oh, basic haven't... attack isn't in this game, okay. No regular attack, alright. I kind of remember them being like, looking like little toys. That would be Rumble, though. Yeah. What did that come out on, though? The Wii? Yeah, that might have been it, then. The Wii, I think Wii U had a, had a version sort of 3DS. Yep, that would be the one. Yeah, I just looked at it. Hi. 
Anyways, that game was tight. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of neat. Like, a lot of the Pokemon spin-off games were like super fun like that. Uh, do I switch to my other Pokemon? Yeah, or should I just use an item now? I'm trying to remember how to do it. There we go. I kind of, uh, have you added points for your moves? No, I'm at 19 for my belly. My belly's almost empty. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I don't think switching to your Pokemon... Uh, oh, wait, no, it does help. I forgot it's only... Yeah, I forgot in this game it's only the, the leader that yeah. loses belly. Yeah. I don't think you have the ability to switch partners until uh, after uh, until you're in the end game. No, I, well, should, like, I should already have that because I had a tutorial already. Oh, for that. maybe that's something added to this game. I know, in, I know, in the original and in like X followers and Gates of Infinity, you can only change your leader uh, in the post game. Yeah, it's it's pause. Pressing plus does that. Right. Oh, sorry. Yeah, D uh, yeah. People in chat are, are saying DX. You can change leader anytime. It's some really nice uh, music. Nice little, uh, it's a nice little remix of the original Game Boy Advance, but it still retains some of the, uh, still retain, retains some of the, uh, uh, the sound font. Yeah, I think the only moves that hit around corners are the ones that hit uh, two spaces away, like Bullet Punch or Quirk Attack, or uh, or the uh, Lion Projectiles, like Shockwave. Uh. Or moves that hit, like, all around the character, like Thunderbolt. Level up. Pickerel's at level 10 now, Jesus. Great, I leveled up. John, the AI is a lot better in DX because at least the Explorer games, you had to raise their IQs with various gummies. It was a pain, even in even Sky kind of helped a bit with that. Yeah, gummy raising is very tedious. The arrow on a staircase symbol. Uh, Represents hits through corners. Easiest way to tell. So none of my moves. Oh no! There we go. Dragon Breath does. Yeah. I don't think. I think Dragon Breath is just a uh, right in front of you attack. Yeah, I don't think any of my moves are are too. Oops. Yeah. Nothing too fancy yet. Money. Do you guys like spicy food? Um, uh, my, depends my on how, hates it. It depends on how spicy. Why? Uh, what kind of fun, spicy food are we talking? I got these extra hot hot Cheetos, and they were yeah, uh, no, they were a mistake. Spice. Eh. Not not really. We'll find out later. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. We'll find out if my body survives the night. We'll, we'll find out if I'm not uh, if I'm not on the toilet for an hour. Apparently, they came out with like uh, Carolina Reaper ones. Oh jeez. Oh god. Yeah, I, can't, I can't find those anywhere. All right, actually, you know what? I have a story about like super like spicy things. So I have a friend of mine who's like really into super hot sauces, right? Mm. And uh, I think it was like the second anime north we went to. We went to this pho restaurant, and she brought uh, this hot sauce that was called Steak Bite, uh, as well as the end. 
And the thing on the bottle really hyped up of how spicy it was. So I decided to be curious, and I asked, you know, hey, you know what, can I have, like, just, like, a little dab of that on a chopstick? So, she does, and I have this, like, little, like, dab of, uh, this hot sauce, and I put it on my tongue. And I was just, for the few few seconds, I was like, hmm. You know what, my mouth is kind of tingling, but it doesn't really seem that bad. And the moment I finish that sentence, my mouth suddenly feels like it's on fire. Oh, no. <sighs> And it's just like, oh my god, no, this is horrible, what the fuck? My eyes are watering, my mouth just feels like it's on fire. And the only thing I have to drink is pop, which just makes it worse. Oh no. <laughs> I, had, I, I had to deal with that for like a good half hour. And meanwhile, like, uh, my friend just like, you know, sprinkles a bunch of it in her, in her fall soup takes a big spoonful of it, and she's like, mm, it's bad, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm fine. <laughs> it's that Pokemon <laughs> again. What are they saying? It's shaking! An earthquake! Whoa, it's getting worse! Our dream this feels strangely real, but... Heat that hits you a few moments after is the best heat. Yeah, uh, hello? I like I like hot stuff as long as it has some sort of decent flavor. I didn't teach I didn't taste flavor. All I tasted was pain. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're pleased to meet you. We're a duck trio! Last night during the earthquake, our child Diglett was attacked. What, Diglett? He was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. You couldn't possibly climb somewhere so high up. That's why we must call upon your help, you for your help, Sarsaparilla. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Skarmory. It's a vilely vicious ruffian. Please do be careful. Please, we need your help. We must go. Bye. Huh. Man, ch the, the way Chugga voiced uh, Doug Trio in his Let's Play was amazing. What, do you have, like, an echo effect on? Yeah, he, like, had, like, uh, three, like, vo uh, three, like, uh, like, files of him speaking the lines uh, playing at once. So it sounded like there was three of him in, in the uh, speaking at the same time. Makes sense. That's what I would have done. Uh, how do I... There we go. Saving on main menu. Oh, we're at time already? Uh, there's like two minutes left, basically, gotcha. but we're not going to be able to get in anything. The problem with the game is it's, you know, pretty rigid. Very long. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of dialogue. There's a reason why we don't usually do RPGs here. Yep. Admire illustration. These are really good illustrations. All right. Well, in that case, since we've got the time, let's get one last game in, shall we? All right. Okay. My pick is... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then it said it. All right, we did say Lollipop Chainsaw was a carryover. I'm just going to say this, this seems like this will be the last one of the night. Final round. All right, let's see what we got here. Dragon Lord three five four has asked for Spyro the Dragon one reignited. I demand Ooh. more Dragon Daddies. I picked that. I picked that one. But I actually beat Spyro uh, one reignited uh, a month ago. It was really great. Still have not beaten any of these games. I like how somebody's like immediately Cole. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he was he was marking out pretty hard on those. Kurisu Pachi says, "Sorry for the incoming pain, John. If this wins, super hide lied for the Sega Genesis." Jesus oh Christ. no! Right. Why would you do that? I gotta keep things interesting. That definitely is pretty interesting. Radiant Shadow asks for Eichenfell. 
with LGBT pride emote to go along with it. I assume I have that on Show Steam. You. Show your pride. Uh, Xeno Persona 819 asks for Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. Hell yeah. Hachi's Revenge. We've had that on stream before. It was a really good game. Yeah, I, I streamed it when I uh, when I got it because I liked it a lot. It's on Switch. Game number, I guess, six for this pile, uh, but five from the, the choices. From WRX Killer GM. Okay, this is during the ending of Vampire Survivors. So let's do that again. More Vampire Survivors, please. I need to play that more. It's a nice time waster. I'm waiting for like a full release before I go back into it. I mean, they they do a patch every two weeks. They add new content every two weeks, so there's a lot of shit in there already. There's like six worlds now, you six stages or something like that now. Oh shit! All right. Yeah. Uh, it, it it updates pretty often. So does Peglin, surprisingly. Oh, that's good to hear. And the last one I got here from Ice Finch Moonlighter on Switch. Moonlighter, I believe, is the one where you run your own shop, but you also go and kind of go into uh, dungeons to find stuff like a la Zelda, if memory serves. It's it, it, is it Rogue Lake, isn't it? Or Rogue yeah, Light? I do it believe is. yes. Yeah, we All know right. how those go around here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, we got uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, Spiral of the Dragon 1, Reignited, Super Hydlide, Eichenfell, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2, Vampire Survivors, and Moonlighter. Let's see what wins. What do I fucking pick here? Yeah, there's some pretty good choices here. Well, all for, except one of them. Oh yeah, Deep. Moonlighter's type. The art in it is... Really I've, nice I've always too. heard good things about Moonlighter. All right, let's see what's happening. This is the one I want. Now a timer. Uh, there's number currently in the lead. Looks to be oh, Vampire Survivors. Fight. I wouldn't call it a blowout. It's, it's, it's a, a head by 10 votes. Vampire Survivors currently in the lead. 39 votes, 30% of the votes. Spire of the Dragon 1 catching up though. 34 votes, 24%. Super Hide Lie, 22 votes, 14%. Lollipop Chainsaw, 21 votes, 12%. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, 2, 14 votes, 8%. Iconfell, 10 votes, 5%. And Moonlighter is actually in last place. 7 votes, 3%. Oh, bummer. 189 uh, votes clock so far. Vampire Survivors leads over Spyro the Dragon 1, reignited 60 to 56, so it's actually pretty close. The irony being here that Vampire Survivors actually stole the Spyro colors, so uh, that's going to get <laughs> confusing if it becomes a flippin' battle. minute all right fortune cookies on saturday so the following people should be seeing their options appear in the polls on saturday uh heroin mari flame spitter and strawberry cupids you'll be in the first round mike capella tiger brows and eternal fire seal will be in round two mad the sane max stream 379 and deep dragon in round three Myself, hey, Zebra Rick, and Rising Sun in round four. And if there is a round <laughs> five, Mr. Dandelion, Super Icy, and Esper Magic. Spyro's trying. For it's 81 to 76. For a second when you said Dandelion, I thought I, I thought you said Dandy Man. Uh -oh. Oh, two vote gap, two vote gap, two vote gap, two vote gap. No more votes are coming oh, yeah. in. It's a two vote gap, it's a two vote, one vote gap, one vote gap. Oh, Not in time, Vampire Survivors wins. Uh, does it make 1% rule for the oh, next? It's, uh, it's one vote away, it's extremely 1% rule. Yep. But, here, but here's the million dollar question, how are we doing that? Do you add it to next time we do this or do you add it to? I would, I would assume at this point, I'm adding it as a 1% rule for Cookie on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. That seems like the simplest way to do it. All right, so let's write that down then. So it gets a second chance on Saturday. You got another try. I need to play Dynamite Heady. There's a lot of good Genesis games I've never played. And it's... There we go. I think that's the only 1% rule we currently have in play, looks like. 
All right, there we go. So Spyro Reignited gets a chance again on Saturday. Schedule for the week, uh, Friday is actually gonna be a special stream. We're gonna be doing the finals for the test run of the Pokemon Unite League that Negative Pro is running. So that's gonna be interesting because I've never played the game. So it's gonna be interesting trying to shoutcast that, but we'll figure something out. Uh, and then Saturday is regular fortune cookie. Monday is going to be continuing Ape Escape 1 for game clearing. And I actually don't think we locked in what Wednesday is yet. I'm going to say tentatively next Wednesday. Oh, wait, no, we did because it's the 18th. That's Xenoblade. Never mind. Yeah, so next uh, Wednesday, the 18th is Xenoblade. We continue that with part two. Emil will not be able to join us for part two, so we will be uh, doing that with our usual crew. You need to be level four for Spectator Mode Unite. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Guess I'm spending tomorrow getting to level four. All right. Uh, let's drop some eggs. Bubba uses their retro pies as Steam Link. Interesting. Mm, yeah, you could do that as well. Uh, Fuel Arcana for 40, who looks like they posted 40. Uh, that's definitely more than 40 times. That's gotta be. Hang on, let's do a character count. put 40 in looks like 167 times. Yeah, that's it. That looks about right. Well, there you go. So a few more 40s than, than actual 40. Uh, Fuel Arcana for 40 and Toblo 1 for 57. Thanks for subbing you too. This egg goes out to you both, which I assume is again the Shuffler. You will give me an me breaking my knee against my desk. Good times. Alright, we're gonna go to break and we come back last game of the night. I almost said Spyro, but it is Vampire Survivor. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> So I haven't played this uh, since February 16th, so almost three months. So there's a bunch of updates I have to do now. Yeah, it says achievements, 45 out of 96. So I uh, have I have to basically double my achievement count to unlock everything now. So I haven't played since uh, February 1st. And there's tons of content then in that case. Uh, what's the last time I played? Last played January 29th. Sonic Bot Jay, wants... Jay, you got questions? 
sorry. And Simebot1 says, can't wait when you and Reese play Nuts and Bolts. Yeah, it probably won't happen. <laughs> Don't get excited or wait for that. Oh, uh, I guess I'll, yeah, for people following the Banjo 2 playthrough. Uh, good news. Turns out, A, I actually did have a completed save of Banjo Kazooie for 360 because I played through it when it got originally released on 360. And B, turns out surprisingly easy to move from a 360 to an Xbox Series X. So, uh, I used the cloud save to transfer from my 360 to the Series X and it immediately unlocks stop and swap. So, good news, nice. we have all the eggs in the ice key now. So we are not we are not in trouble for that playthrough. We're set for that one again. Shockingly easy to do. I had to reboot the game. That was about it. Isn't it nice when technology works? Yeah. A felt... boring concept around here. Yeah, I mean it's always it's nice. I'll give I'll give Microsoft credit for that. That was a pretty easy transfer, all things considered. Vale Leaf says, so I checked the number of the game sold because the 1.2 million units sold sounded rather odd as I remember seeing that amount in 2020. That amount is just the first quarter. The latest number I have seen is 1.6 million as of December 31st, 2020, which is more reasonable. Do, do you mean 2022? I assume you mean they 2022. Said what they said. <laughs> or sorry, 2021. 2021, because... Christmas of 22 hasn't happened yet. No, they say they do mean 2020. I see that 1.26. that. I, I can dig around for that later. Not a big deal. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw that, Chloe. You know what? I actually need to see something. I wonder if you guys are shooting yourselves in the foot by doing that. It'd be really funny. No, actually, never mind. It's a bit more spaced out than I thought. Never mind. All right, we have 177 in the jar right now, so we did did cut down the list a tiny bit, but uh, yeah, still a ways to go. Blade Bummer says, still some... "Go for it." Uh, can people still submit to the jar? Oh yeah, people can always submit so to the jar as long as they have the points. Oh right, it's a points thing. Yeah, so we're never going to run out of space in the jar, basically. Like, we're always going to have options to pull from. Yeah. Infinite jar. Police Bummer <laughs> says, Hey, John, found out your busy schedule this week, man, and I hope you get some rest after it. I do apologize for the DM I sent Sunday without knowing your schedule for the week. No worries. Don't don't sweat it, dude. Meganerd says, It's been weird watching Banjo-Tooie because I have less frame of reference for it than Kazooie because I played ukulele. It almost begins to have, like, a hint of Zelda-y flavor to it. Perhaps that's what inspired Dinosaur Planet? Well, Tui is more... I hate to say Metroidvania, but it kinda is, because you need moves to go back to other worlds. I think my major gripe with Tui, and I have a bunch of them, I think my main one is that you cannot clear out every, like, a world your first go, basically. Except for, I think, maybe the final world. The majority of the worlds you have to backtrack to, and some you have to do some extensive backtracking to. It goes a little too hard on it. But, uh, yeah, I am otherwise enjoying it, but, like, it, I have realized at the same time while playing, like, wow, I guess I didn't really like this that much as a kid, because I, like, I have fragments of memories from it, and then nothing else. I remember, uh, I remember Witchy World. I remember liking Witchy World a, fra a fair amount. We'll see if that holds up. Uh, I remember Hailfire Peaks just having pure vitriol for that. I don't remember why I would hate that world, but I seem to have just remembrance of hatred for it. <laughs> Grunty Industries, I just remember being bland looking, because I guess it's a factory. Uh, and I literally don't remember the prehistoric level at all. I 
would say Tui is the only rare uh, collectathon that had that. Uh, DK64 also had that fair amount. Oh, like, no. D those... D D God, DK64. Fuck. There's another game I don't ever want to go back to. <laughs> to at least 100%. I'll play the game. I don't mind playing it, but going for 100%? Ugh. As, as someone who 100% uh, that game multiple times, don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tui, Jet Force Gemini and DK64. Games I remember liking as a kid, but at the same time, they were all very much, I'm only ever playing through this once again. And that's probably why. So I also never finished Diddy Kong Racing, but my gut check is telling me that would have hit the same note, more or less. Yeah, those fucking silver coins. Yeah. Um, I've never beaten Banjo that Banjo Kazooie, I really feel like, is one of their better N64 games. It's a so much more cohesive, like, one and done experience. It's one of the few games on the N64 I will replay. Blast Core is fun, but the backlash and some of the later missions and the Platinum Times kind of ruined that one for me in the long run. So again, 100% sucks. Uh, Killer Instinct Gold, I mean, you just gotta like fighting games at that point, and that gets pretty brutal. Fuck yeah, you do. Uh, and what is the last game they did on N64? I'm forgetting, or is that all of them? Perfect Dark? Oh, how could I fucking forget Perfect Dark? I love Perfect Dark and Goldeneye. Yeah, I love Perfect Dark and Goldeneye. Uh, and Mickey Speedway USA, I actually did not play growing up. I've only played oh, it on Star. Oh, and Con Speedway Conqueror, USA? I played through half to two-thirds of and enjoyed, but I remember whenever I stopped, I was just starting to get fatigue on the game. Which is weird, because that was off of a rental. So, so I didn't have it for very long. God, they really did make a lot of games on the N64, huh? That was mm -hmm. like 10 I listed just then. I'm pretty damn close to it. Kazooie Tooie. Uh, Killer Instinct. Blast Core, Goldeneye, Perfect Dark, Diddy Kong Racing, Mickey Speedway USA, Jet Force Gemini, DK64. Yeah, that's 10. Unless I repeated one just then. I love KI Gold. I liked playing the original KI, but I never played Gold. Gold is just two. Yeah, that's what I've heard. All right, let's pop over to Art Block and then get to the last game of the night. From Westifer, Chapter 6, Encounter! I couldn't risk crossing through the McNursery, so I backtracked and continued my investigation. However, it wasn't long until I ran into two McDonald's goons. I knew I should have uh, brought my invisibility tie, or wait, do we even have those? Ah, never mind. The point is, I've been spotted. There are two of them and I am incredibly short. The odds are stacked against me. I wish I didn't have my gun confiscated for being a loose cannon. Or was that a movie I watched? What's going on with my memory lately? Ugh, I need to focus. So anyways, I could try running, but they might alert the whole base. Unless they think I'm just another kid who wandered off. Now that I think about it, they probably won't take me seriously. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Hmm, maybe it'll be worth the shot to be continued. Might be a bit until the next chapter, writing blocks of pain. I don't want to half-ass it. Fair enough, Westerford, but thank you for doing all these so far. This has been fun to read so far. Who is this lost sassy child? It's me. Bizzard the wizard. <laughs> Friendship is magic. Bizzard the wizard and my little pony have the same number of syllables. It just fits. Entry 56 in the magical Bizzard the Wizard book series. Also on a personal note, I'm very fond of anything My Little Pony and stuff related to it. If you haven't given Friendship is Magic a watch, give it a chance. It's more complex than what the cute ponies would make you think it is. I mean, there's there's a fandom for a reason. People like it. I like how you use for the, cute, for the mark you use the, the hoops. Nice touch. Has the meal made you watch any episodes? Nah, he doesn't watch the show anymore. I know he doesn't, but back when he did... He tried. I've seen I've seen like one or two in passing. That's about it. Not Same my here. thing, honestly. I mean if Weird Al's on it, it's gotta be at least alright. Oh wait, Weird Al was on it? Weird Al is like a recurring character in the series. I think he showed up <laughs> he showed up at least twice from what I remember. You know what that actually doesn't surprise me. Next up. I know actually I, I, I do remember hearing that GLaDOS apparently wrote Celestial Letter. That was right on the show. Sorry, say that again? Apparently GLaDOS from Proto wrote Celestia a letter, and that was right on the show. Weird. Alright, neat. Weird Al showed up twice as Cheese Sandwich, who married Pinkie Pie. What the fuck? 
Okay. He is such a recurring character that he marries Pinkie Pie and has a baby. Huh. Alright. Alright. Two times voiced and one time not voiced in the movie. Interesting. Either way, we got a picture of the Sass Kickers from Jack's Pool. Heck yeah, Sass Kickers return. Nice to see the game come up again. Thank you, Jax, for the lovely kicking art. Next up, I was laughing at this earlier because I felt bad. Losers of them fighting herds. DK Country returns. Losers of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. And this. <laughs> and this is. Something. And this something new. Passion in something. Oh, they're right. Well, this is something. Passion in something else. Unfortunately, it's blinded by all this unyielding rage. Just the usual norm and consistency around here. This makes things uh, 0 and 5 in total. 0 and 3 in instances of, uh, of Rogue Galaxy. 0 and 2 in Monster Tales. Well, I'll go back and continue waiting for the day that happens. In all seriousness, I'm not mad at anyone. I'm just enjoying the shitposting in bits. Though the salt is all still there in tame. <laughs> Hope you enjoy tonight, and I'll be back Friday since I actually have a team for the Unite League. Maybe get a few cheers there instead. Lol. Enjoy the rest of the stream, folks. Also, BS. Hey, John, have you managed to take a look at the section I noted for the thing I sent in DMs for Bruce up? No, I am behind on a lot of things right now, Kid Ark. You're going to have to give me a, a reminder ping in the next couple days, and I can take, try to take a look at it then. Thank you, Kid Art. And with... Oh, oh, no, there's one more. I forgot. From Daisy and Chibi. Ooh, look at this. This is time John is not uh, as a pony. He is a moose. Totally legally fine with his best friend Isaac the Squirrel Knight. Enjoy. Yep. Moose and Squirrel. Thanks, Daisy and Chibi. For moose Squirrels and Squirrel. are good. Squirrels are good. That's why I made a squirrel, uh, ult, John. That's true, you did. Yeah, I need to draw her some more. All right, Vampire Survivor's time. Let me get my controller on. I need to draw her some actual outfits. Play with experimental lag fix? What the hell's happened with this? I'm about to boot it up myself. Vampire Survivor's. Time for a salty reset, says chat. Why? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Hang on. Also, chat's quoting uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged now. Specifically Vegeta. Okay, this game apparently has a photosensitivity warning, but I don't remember that. I could have added some flashy effects since then. Since you last played. Uh, why is it not on screen? Okay, right. I think this is one that needs to use. Game if game no work. Why is it huge? A big. He's so big. Bigger. Uh, da, 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 fit to screen. Boom. There we go. You know Much how better. things work here, John. We always want things bigger. Well, sometimes bigger is not better. In the case of you cannot see what I am currently playing. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, right, because the stopwatch. Okay, let's uh, let's pop up a flashing light warning then, or motion sickness. Let's change that back to flashing light. Oh yeah, they added a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, so... someone in chat says they did add flashy effects for uh, since you last played for some of the evolved weapons. Okay. Let's see here. Last time I played, I had maxed out Might, three in Recovery, one on Cooldown. Amount has got a point into it. Growth is at max. Greed is at max. And Reroll is activated. Uh, it doesn't look like they added anything new here. Curse was there for a bit when last I played. And Revival. Magnet's got it, one point in it, too. Okay. Is this also a mobile game? Uh, no, yeah. but it does kind of resemble it. Let's see. Unlocked, 45 of 86. Reach level 40 in Inlay Library. Reach level 60 in the Dairy Plant. Reach level 100 with these characters. Uh, survive 10 minutes with 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay, so these are all tied to survive as a certain character. Oh, is there attack cats now? <laughs> oh, attack cats. 15 minutes with Giovanna. Attack cats with you was a thing long before you got bagel. 
Yeah, well before we got Bagel. Find the magic banger. Find the Milky Way map. There it is. Wow, they, they've actually added a lot since I played last. Jesus. Yes, they have. All right, who is that? Who do I need for attack cats? That's priority one. Let's get. Who do we need for attack cats? Was it Giovanna? Maybe unlock the frame rate too. Let's try fifty minutes with Giovanna. I don't have Giovanna. <laughs> uh. Well, then we're. Oops. There goes my controller. Well, then we're playing as Skelly Boy. Skelly! Let's see. Uh, Mad Forest Stage 1 we've done. We've not yet... Wait, how do we discover these... What? Look at all these stages I haven't discovered. How the fuck do I discover them? I've already beaten these other stages. Maybe you have to put beat the stages again to unlock them? I don't know. I might have to, which that sucks if that's the case. I mean, since the triggers for all the stages were in the previous uh, builds of the game... Reach level 40 in the library. Oh, wait, isn't this the song that... Hang I on. I think they changed it. That's... Oh, cool. There we go. We got some achievements. <laughs> Feel 50 entries in the collection. Unlock Banish. New achievement. Unlock Hyper Mode in any normal stage. Unlock Hyper Il Moise. New achievement. Defeat a total of 3,000 line heads. Unlock Cavallo. Yeah, I'm going to... Where's where's my streamer friendly mode? It's not here anymore. Yeah, I think they took the song out of the game. I thought that was the song I was listening to just then. Wasn't that the song that got us in trouble last time? Uh... I don't think so. It took out the copyrighted songs in the new update. Yeah. Okay. Yata Cavallo gets more projectiles every twenty levels, max plus three, and it's the same thing as uh, as a Skelly Man. Let's try him out. I'm pretty sure that was the song. Isn't this the song that got us in trouble last time? Like, am I? That's weird, because I'm playing on the same stage, and I don't have the song you're listening to. What? <laughs> huh. The fuck? Yeah, that's huh. odd. Restart the game? I'm restarting I'm not playing on. as Let me, let me verify the files, too. Maybe that'll do. Do characters have different themes? No, because I didn't you switch the panda character and it was the same song? Verify integrity of game files. You may have bugged out the installation somehow. Shocking. Me doing something like that. All files successfully <laughs> validated. It's still the fucking song. I don't think it's the same song. The other one had. Uh, Hang on, let like me let me try something. Let me turn off hyper. Let's see how it sounds without hyper. That's the song, dude. That is a hundred percent the song. What is going on? Yeah, I don't know. I have like Castlevania sounding song on my end. Optin? No, is this just something bugged? Well, let's just go to stage one then. In that case, then. Yeah, this. Oh, I'm throwing rocks. Is my weapon literally confetti rocks? Mute that specific song. How? You, know, you just mute the game? I don't want to do that. It's going to be boring as fuck without any sounds. 
could always just need the music and put in uh, Castlevania music. Just checked, yes, it's the same song. What the fuck? Neat. Weird. Well, we probably got the VOD claimed, unfortunately, because of that. Fantastic. Magic Bang Banger permanently allows to change music in the stage show. That's in the library. Of course it is. Yeah. Neat. Hey, let's put a lock feature. Hey, let's put a feature for the like the game in general. Something you have to unlock. I hate it when oh, I, I hate it when people make anymore. you do that. Okay. I guess that's what I get for not playing every couple of weeks like everyone else. Can't confirm you somehow have the old song. Neat. I guess there's something that has to go wrong here tonight. Yeah, oh well. Hopefully that didn't just murder the VOD for you two. Heavenly Wings, Spellbinder, increases duration of weapon effects by 10% or Clover, character gets 10% luck here. Eh, let's grab the Clover for now. To be fair, you're playing Elder Rain and other stuff. Does Elder Rain have any uh, DMCA music? Of. They were, they're more so referring to the fact that I was like playing other games, so I wasn't playing this. Ah. All right, holy water. Sorry, Santa water. <laughs> Santa water. Cherry bomb level two. Base area up by twenty five percent. Base speed up by thirty percent. Ooh, this please. Uh, I don't remember half the combinations anymore. Didn't Santa water used to be Satan water? No, it used to be Santa water. It was always Santa water. Oh, okay. Since we, I can't read. Because Santa <laughs> is like is like saint. Right. <laughs> Mega nerd says if Juker contacts you with a sobbing emoji, you know it got muted. Yeah. Ooh, that was a good time. Sure about it. Uh, more Santa. I'm a panda. Oh boy, bad decision. I'm dead. Yep. Ooh, okay. We need to hunt. Oof, that is dicey. Wow. They need Go find health. some. Nope, it was money because, of course, it was. Go find pork chop. Thankfully, I do is have some. I have some regen, so it's starting to recharge back. But ooh, that was bad it's gonna be on close. That. I, I like how this item called. I, I like how this item is getting called Empty Tome. It's a nice uh, reference to one of these songs from uh, Order of Ecclesia. Why well, I say one of the songs is the main main theme of that game. Oh, it shows evolution pairings now. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so much more helpful. I guess he's somebody does have synergy. Excuse yeah, me. So the 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 axe and the candelabra will evolve into a pretty good weapon. Kinda reminds me of the Gungeon. We actually need to get the Evo once for it to show up. Ah, okay, so it's more of a reminder than it is of giving it away. Gotcha. Fires one more. Yeah, yeah, let's keep doing that. Well, the cool thing about this game uh, that doesn't tell you is you can turn on maps and waypoints telling you where to go on the map to get stuff. Oh, neat. Uh, that's uh, from WRX Killer GM. Well, I mean, that looks like it, it's unlockable stuff, because it said that I had to unlock that feature. Okay. Also, uh, Phil Draco put a possible fix for the solid thing in the mod chat. No, oh, what is it, just replace the file? Yeah, just replace the music files. 
Yeah, I guess I would just go in the folder and just delete it, and then reforce the download. Although, verifying files was supposed to do that. I mean, you, you go and delete it before you verify it? Well, if it's, if it's the same uh, file name, it's not gonna yeah. change it. Because it doesn't detect Well, I figured, I figured we'd also check the file size. Like, I would assume the file size is also not the same. Although, if it was, that would explain why it didn't try to change. Right. Uh, yeah, let's just keep... We're gonna need some sort of power weapon to try to get through the shenanigans we're gonna have to deal with here soon. Because at five minutes, I think, is, unless it's changed, that's when we get bombarded with plants. Damn it. Free axe upgrade. Base damage up by 20. Thank you. So if you've never seen us play Vampire Survivors before, like, it's basically just like a, a nice time waster game. But it, for some reason, it's weirdly addicting, just the way it works, because it's just, all you need to do is dodge. Everything auto-fires, you just need to go around leveling up your weapons, grabbing experience, and just picking up new shit. I'm kind of surprised on You've how, got an opening. Like, this game exploded. Yeah. I mean, that's the word of mouth from YouTube and from yeah. Twitch. Which is amazing considering how all the sprites look like they're edited from something that I ate. So it turns out um, there's a sprite artist that I follow that actually uh, did like a free set of sprites and that's what most of these are. Uh, they're from huh? that set. Like they like he put them out for commercial use. So it is legally being used. <laughs> right. It's just really funny that like, I was like, why do these look so familiar? Like they're Castlevania-ish but they're not quite there and it turns out it's because it's an artist I follow. Ooh, I could get Lightning Ring. Improve Axe again. Yeah, I mean, if I improve Axe, then I can get the, uh, the upgrade for that. Well, what'd you get that just makes them all the experienced things attract to you? Yeah, that, that, that's just an item you can find. Ah. Yeah, it's so like just a like core thing. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think it's literally called an attract orb, like you can find it on the map. Yeah, this game is like super cheap, so... Yeah, it's a couple bucks. Like two bucks, three bucks? I don't know yeah, if it's gone up in price like since, but it was like, it was like dirt cheap when I got it. And I definitely it's got still more early than like two or three dollars worth out of it. Yeah, it, it's two ninety nine Canadian for me. It's still in early accents, so... But early accents. It gets yeah, an update like every two to three weeks, like, and they add a bunch of stuff. You just I play think as one character. if you go into early access, access with a price, you can't change it until early access is done. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. I've not made a bad decision with the pairings I've got here right now. Uh, you know what? We're gonna work on getting Santa water. Hopefully maxed out, because it's pretty close. That upgrade will be nice. I got the tried and true Bibles going right now. Oh yeah, I can't complain about the Bible. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh... Yep. Inconvenient bad companies. Let's upgrade them cherry bombs. I mean, when they detonate, these cherry bombs are doing like some good work. Yeah, upgraded ones are pretty nice. What synergizes with them, if anything does yet? What unlocks their evolved form? I'm not sure. The chat will probably know if there is one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought you were asking me. Oh, I'm just asking you in general. All right. Nothing yet. Ah, damn. It. Okay. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, chat saying they don't evolve yet. Oh, come on, level. Oh, damn it. 
I think I think why this feels so good is it's it's like Binding of Isaac when you get stupid broken. Yeah. But you get there much faster. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's a that's a decent explanation. I can see that. Fire rod is spinach. Adriana, hello. Hey. Hog champ. Usually the other way around. What are you doing? Give me a second, I'll run some countermeasures for ya. A little busy trying not to die. I mean, I can also just pause. But where's the fun in that, right? Down. Let's go for it. Thanks. So this is a catharsis game? Oh, 100%. 100%. Oh, yeah. So much for the rain. Hopefully your stream was good. Ours is wrapping up here soon. We're playing last game of the night, which is good old vampire survivors. We're just um, we're just gonna do a run if we get to complete it. We'll see what happens. Lightning ring evolves with duplicator. I think I actually that was the last update I played was the lightning ring duplicator combo. So. I should have the prompt for that, but I was gonna get Duplicator anyways, because Duplicator's really fucking good. Yes, it is. If we survive long enough, because I usually hate doing this map. Speaking of, I just got Duplicator. Very nice. I guess the Duplicator just doubles your projectiles? Yeah, uh, well, no. it adds one extra, yeah. Ah. Yeah. And then every upgrade adds another one, but I think it can only be upgraded twice. And this is already a character that already, when it levels up every 20 levels, it adds a projectile. Oh god, I keep forgetting things are actually solid now. That's gonna keep fucking with me. Hey, I'll just go through these trees. Oh wait. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what you could do up to this point. There's something they fixed somewhat recently. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Take the escape, take the escape. Giant mantis. Well, I mean, if we I remember that. that shots from that giant mantis will be very nice, but. I remember that in my castle video games. Hey, you're still in it. All right. Increase health revive or just let's keep up there. Nice, and we just barely killed the dude too. Something good. Oh, just a level one. More holy water though. One more holy water upgrade and then I think we can get our nice upgrade for that. 
be That's very helpful in this upcoming wave. That's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of boys. That's a lot of skelly boys. Oh, the skeletons. I have the quality down a bit, uh, so it's hard. To oh, that's we're in we're in trouble. Actually, we are in trouble. I guess is that they they swarm in at 11 minutes. Yeah, no, they, they're they're preset on this one. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew it was like every five minutes that the uh, thawing happens. I didn't know about the skeleton. So do they keep coming or do they eventually stop at some point? They eventually stop when a certain timer point is hit. Which is kind of what we're hoping for at this point. <laughs> the skeleton army arises. Oh, these explosions are saving me right now. Where's Ashley Williams when you need him? Oh boy. Undead before dawn. Uh. This. Is my boomstick! We need more damage, that's what we need right now. Just survive a half an hour. I mean, that's exactly what the game is, it's survive a half hour. So, uh. Alright, so. Mm, base damage or base damage? Right. Oh, axe, we're going for axe. You had 12 minutes, so they stopped spawning? Yeah, they, they, they're bringing in the next type now. Yeah. Bible! Oh, thank god. Mm. Literally. Uh, lightning ring upgrade. <laughs> Spellbinder. Increase the duration of weapon. Yeah, upgrade Bible. Yes, please. Duplicator. Very nice. That's a lot of level ups. Holy shit. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Oh. That means I got a shit ton of experience that was off screen that came back. You get a lot of Axe that full. Duplicator again. There we go. Now we're gonna start doing some real damage. The game's for different different ways to based on the timer and it's the depth uh one hit killing you at 30 minutes, so Yeah, at 30 minutes, like you can you can get around the one hit kill if you're built a specific way. We are not built for that. I'll just say that right now with certainty. Uh, but it is possible. I believe it unlocks a character if you do so. You get to survive for like an extra minute or something like that. I forget exactly what it is. It might, it might sort of be just kill death. Yeah, just keep upgrading the, the bibble. Uh, someone in chat saying you had to kill. Yeah, you had to kill death. Right. Okay, you have to kill death. There's only, oh, uh, there's one no way to do it that without hacking, says Mooch. And I think that needs the time freeze weapon, which we definitely do not have. There is a thing you can unlock if you survive 31 minutes in the library, if you have another thing locked. Oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, it's getting a little, oh, little, little chunky oh. in here. That's a lot of dudes. Yeah, we need to get a treasure chest so we can get some fucking upgraded weapons! We're dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. You can do it. I'm trying, I but I, I, I don't think we can. Be the vampire survivor. I'm trying to survive, survive. the vampire. Oh my god, we got so fucking lucky with that bomb. It's getting very spicy. It is a little too spicy right now. A little too rap. Please, we need help. We need help, please. No, 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 drop the fucking health. Of course not. Because that would be helpful right now. Help would be helpful. What is going on? Uh. Everything is uh, terrible is happening. Oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck. Oh, yeah, if any of those bats gets us, we're done. Oh, my God, please, please, please. Okay, yes, keep giving me these right now. This might actually save our ass. 
Hopefully you get the uh, hopefully you get the revival thing. I already have spellbinder. I need I need help. Yeah, I need help. That's a lot of axes. Shit, there's a treasure chest, but I can't get to it without risking it. There we go. All right, we got upgraded Saint Water. We got Labora. Evolve Santa Water. Damaging zones follow you and grow when they move. That's gonna be oh. for sure. Oh, there's some help. Oh yes, we're still in it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I was biting my Save. tongue so hard for like the last five minutes so I didn't jinx anything. I didn't want to be the one to ruin it. Because I have in the past. Oh boy, I just noticed the werewolf right next to us, the big one. Oof. He's a big boy. Yeah, come on, come on. Big angry boy. Oh my god, please, I need this thing to die and drop another chest. Pretty sure axes are in upgrade range too. They are, because now we have scythes. Death Spiral, evolved axe, passes through enemies. Now, once it gets ready. There we go, now we're talking. Yeah, there's the ticket. Oh, that's badass, actually. The, axe, the, the Death Spiral came to nasty. Fuck you all, have some scythes. Time for a fucking harvest. More health, definitely use that. Alright, good, 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 good. Let's get Bibles and trade it again. Bibbles. Yeah, this, the tagline for this game is like, be the bullet hell or something. Something silly like that, yeah. Nothing is ever going to beat a thousand knives through man. Alright, Bible's at max level, so that means we can get an upgrade for Bible now. If we can find another treasure chest. Oops, there's someone who can drop one. Be so kind as to drop a treasure chest for us. Bingo, bingo, bongo! They just need to get to it. Hey. Unholy Vespers, Evolved King Bible, never ends. That's oh, so you basically have, you have shields that last forever. Yep. If this is my comfort zone, do not enter. This is my Man. personal space circle. We're just, we're just spinning, spitting death right now. Pretty much GG right now. I wouldn't say GG yet. We're only at halfway They're point. Still, I'm still not killing yeah. things very fast. If we can get some other stuff leveled up, we'll be in business though. This is my dodo -no square. <laughs> Do not enter unless the books break your spine instead. Gold Fever! I've never seen that. That's a new one. Yeah, I got that earlier and I didn't want to, like, spoil it. I mean, That's a lot of love ups. Me, if you're gonna keep giving me... There we go, fire ones already. Get a reroll. I don't have it yet. Um, you have to fulfill the mission requirement for it. I don't remember off the top of my head. All right, I'm sure Chad will tell me. You got gold. Gold fever. Reach level 100 with a certain character for each reroll. Oh, and one of them was the Skelly Boys, so yeah, that makes sense. Ready? Yes, yes, and put us more in range. Just 
more in range. treasure chest yeah. to appear at all. I can see why detangling this game is be the bullet hell, because you very much are a bullet hell right now. There we go. You all pretty right. much... What's our upgrade? You pretty much... Time? You're reaching Tohu boss, bullet hell. Toho, yeah. Hellfire, evolve fire wand, passes through enemies. Nice. That's what you want to see, because that means more enemies getting hurt. There we go. It's literally the Dracula fireball now. Oh, now we're talking. Now we are talking. You almost reached the 20 minute mark. Yep, I think the next ring of plants shows up at 20, I forget. Uh oh, ooh, that was a lot of damage. Oof. We should be a bit more careful then. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Find more help. Man, that's one of the proudest gaming moments I did this year. Is I beat, uh, I uh, got all medals on hard mode in oh, uh, nice. Star Fox. Yeah, uh, the, the oh, 3DS yeah. version. Ah, okay. Ooh. Uh, I mean, it's, it is technically easier because there's more enemies. Or uh, enemies and groupings, too. That makes sense. Spawn it for me, which is getting me a little concerned. Really use a lantern. Oh no. Gotta hope you keep your life, uh, the life steal keeps you alive. Yeah. I do wish I was using the weapon with life steal, but I mean, at least the, the one I've got the points into should be helpful. Oh, those back couple of these are scary. in that bit right now, baby. Yeah. If we can kill that mummy. We should get a new weapon upgrade. I think we have the setup for lightning ring upgrade. I forget. Okay, it was duplicated, right? I believe so, yeah. There it is. There it is. Thunder loop, evolved lightning ring. Projectiles strike twice. I think this is where the flashing light comes in, though. Or did they tone it down? Seems pretty toned down. levels. Oh, there's the plans. It's 21 that they showed up. It's more like a boxing in this time. So many numbers. All this is more than that. This is more numbers uh, uh, appearing in a high-end run of a Final Fantasy uh, 14 trial. Like, am I playing Vampire Survivors or am I fighting, like, Neo Bahamut? Alright, I'm guessing I have nothing else left to evolve at this point. Yeah, I don't know. Seems evolved. So, yep, this is our this is our output for the rest of this. I thought I got it. I don't know, like I'm I'm pretty squishy on the downside. Yeah, something so much is crazy to you you like that big chunk of health. All chests give money or health now, says so uh, someone in the cat. Yep, yeah. The money's used to buy more upgrades, so... Uh, oh. according to Evil Jabrian, 
as a way to reduce lag, if there's a certain number of experience gems on the ground, the game will generate red experience gems and be dumping all further implementing speed to that single yeah. gem until other gems pick up. That's why the multiple level up happened. Ah. There we go. Money. And even chests from here on out, it seems like money drops, basically. But if we get levels up, we get the option of getting a little bit of health or a little bit of extra money. So. You have reached your full potential. So, uh, I promise it's nothing. I, uh, the news page for ne uh, Necrodancer on Steam has hinted they might be doing something big this year. I don't know if it's gonna be for Necrodancer or possibly more content for, uh, Cadence. Uh, Cadence, Cadence of Hyrule. I'd imagine Cadence is done at this point. I'd be shocked if there's extra content. Didn't they already do a DLC for that? Yeah, they did. I kind of want. I kind of wonder if it's gonna be a sequel because uh, the new story. They when they made like the uh, DLC, the amplified DLC for uh, Necrodancer. Uh, uh, they added Nocturna, and her, like, story kind of ended in the cliffhanger. Mm. I think it's supposed to be, like, a, uh... Take, I think it's supposed to be taking something, like, her story took place before, like, Cadence's descent into the crypt. And, like, she encountered the creator of the, uh, the Golden Loop. And after killing her, she just takes the loot for herself. We don't know how it wound up in the hands of uh, uh, the Necro Dancer. Yeah, so there is room for a sequel, then, in that case. Yeah. I wonder if they would do a sequel over more DLC, because I'm sure like they probably want to clean up the engine and stuff like that at this point. Yeah. I mean, like they could like hate it to Pyrol show. They could they really do it. They could. Definitely add more to the uh, the game system. I need to play it again. I need I'd to use play the period. I played a little bit on stream and that was about it. And the stream added actually yeah. latency. I was like, eh, I'm not having fun right now. I'm pretty sure there's a way to uh, do like sync or like latency. Yeah, we did that and it made the game unplayable because I think we synced it wrong. Because I I nah. ran it at, like off stream and it ran way better. I used to speed run it, but, uh, and I was actually pretty decent. I did, I did uh, a, de a good, I did good on some daily runs. Nice. Yeah, I need to be in the right and, mood for Necrodancer, which is the bummer thing about that's it. That's like, It's a great game, but it's just like I, I don't want to do. I, I don't want to focus that every step I take has to be in rhythm. Sometimes I just want to veg out. I mean, that's what the playing as far is for. I know you, you can turn that off, but I feel like at that point it's one of those weird cases of like, and it's kind of ruins what the game is for, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I am capable of playing it with the rhythm thing, so I feel like I should more than it. This is this is for my enjoyment, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's a weird mental mentality thing. It's why I'm like, when anyone asks me, like, hey, should I play this game this specific way or not? I'm like, no, fucking do it whatever you want. But my my brain's like, I cannot do that. Yeah. Burn these plants to the ground with the spicy bread. Thank you. You would like the spicy curry theme from the original Kirby. Okay, we've got how long left? <laughs> oh, just under four minutes. <laughs> no, no, Draco's quoting sand. It's because you can. Because you can, you huff. Hmm? Mosquitoes in my room. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Level 80. A little, a little more in. A little more in. Three minutes. Three minutes just to die to death, anyways. 
And oh shit! Oh, we almost did died to something else instead. Oh, that was pretty <laughs> bad. Hey, hey, don't. Don't let your concentration lapse. Well, it's just because I was like running through what what we had the invincibility from the time freeze, and then that just and wore off. Ran out of ran out of very bad time. Now, there's no indication it's about to run up. Uh, you don't. I, I think there's like a, a, a very quick flash. I forget. I think it's at level 81. We can just get some health and we'll be fine. So I think we're at the point where we're not making any more movement progress anymore. We're basically in our loop for the most part. Uh, we can get that. Health is pretty much top back off. Game, you can't just not take level up until you need the health. Yeah. Level 87. There's so much shit on the screen. Sure is. I think we've got a lot of AOE stuff that's kind of like they have to step on before like it cuts through and hits multiple enemies. I don't know if getting this guy to level 100 will get unlock me anything or not. But... Uh, right now, the Necro Demster devs are doing Phantom Brigade or Industries of Titan. Yeah, but they did make an announcement that there's something big coming for Necro Dancer fans, so maybe we'll see more other DLC or maybe a new Necro Dancer game in general. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. A minute and a half come left. On. This is the point where it comes to chore to wait through the game. This is the survival portion. Every character is. 200 is an achievement. Uh, which means we're not gonna get... We're not gonna get this guy here at this rate because we're only at 89. Someone says uh, getting any character, any character to level 100 is tricky without the crown. It's tricky without the crown? That's fair. Yeah. Hey, hey, drop my pixel. Can you find it for me? Get one, one more minute. I'm gonna get one last uh, attractive work. That company. Oh, I see you sneaking in there. Yeah, there's a chest. I already got it. Here is he can make it to level 100 before death comes. I'm gonna try, but I only got 30 seconds to get four levels. Three. Two. One. There it is. There you go. seconds. And You're just running in circles. Here we go. Game over. Stage complete. Reach level 100 with Yata Kefalo got me a re-roll as the only thing I unlocked was a re-roll. Was re-roll do? Just Re uh, if you don't like the items that showed up, you can re-roll to get a different set of items. Gotcha. I'm back. How'd you do? We won, but we only got one unlock out of it, unfortunately. So. Oh, rough. Yeah. All right, let's power up something. What can we power up? Banish ones per rank allow to remove an item from level up choices for the rest of the run. Hmm. I like that. Interesting. Yeah, I just got that as well. Yeah, I did. Uh, where do I want to put points into? Maybe armor. Or more recovery. Yeah, let's max it recovery. And every time you put points into something, it ups the value of everything else. So unfortunately, everything else is a little more expensive. But you can usually, unless they took it out, 
Uh, no, you can refund power-ups and you get all your money back and just rebuy everything. And then find which ones are cheaper or better to buy. But I don't think we can upgrade anything else because it looks like the cheapest is about 1,000. No, 680 is the cheapest. We have 612. All right, well, that's it. We can't do much else unless I... Uh, let's get banished. All right, well, I guess I'll have to play it off stream to either get rid of that music that's going to trigger copyright or uh, to unlock the rest of the stages. But there you go. Very and with cool. that, folks, that's going to do it for tonight. I think I'm going to bounce for the night. Thanks for being yeah. on. All right, thanks for having me. The wiki has the order of what's the cheapest order to put upgrades in. Ah, gotcha. All right, let me see if there's anything on Art Block to worry about. No, Art Block actually has nothing in it. We're actually, we don't even need to go to Art Block tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think that might be the first time that's actually happened. Ever? Quite, poss quite possibly. <laughs> D Nexus for 21. This one goes out to you, D. Yep, it's the shuffler. Give me an act. Give give me an act. Give me an act. You will give me an act. The streamer safe mode for Vampire Survivor is now working now in the last update. Ah. Uh... No it ain't. No it ain't. Gonna have to renew that. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go delete the old songs to make sure it actually updates to the correct ones. All right. Uh, Sonicbot says thanks for the entertainment tonight. Made my job go by better. This music reminds me of Haven City, mainly the bassy notes. I can see that. Cool, folks. What's our raid message? Sugoi. <laughs> we could do that. It's weird not having to go to Art Block. Uh, ooh, we don't usually get to raid Haruka. Sugoi. All right. Well, in that case, since she's become the late night. I almost said moose out of habit. The late night caribou. Let's go tell her Sigour. That could be just dumb. You must get some eon out of glacier. Why is this suddenly cropping off the, the bottom, the top of that? Weird. Oh. Oh my god, ah, oh, Sugoi? Of course he would fucking do that, huh? <laughs> fucking up. Why did she think I would do that normally? Sugoi. Sugoi! There you go, there's your anime for the day. <laughs> well, there you go, we got we got a whole anime out of that. John, thanks so much for the One raid, whole dude. anime. Hell One yeah. whole anime. Go give Haruka some love. Uh, I will see you guys on Friday for the finals and the test stream, I guess, essentially, of the Proton Unite League. And then I'll see you on Saturday for Fortune Cookie. Not we'll see you in a month or so. Oh, right. The, yeah, Popsky did double duty this week because he's new POE season, so he's going to be gone for a while again. Bye, guys. Good luck. Bye, bye. You'll be missed. <laughs>
Velvet's bullshit. 